All right, I got uh, Gene down there in Winchester. I've got Antimo. I've got a Kilo Bravo H station. Anybody else for e cars? That's Alpha Bravo Zero Delta Kilo. I thought I heard an Alpha Bravo Zero. Try that again. Alpha Bravo Zero Delta Kilo. Alpha, Alpha Bravo Zero Delta Kilo. Let's go with these four. First up, Kilo November 4, Mike Uniform Fox Trot. Gene, how you doing? Good morning. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Uniform Fox Trot. Gene in Huntsville, Alabama at home. Oh, we came back out uh, here yesterday, and uh, we've got 37 degrees, and the weather had passed by. I think I hope it's uh, gone all the way. So we had some rain last night, and that's all right. We can always use what the Lord sends us. Uh, planning on having church service this morning online with Church of the Highlands out of Birmingham. And this afternoon, just relaxing, muddy, shooting with uh, one of my neighbors. Um, I might keep together to shoot once in a while. And uh, I might do that and see what happens. Anyway, I'm looking forward to a wonderful week ahead of us, and I hope you are doing well and taking care of yourself. And thank you so much for what you do for running in there. This is Gene McCoy here. Back in that. Over, over. God bless. Roger that, Gene. It's great. Great talking to you this morning, and yes, things are going well. God uh, uh, bless you, know, I overdid it a little bit the other day, but that was for family my great-grandchildren. But anyway, uh, uh, I'm going to do a little better this time, take a little better care of myself. And I'm gonna, uh, you need to put one of them trackers on you, Gene. I never know whether you're going to be in Huntsville or uh, uh, Winchester over. I'm sorry, repeat that. Somebody was blowing on their microphone somewhere. Roger that. I say, I'm going to have to put a tracker on you. Uh, I, I can't never tell whether you're in Huntsville or Winchester. I always guess wrong, over. Roger that. Well, we never know. I never know for sure because it just seems to what my wife wants to do. She's got stuff we need to do to when we come back here. But uh, usually we spend about a week in each place, Roger. Roger, Roger on that. Yeah, I know. I always get the last word in our uh, discussion, too. It's most, gen uh, most generally yes, dear. <laughs> Gene, have a great day, buddy, and we'll talk to you Wednesday morning. We're going to clear with Gene. He's in Winchester, or Huntsville, Alabama, this morning. 40104 on the e cars roster. We'll clear with Gene. Have a great day, Gene, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank Next you up, uh, Wood Branch, Ontario. Antimo, come on in. Uh, good morning, Jim. Good morning. Uh, you're sounding real good this morning, buddy. Bank conditions uh, must be doing good, or either got a new microphone or a new Apple Fire. <laughs> You're a 5'9", uh, sometimes you just uh, 5S, uh, 5S over 9 there. Anyways, uh, we're 32 degrees here in Woodbridge, uh, overcast as usual, and uh, maybe we'll see some snow today. I haven't seen any snow for about three weeks now, just rain, but maybe we'll see some snow and uh, might brighten the day up a bit. So how are you feeling, buddy? How's your uh, pacemaker doing there, over? Doing just fine there, Antibo, just fine. And uh, all is well here at the Clay Mill. And uh, let's see, I was going to ask you, all, how far are you from Buffalo, Antimo? Oh, I'm thinking about, uh, well, as a crow flies, about 60 miles, I guess, but if you've got to take the roads around the lake, it's uh, that's about 90 miles, that's all over. Roger, roger on that. I was just wondering what the weather's going to be up there. My bangles is playing the bills today, and uh, uh, you say you're getting snow this afternoon over? Uh, maybe a little wee bit, but, uh, you know, we're in a different area. Um, uh, Buffalo and uh, Niagara Falls area, they're in the real snow belt. They get hammered real heavy uh, compared to what we get. Uh, you know, what they get, we get nothing over. Roger, roger on that. Anyway, Antimo, what you got planned for today? You got big plans or what's on your docket, over? Oh, today I'm just going to relax there, buddy. I've been uh, working all week in the house there uh, doing some... Uh, painting and uh, retrofitting switches and plugs and all that so today's a day off uh, I'm just going to take it easy how about yourself I hope you're taking it easy over 
Oh, yeah, I'm taking it easy. I'm going to hang around and watch the football games today, I think. Anyway, Antimo, it's great talking to you. You are 5'9 here at the play mill as well. You're sounding good. And there's nothing new here in the shack, Antimo. I think it's just the gods of the ionosphere are smiling on us this morning. Over. Oh, I, I'm sure it is. Uh, uh, your signal's starting to drop a bit, but uh, listen, I don't want to tie things up, buddy. Uh, you take care of yourself. Take it easy. Don't do any heavy straining. I want to be talking to you for at least a few more centuries in the future. So until the next time, I'll say 73, and you have a good weekend. Over. Roger that, Animo. Thank you for those kind words, and I will talk to you Wednesday morning. We're going to clear with Antimo. He's in Woodbridge, Ontario, 30506 on the E-Cars roster. Let's see. We've got him in the log. Okay, next up, <clears throat> Kilo Bravo 8, Echo, Quebec, Quebec. Come on in. Yeah, good morning. Uh... 8148 on the roster. It's, uh, uh, it's cold. 49 and cloudy, so we'll see what happens today, man. Roger that, Larry. Uh, you doing all right up there in Salem? I hope all is well. Over. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. I'm on my second cup of coffee and got the radios fired up. And uh, I was looking at the uh, propagation uh, predictions, and uh, solar flux is still up there pretty high. So we'll see what happens. Roger that. Uh, to the clay mill here down along the Ohio River in southern Ohio here, Larry. I've got you at about 5'7". Over. Yeah, QSL, uh, you're everywhere. <laughs> One minute I can barely hear you, then the next minute you're 5'9 plus. So a lot of QSB. Uh, it's a slow, deep QSB right now. So when the sun gets up there a little higher, though, I think it'll straighten out. Go ahead. Roger that. I'm sure it's just in the ionosphere. Larry, you got any big plans for today, or are you taking life easy? Over. Yeah, QSL, all right along with you here and uh, wanted to get in and say good morning and uh, got a good copy on you right now so we'll see what happens here KBADQQ good morning eCars Roger that Larry have a great day and I'll talk to you soon if you're on here Wednesday morning I'll be on here from 8.45 to 10 we're going to clear with Larry he's in Salem Ohio 8148 on the eCars roster we'll clear with Larry next up we go out west here Alpha Bravo Zero, Delta Tank, or Kilo, come on in. Yeah, good morning. Uh, control, AB0, DK here, name Dave in Kirksville, Missouri. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to try to get a little more power up. Okay, name is Dave. And uh, the temperature is 31 degrees. And uh, your signal report is about a 5 and 3. That foreign broadcaster just clobbering us this morning. And uh, uh, we got uh, <laughs> a lot of interferes aimed right in the middle of the United States. So I think, uh, and, you know, Joe, give me your call when you come back. Uh, AB0 DK. Roger that, Dave. Uh, the call here is Kilo Echo. Eight Lima Delta Bravo. I repeat, Kilo Echo Eight Lima Delta Bravo. The name is Jim Juliet Indigo Mike, and the QTH is here in the clay mill in the very most southern part of the state of Ohio, near a small village called South Webster. I'll copy, Dave. Uh, good, good copy. Uh, I'm running about a kilowatt this morning. Uh, watch my signal report over. I've got you at about 5.7 to 5.8. Excellent coffee this morning, Dave. Over. Roger. Are you getting that foreign broadcast like I am? Oh, I'm getting lots of foreign broadcast. I'm getting more of my share. But my beverage in tennis is uh, getting you up uh, out of the noise with no problem. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, thanks for checking me into the net. Um, I'll be one and done here. Uh, 73. Sorry, you got your name wrong, Jim. K E A L D B in East Coast. Uh, I think uh, I think uh, I have an East Coast number. I'm not sure. 
<laughs> I think I'm on the roster there somewhere, AB0 DK. Roger that, Dave. I've got it. Uh, I'll give you the number if you want to write it down. If you don't want to, that's all right also. Uh, 11021. Uh, how copy? Oh, is that 11021? Roger, Roger on that. Dave, have a great day. Be safe. Be well. And uh, I see your uh, uh, Kansas City Chiefs won yesterday fairly easily. Over. Uh, Roger, we don't follow the sports too much, but uh, I guess when we go to church, that's what they talk about after church, so I have to know that. <laughs> Roger that. Dave, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon down the hall. If you're on here Wednesday morning, <clears throat> I'll be back on here from 8.45 to 10 on Wednesday. I'll look forward to hearing your voice. We're going to clear with Dave. He's in Kirksville, Missouri. 11021 on the e cars roster. Let's see. We got him in the log. Okay, we'll clear with Dave. That clears that list off. Let's get some more check-in. The call here is Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo. Jim here at the Clay Mill in Southern Ohio looking for the check-in for the East Coast Amateur Radio Service. All are welcome. Call now. Kilo Echo 8, Julia, 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 Okay, I got a Kilo Echo 8 station, and there was another one or two. Try it again. November 9, Romeo India Victor. Kilo Charlie 1, Mike Tango Mike. Juliet Mike. Mike Tango Mike. Okay, hang on a minute here, fellas. Here's what I got. I got a Kilo Echo 8 station. I got Bill in Danville, Illinois. I got Jeff in Goshen, Indiana. I got a Kilo 8, 8 station. Uh, anybody else that I'm in? Mike Tango Mike. Mike Tango Mike got you on the list. Anybody else? Okay, let's go with these here. First up, Kilo Echo 8 station. Come with your full call. See, Kilo Echo 8, Romeo, Quebec Romeo. Roger that, Larry. How's things in Monroe, Michigan? Over. Well, currently right now, it is snowing up here in Monroe, Michigan. And it's about 28 degrees. Roger on the 28 degrees of snow. And we got about 30 here at the Clayton. Larry, you can keep the snow up there, over. Well, they was having fits up here that there hadn't been no snow this winter, and I just didn't care if it ever snowed this winter. I'll be perfectly honest with you. But uh, I guess I guess we eventually had to get some. Roger that. You know what the old adage is, you want to be careful what you wish for, because you might just get it, over. Absolutely. And uh, I finally did take that test, and I uh, got my extra license, and uh, pretty happy about that. Roger that. Congratulations. If, I, if I'm not the first, let me be the very latest to congratulate you on that. Over. You are absolutely the first to congratulate. Uh, I won't keep you in here long. I know you got a big, long list, but uh, I just wanted to check in with you this morning and get on the roster. Roger that, Larry. Let me ask you one question. Did you try out that website that I uh, sent you the link for? Absolutely, sir. I was just getting ready to say, and I appreciate you sending me that because that definitely got me where I needed to be. Roger that, Larry. I am tickled to death for you, and I know you're tickled because I can hear the pride in your voice. You're doing well, over. Yes, sir. That is uh, quite the test to take, for sure. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of mathematical skills in that one, but we did it, passed it with a uh, 90%, so I was pretty happy with that. Absolutely. you done well, Larry, and congratulations again. I'd love to sit and visit, but i got to get moving. I'm We'll send it back to you for a quick final. Then I'm going to get these other gentlemen in here. Over. Well, you have a great week, and if I'm off work on Wednesday, you'll hear me out here talking, but we'll see how that goes. Kilo Echo 8, Romeo, Quebec Romeo, clear on your final. Roger that, Larry. I got you uh, consistently at about 5-9 here. I probably could have opened the window and listened out my window and heard you. We're going to clear with Larry. He's in Monroe, Michigan, 8-4. Six six on the E-Cars roster. We'll clear with Larry. Next up, Danville, Illinois. Come on in, Bill. Hey, good 
Good morning to you, Jim. Good morning to all on eCars there this morning. I hope everybody had a good weekend. This is Bill in 9 RIV here in Danville, Illinois, where it's currently 31 degrees going up to 35. And uh, I got up uh, about 4 o'clock this morning to let the dogs out, and there were some big old snowflakes coming down, but uh, it's quit snowing here now, so uh, maybe it's over for the day. They said we'd probably get less than an inch of snow. And uh, the DX was coming in there on 40 meters this morning because I got me a cup of coffee and sat down and uh, made contact with a guy on Kangaroo Island there in Australia. Tried to get a guy out in uh, Maui, Hawaii. It's, uh, we took a trip there one one time, but uh, he had to leave and go uh, warm up his uh, oatmeal or his uh, whatever he, uh, he had there he's eating for breakfast. Anyway, uh, that's about it here. We're going to go out with some friends there this morning and have some breakfast, and that's my plans for the day. Hope you uh, have a good one, and we'll catch you. Uh, I think you said Wednesday you're going to be running the net. I'll catch you then, and I'll be on before that. Good night, RIV. Back to you, Jim. Roger that, Bill. It's always great to hear your voice, and I hope you have a good day, and don't get too much snow out there. I know in that part of the country you can get her, uh, but it could be a whole lot worse. You could live up around the, uh, the uh, south and uh, east end of Lake Ontario there. They get her by the foot the fair over. Roger, Roger. I don't think I want that. Uh, they did say we might get uh, a little bit there come Wednesday, so we'll see what we get. Roger that, Bill. Always great talking to you. Be safe, be well, and if I get to talk to you Wednesday, my day will be a little brighter. We're going to clear with Bill. He's in Danville, Illinois, 9102 on the E-Cars roster. Let's see. We got him in the log. We'll clear with Bill. Next up, Goshen, Indiana. Jeff, how are you doing this morning? All right, very good. Uh, KE8 LDB and E cars. This is K9 JJM, Jeff Goshen, Indiana 9082. Well, I'm doing uh, good, Jim. Thank you for that. I hope you're doing well, uh, as uh, everybody here on E cars is doing. Uh, it's a, uh, a bright morning here, and I don't mean sunshine wise, but uh, it's actually cloudy, but uh, all the snow. We got about an inch of snow overnight, 29 degrees here, and it looks like around lunchtime we'll be getting a little bit more snow so that's what we got going on here uh, uh later in the day a couple hours i'll be going across town i uh, check on my mom see how she's doing and, uh, and then we'll be heading back home jim you're sounding good here you're getting through that foreign broadcast uh no problem whatsoever a little bit of qsb but at times you're 20 over s9 so you can't complain about that well thanks for getting me in here jim thanks for what you do for e-cars we definitely appreciate it and with that i'll turn it back to you and listen out K E eight L D B from K nine JGM. Thanks, Jim. Roger that, Jeff. I have a great day. When you get over to your mother's, give her a hug for me and tell her I said hello. I just wish I had my mom still here with me. Anyway, Jeff, you're consistently S nine here, Q five on the copy, and your your station just obliterates the foreign broadcast. I don't even know it's there whenever you key at mic up. We're gonna clear with Jeff. He's in go. Ocean, Indiana, 9082 on the E-Cars roster. Let's see, we got him in the vault. We'll clear with him. Okay, the next station on this list, I got a Kilo 8, and that's all I got out of it. Give me your full call. Kilo 8 station for E-Cars. Come with your full call. Okay, nothing heard. Next up on this list is the station ending it. Mike Tango Mike. Come on in. Good morning. This is Kilo Charlie One Mike Tango Mike. Joe in Massachusetts. E cars number one zero five zero zero. Over. Good morning, Joe. How's things in Cummington this morning? You doing all right up there? Oh, I'm doing great this morning. And um, we have a great day again, of course. <laughs> it seems like to be the uh, the standard operating situation these days. Temperature's 27. Um, I don't know, probably going to the mid-30s. And maybe we're going to get snow, but right now, just clear and gray, over. 
Roger that on the square and gray, Joe. Let me ask you a question. I'm pretty familiar with the state of Massachusetts. Uh, geographically, what part are you in? Are you over toward Boston or are you out west toward Pittsfield, over? Um, I'm about uh, 20, 22 miles east of Pittsfield, which makes me, as the crow flies, about 95 miles west of Boston, over. Roger, roger, roger. I got you zeroed in now. I just wasn't familiar with Cummington. Uh, you got any big plans for today, Joe, or are you just taking life easy, over? <laughs> Well, it depends on the weather. If it turns lousy, I'm going to go upstairs and reload some ammo. And if it stays nice, I guess I'll uh, play with the firewood, the perpetual chore over. Roger, roger on that. That can be laborious. Anyway, uh, Joe, I hope you have a good day, whatever it turns out to be. Do you have anything else for the net before I get some more check-ins? Over. I just want to wish everybody a good day, and uh, thanks, Jim, for doing the net control. You're sounding great over here today. Uh, send to everybody and have a wonderful day. Roger that, Joe. You do the same. And if you get out there messing with that firewood, be careful. That's a lot of work. I did it for years. We're going to clear with Joe. He's in Cummington, Massachusetts. One zero, five zero zero on the e car roster. Let's see. We'll clear with Joe. That clears the list out. We're going to get some more check-ins. The call here, Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo. Jim here to Clay Mill of Southern Ohio. We're looking for check-ins for the East Coast Amateur radio service. All are welcome. Call now. Check-ins, check-ins, check-ins for the East Coast Amateur Radio Service. The call here is Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo. We're looking for check-ins. All are welcome. Call now. Kilo Bravo 1, Foxtrot, call Foxtrot. Boy, I heard a station, but it was way down below the forum broadcast. Try it again, sir. No copy on that station. Try it again here in a few minutes, if you would, please. Uh, we're looking for check-ins for the East Coast Amateur Radio Service. The call here is Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo. Jim here at the Clay Mill in Southern Ohio. All are welcome. Call now. Come on in there, Frank. You're a little light, but I got you. Come on in. I, I should be better. I had the, uh, the wrong uh, tuner turned on. Stand by a quick second. Uh, let me double check it. I'm still bouncing around here. Oh, no, wait. No, yeah, that's better. All right. That should have been a better signal, I think. Roger that. You're up to about a 5.5 five now, Frank. I got you. How are you doing this morning? Over. Yeah, doing all right. Just figured I'd come up here and say good morning to you and uh, chill out till 10 o'clock. Well, I'm sure glad you did because it went, uh, uh, it was up pretty good there, and then all of a sudden it's like somebody turned the bands off, but you know how it is in the morning on 40 meters, over. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, I can just about hear the broadcast, so uh, that tells me the band's kind of screwy again this morning. All righty. Well, we'll be monitoring wb 3 ABC. Roger that, Frank. Thanks for coming, checking in, and um, uh, letting me know my radio wasn't broke. We're going to clear with Frank. He's in York, Pennsylvania, 30579 on the E-Cars roster. we got Frank in the log. We'll clear with Frank. Get some more check-ins. Kilo Echo 8. Lima Delta Bravo, Jim here at the Clay Mill in Southern Isle. We're looking for check-ins. All are welcome. Call now. Free check. Free check. Free check. Anybody else for e cards? Free check. Free home. Come again with your call slowly. I, I got it, but I didn't. I couldn't uh, understand. Whiskey Oscar, three Oscar. I got the whiskey, and somebody keyed up on you. Whiskey Oscar, three Oscar. 
Roger that. Okay. We're going to go with these two. Whiskey officer, three officer, stand by. One, recheck, go ahead. Recheck for e cars. Go ahead. All right. Nothing heard. Whiskey officer, three officer. Oscar, how's things at Delmont this morning? Oh, everything's just fine here. Just sitting here uh, looking through the internet. Not much of interest, <laughs> as usual. But I uh, had the radio on and heard you calling, so I figured I'd come in and say hello and good morning to everybody on the net. I'm sure glad you did, Oscar. I was beginning to think my radio was broke or something. No, you're five and nine here, no problem at all. Roger that. I was going to stick my head out the window and, and see if my uh, transmit antenna was still up over. Oh, I think it's at least a few feet off the ground. Mine's only actually up at 20 feet. It's been too cold and got to get somebody to climb up on my roof and hook it up up there. Roger that. Well, mine, I got a vertical I transmit on, but I've got a pair of reversible beverage antennas that I listen on. Uh, there's the ones that I really like, but but uh, anyway, Oscar, you got any big plans for today? Over? Not nothing big so far. Roger that. Well, whatever you do, I hope you have a good day. Do you have anything else for the net before I go get some more check-ins? Over? No, I don't. Go ahead and move right along there. Have a good day, W-O-3-O. Yes. Roger that. I'll sure have a great day yourself, and if you're on here on Wednesday, I'll talk to you then. I'll be on from 8.45 to 10. We're going to clear with Oscar. He's in Delmont, Pennsylvania. Uh, let's see. We got him in the log. We'll clear with him. We're going to get some more check-ins. The call here, Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo. Jim here to Clay Mill in Southern Ohio. We're looking for check-ins for the East Coast Amateur Radio Service. KC4FM. Good morning. Kilo Delta 2, Oscar Alpha Mike. K-E-A-P-Y-W. Okay, I got John in Oakfield, New York. I got a Kilo Echo 8 station. Uh, uh, I didn't get the full call, but I got Kilo Echo 8. And I got Robert in Maggie Valley. And uh, anybody else for e-cars? Kilo Charlie 4 Fox Trot Mike. Kilo Charlie 4 Fox Trot Mike will go with those four. All stations stand by. Kilo Delta 2 Oscar Alpha Mike, you're up. John, how's things? Over. Very good, Jim. Kilo Echo 8 Lima Delta Bravo. Kilo Delta 2 Oscar Alpha Mike. John in Oakfield, New York and Western New York. E-cars number 20907. And we've got 31 degrees Cloudy skies right now. Got a little bit of dusting of snow, not much. 88% humidity and 29.98 on the barometer. Uh, two mile an hour east northeast breeze and all the uh, six and a half foot of snow we've had up until Christmas, uh, just after Christmas, is all gone. Everything's melted. Just the big banks are left where they plowed it up and stacked it up. But uh, we're supposed to get some more snow by the end of the week. We'll see how much that's going to be. I don't think it's going to be much. Uh, I'm hoping we don't get any more storms like we had. So back to you, Jim, KE8LDB, KD2OAM. Roger that, John. Yeah, you were talking about them big piles of snow where they plowed up. Uh, memory just flooded into my head about back in the 80s when I worked up in Oswego at that new car at Nine Mile, and uh, they would load that stuff up in dump trucks and take it down and dump it in the river over. Yeah, Roger that. Yeah, I lived in Oswego for about 22 weeks. I was uh, taking care of a plant we had up there in Fulton, New York, and uh, I stayed in Oswego at the Best Western there in the harbor. And, uh, yeah, we got some wicked snowstorms up there also during the winter. Back Roger to you, Jim. Roger that. Well, I worked there on that new car at Nine Mile, but I lived on around the corner of the lake. You ever heard of a little place called Sandy Pond over? Roger that. I have. Roger that. Well, I lived on Sandy Pond in the first snow I ever seen in New York. Uh, I'll make a short story long there. Uh, they was talking about lake effect at night in the bar there. We sat and having a beer and some supper.
upper, and they said it might be significant uh, around the east end of the lake. Uh, when I left, there was a little pile of sugar snow on top of my uh, windshield wipers there, and I just kind of flipped it off. And the next morning, I had to crawl out the picture window in the cabin we were staying in. There was 42 inches of that partly cloudy laying on the ground over. Roger that. Yeah, we had the same thing. It cost me uh, almost a hundred grand to get the snow removed from around the plant that was running, and uh, that was unbelievable snow. We didn't have any room for it. We had to truck it out. Roger, Roger on that. Hey, boy, they can get some wicked snows. Anyway, John, it's great talking to you. I hate to run, but i got to get going, so I'll send it back to you for a quick final, and I'll get these other gentlemen in here. Over. Roger that, Jim. You take care. Have a great day, and we'll uh, we'll talk to you again. Maybe we'll be able to catch you on Wednesday. KE8LDB, KD2OAM. Roger that, John. Send back my best, and I'll talk to you soon. John's in Oakfield, New York, 20907 on the eCars roster. We got him in the log. We'll clear with John. Next up, Kilo Echo 8. I think it was Echo Yankee Whiskey. Come on in. K-E-A-T-Y, that's the Tango Yankee Whiskey. Good afternoon, or good good morning, Jim. Roger that. Randy, how's things in the great state of West Virginia this morning? Over. Hey, we're doing good down here. It's, uh, it's can't decide whether it wants to sip rain or sip the, sip the hard stuff here today. Uh, I went out to feed the cows. They were glad to see me, and I, uh, I was coming back up the hill, and it was starting to turn into sleet, and uh, then it kind of quit. So I don't know if it's going to do anything or not, but uh, it's only 29 degrees here, so you can uh, bet that we're going to have some sort of surprise come along. Roger, roger on that one. If it's like uh, it is here in southern Ohio, Randy, if you don't like the weather, stick around an hour or two and it'll change over. That's a roger. We used to say that in Kansas, too. <laughs> anyway, it's good to talk to you, Jim. Have a great day. Uh, God bless. Uh, K-E-A-T-Y-W. Be clear. Roger that, Randy. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. I'll be on here with Wednesday, if you're back on here, from 8.45 to 10, I'll be here. We're going to clear with Randy. He's in Union, West Virginia. Let's see. We got him in the law. We'll clear with Randy. Next up, Maggie Valley, North Carolina. Robert, come on in here. Good morning there, Jim, and all my friends on eCars. This is Kilo 4, Lima, Juliet. My name is Robert, and I'm located in western North Carolina, Maggie Valley. And uh, we have overcast skies, the possibility of freezing rain. And uh, my uh, e-cars number is 40087. And I appreciate the work you're doing there, Jim. And another thing, you have a good memory. And you take care of those great-grandsons. And um, I'll turn it back to you because you have a lot of other people wanting to keep Tune in with you. Hello for Lima Juliet, clearing out. Roger that, Robert. It's always great hearing your voice. You've got a very distinctive voice. Robert, I can pick you out of a thousand people. Anyway, have a great day down there, and we'll talk to you soon. We're going to clear with Robert. He's in Maggie Valley, North Carolina, 40087 on the e car roster. Let's see. We got him in the wrong. Okay. Next up, Kilo Charlie Ford, Foxtrot Mike. Come on in. WW1SF. Yeah, I did, Jim. I mean, Jim. <laughs> Goodness, I'm sitting here uh, dragging my coffee. I wasn't paying much attention, but uh, we're over there. No, I don't know if you remember. Remember me or not? Hickory, North Carolina, and the name's Gene. And it's raining just a little bit. Uh, you get wet if you get out there long enough, though. Over. Roger, Roger. Which, uh, the only thing I can tell you, Gene, is stay on the dry side of the door. Over. As long as I can keep anything on the outside the door, and I'll stay on the warm side of it. You got it. Roger that. Hey, you got big plans down there today, over? Yeah, stand dry. <laughs> how, about, how about yourself? 
Hey, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay in here. I put my feet up on this old amplifier and use it for a foot warmer. But anyway, you're sounding good, Gene, and it's been a couple months since I've talked to you. I hope nothing fast uh, be set your path. It's just poor timing, over. I'm still having my eyes worked on Jim and uh, having an awful time with it. They stick needles in my eyes working on the backside of it, and uh, that's getting to be an old habit, you know. Well, I hope you get that all squared away, because I sure like talking to you, Gene. Anyway, have you got anything else for the net before I go get some more check-ins here, over? Well, about the only thing I'd say to the net is just everybody have a great day. Make it a great week and uh, their way. Just any, any way they want it, their way, right? So, partner, take care, and you have a beautiful week coming up. KC4. Roger, Roger, Gene. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. We're going to clear with Gene. He's in Hickory, North Carolina. Let's see. We got him in the wrong. Let's see. Oh, better get him checked in. Okay, we got her now. All right, that clears that list out. We're going to get some more check-ins here. The call is Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo. Jim here at the Play Mill in Southern Ohio. We're looking for check-ins. All are welcome. All now. November 1, Sierra, November. W1SF. November. Okay, Steve, I've got you. Uh, anybody else for e cars? I've got money there in Lansing. Anybody else for e cars? Germany, Italy, Norway. Got you, Dave, in King George County. Anybody else? Okay, we're going to go with these three here. First up, Steve, how you doing? Well, uh, good morning. Okay, yeah, just get up. We have a little bit later in the morning, and uh, the temperature here is 31 degrees, and it's uh, very gloomy looking out there, uh, Jim. Over. Uh, just uh, remodeling calls on on the house, and all is well. Over. Roger, oh, right, Steve. You, you, you ever say you're way down, down there in over? my noise, uh, Jim? I yeah, we'll be going up to South over. Bridge, uh, around April 15th, and we'll be up there uh, for the summer, and we'll be up there till. Around uh, November, over. Roger, Talk Roger, on that. Hey, let me ask you a question. Are you going to stay in Florida for the whole winter, or are you heading to the Gulf Coast in Texas, over? Oh, this year we're going to stay in Florida. We're going to stay right here until uh, we leave here in April, and then we're going to go up to uh, uh, Massachusetts for the summer, over. Roger that. With Steve, I hope I'm hearing a lot of you. I hear you really good. I got you about five here right now, uh, well above the uh, noise from the forward broadcast, uh, but uh, I haven't talked to you since the 18th day of September, uh, uh, and I was wondering what had happened to you, over. Yeah, we've been uh, kind of busy. We were remodeling the house. We came down here in August, and uh, I spent, uh, well, I just finished it probably about two, three weeks ago, and uh, got more time to play uh, radio there, over. Roger that. Well, I hope that's what it was, and nothing bad has reset your past. Steve, have you got anything else before I go get these other two gentlemen, over? Oh, I'm all set, sir. You have a great day. Thanks for getting me in, and I'll be listening. WW1SS. Back to you. Roger that, Steve. It's always a pleasure to hear your voice, and I'll be looking forward to hearing you again. By the way, I'll be on here Wednesday morning, 845 to 10. If you got a moment, I'd love to chat. We're going to clear with Steve. He's in, I think it's Homer, Santa, Florida. Uh, as some of them uh, uh, names of them towns down there uh, elude me, as it were. We're going to clear with Steve. Let me see. We got him in the list. Next up, Lansing, Michigan. Um, Monty, how are you doing this morning? K-E-8, L-D-B, Jim. Good morning, Jim. Uh, nothing too much uh, to add to this. Uh, uh, we got uh, N-8 OBV, Monty, here in Lansing. But, um, oh, I don't know, it's uh, 31 degrees outside. 
And it looks like we got, uh, oh, I don't know, a dusting of snow last night. Uh, we got uh, snow showers uh, for the day and uh, only a high of only 30, 32 degrees, uh, the, what the weatherman's saying. But uh, it sounded good this morning, Jim. You're uh, getting over the, the all the music and all the garbage this morning up here. So we'll turn it back to you, Jim, and a o b v Roger that, Monty. You're sounding good as well. You're pretty much obliterating the forum broadcast. I hope you're doing well today. And if you got any big plans? No, no plans. Uh, I might go over and help my uh, my son again today. To, uh, he's putting up one of those. Uh, uh, oh, they're, uh, they're a tent-type uh, car for And uh, he leveled off some of his gravel yesterday, and I think he's going to work on that today. I might, since my, uh, I've had uh, um, the blood thinners and stuff, it don't seem like I get, uh, I don't stay very warm anymore, so I don't last very long. But uh, I, I help him a little bit anyway. Marty, I can I I feel your pain when it comes to that. They got me on them blood thinners as well, and uh, I'll tell you what, I can't stand the cold like I used to. Over. No, I can't begin to uh, hold a candle to what I what I could do before. So far as uh, staying outside, my hands get cold right away. Uh, I've got enough good boots to wear about. My feet will stay okay, but my hands, my hands don't like it at all. Roger that. Well, Monty, stay on the warm side of the door as best you can. It's always great talking to you. And if I uh, uh, be on here Wednesday morning, I hope to hear your voice then. We're going to clear with Monty. He's in Lansing, Michigan. Let's see. We got Monty in the log here. We'll clear with Monty. Next up, Whiskey Alpha 3, Gulf India, November. Dave, how you doing this morning? Good morning. Good morning, Jim. We're doing really good. And and uh, it's overcast here. 34 degrees this morning. Cloudy. We're looking for some sunshine. Don't know if we're going to get it. But I'd like to see some. You're sounding good here. Easy copy. Broadcast station is weak today, so no competition. And uh, the guy in Michigan with the cold hands, everybody in Michigan this time of year has cold hands. <laughs> so, yeah, you're, you're just fine. <laughs> and start walking around the house before you go outside and get the blood moving a little bit. And if you're on blood thinners, that's, that means that you're... Uh, you you got thin you you got to thin your blood out and it needs to, so it can go where it wants to and uh, but you still have to push it it's not going to get there on its own and so you know you'll be fine good luck with all that and uh, we'll uh, be checking in with you later Jim always good to hear you in the morning you're the, you're like the uh, you're like the uh, alarm clock in the morning. I hear that voice. I know it's time to get going. Back to you, Jim. WA3GIN, King George. Roger that. Thank you for those kind words, Dave. You got me blushing all over this microphone here this morning. Anyway, Dave, have yourself a great day, and I will talk to you soon. We're going to play with Dave. He's in King George County in the great state of Virginia. 3243 on the E Cars roster. Let's see. We got Dave in the log. We'll clear with him. That clears this list out. We're going to get some more check ins. The call here is Kilo Echo 8. Lima Delta Bravo. Jim here from Clay Mill in Southern Ohio. We're looking for check-ins for the East Coast Amateur Radio Service. All are welcome. All now. Golf Hotel Kilo. November Echo Juliet. November 3, Vector Echo Tango. Okay, here's what I've got. I've got Rob in Bay City. I've got uh, Andy in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I've got uh, Terry in Kitchener, Ontario. I got Bruce over there in uh, Frederica, Delaware. And there was another one I missed. Come again. 
Okay, maybe I didn't. First up, Kilo Charlie 8, Tierra Delta Lima. Rob, how you doing? Good morning, Brother Jim. Kilo, I believe Lima Delta Bravo. Kilo Charlie 8, Tierra Delta Lima. What about you and Kilo? You're doing very much too long. It's like what you love to be, but I thought I'd come downstairs and get it with you. I'm on the Hot Water 101 radio. The guy picked up last Thursday. We're going to jump in the hill of Michigan. So it's I've got you at about five six here, Rob. Not the strongest signal in the world. You're pretty close on frequency. It's not spot on, but completely understandable. Over. Okay, very good. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I just turned it on your phone. Roger that, Rob. Have a great day. Be safe, be well, and it's always a pleasure talking to you. I'll talk to you Wednesday morning if you're on here. Uh, Rob is in Bay City, Michigan, 8453 on the E-Cars roster. We're going to clear with Rob. Next up, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Andy, how you doing? Hey, good morning, Jim. I thought I would surprise you this morning. Uh, we didn't get on our walk yet. In a couple minutes, we'll be headed out the door. We're kind of running late today, so I thought I would sneak down into the basement and give you a shout-out, because normally I don't catch you on a Sunday morning. But you're sounding good, and we're doing good, and almost headed out the door. The doggie's waiting for me. Back to you, Jim. Roger that. Well, you don't want to disappoint that pup. I had to let uh, my old lab out this morning early. It was pitch dark. He was rustling around. Uh, he had some business he had to go take care of. So before I even started the net, I had him out over. Ah, uh, Roger, Roger. Yep, that's great. Uh, we sometimes have to do that, too. She, she's pretty good at letting us know what she needs, uh, both with uh, her eyeballs and, and her. she has different barks that represent different things. It's pretty amazing, but uh, she's a good one, and we really love it, and she loves to walk, which is good for us. So great to hear you, Jim. I will catch you again. This is KC3GHK, 73s for now. Roger that, Andy. And, yes, they can keep communicate. They have no problem communicating. Where they run is the stuff is the, the people they're trying to communicate with often does not know what they're trying to say over. <laughs> roger, roger with that. Or we just get too lazy and don't want to don't help out. But anyway, great to hear you, Jim, as always. KC3 GHK. Roger that, Andy 73, and I'll talk to you soon. I'll be on here with Wednesday morning. I just love to hear the sound of your voice. We're going to clear with Andy. He's in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. 30543 on the E-Cars roster. Uh, let's see. We'll clear with Andy. Next time, uh, Kitchener, Ontario. Victor Echo 3, November Echo Juliet. Terry, my brother, come on in here. Well, good morning, Brother Jim. Terry in Kitchener, Ontario. 30709 on your list there, Jim. I think it's 30 degrees. Yeah, I'll say good morning to fellow uh, Spark there, Rob, in Bay City. And uh, what else was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to say, Jim. Maybe you should ask. Over. Roger that. What else was you going to say there, Terry? Over. Oh, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, I'm battling a headache all night, and I woke up. And I had a little bit of sleep. I woke up, and it's still pounding like a jackhammer. And I don't know why. I don't drink, so I'm not hungover. Well, maybe I am, just that I don't drink, over. Roger, Roger on that. Hey, I hope there's nothing bad there. Uh, uh, get you some Advil. That usually cures it for me, over. Well, I took two Tylenol 3. That's uh, 60 milligrams of codeine. That should uh, get rid of it. 
and it takes an hour or so for them to work. Man, oh man, I woke up with just splitting headaches. Just like, I don't know, maybe there's a pressure change or something in the weather. Uh, I'll be okay, Jim. Uh, oh, I sent you some pictures. That's what I was going to tell you. I sent you some pictures of a, a tool that I made on the old Victoria Mill when it was in the shop. Over. Roger that. I'll have a look at him here when I get off the air, Terry. You're sounding pretty good this morning here. The last uh, transmission, you took a little bit of a fade, but I still got you uh, 100% over. Yeah, you're doing the same, and so is the uh, broadcast. It's fading. Normally it's in your rock steady. It's bouncing up and down. You're swinging between a net 5 and net 9. So I just wrote it down. S8.5. Thanks for picking me up, Jim. And uh, I'm going to look for you next week. Always enjoy talking to you. And uh, maybe my two old curmudgeon buddies will be back on Thursday. They seem to go AWOL on alternating days, but that's okay. So great, Jim. Brother, keep smiling. Ve three N E J. Roger that, Terry. It's always a pleasure hearing your voice, and uh, that put a smile on my face as well. We're gonna clear with Terry. He's in Kitchener, Ontario. Three zero seven zero nine on the ECAR roster. We'll clear with Terry. Next up, Frederica Delaware, November three. Victor Echo Tango. Come on in, Bruce. Well, good morning, Jim. To everybody else out there, this is uh, November 3, Victor Echo Tango. Bruce on Federica, Delaware, just south of Dover, Delaware, about 10 miles. It's uh, 34 degrees here this morning, and I think we're going to warm up a little bit, and I think it's going to rain. So it's not going to be too nice out there. So I think I'm just going to stay here in the shack and uh, have a little fun. Back to you there, Jim. Hope all is well back up there where you are in Ohio there. Roger that. Well, everything's just hunky. Don't worry here, Bruce. And uh, uh, that pupster there, you got your buddy. He might have a different idea about sitting around in the shack all day over. Oh, I know. He's sitting right here now. He wants to go for a walk. So probably I'll have to uh, get my coat on there and take him out, make him happy. Roger that, Bruce. I already had my lab out this morning. He had me uh, letting him out before daylight over. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't get up too early this morning. Uh, usually I'm up just about daylight, but uh, this morning he let me sleep a little longer. Normally he's uh, right there and uh, wanting me to get out of bed and get going, but uh, he overslept this morning, so I did. Roger that, Bruce. Great talking to you this morning. Be safe, be well, and I'll talk to you soon down the log. I'll be on here Wednesday morning. If you're on the radio, I'll be looking forward to hearing your voice. We're going to clear with Bruce. He's in Frederica, Delaware, 20093 on the E-Cars roster. Uh, we got him in the log. We'll clear with Bruce. I got time to take another list. Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo, here at the Clayville in Southern Ohio, looking for check in for e-cars. All are welcome. Call now. November 1, Foxtrot Golf November Duo for Echo Zulu Yankee. Okay, I got two of you. They're a little light, but I've got you in the long. I got November 1, Fox Golf November. I've got uh, Rocky down in Apex, North Carolina. First up, Leroy and West Suffield. Come on in. Good morning, Jim. The weather is kind of gloomy looking out there this morning, and it's only 31 degrees, and your signal is about a 5.9, I think it was, over. Roger that, Leroy. You're a little light this morning, but I got you in the log. You got any big plans this morning, over? Uh, no big plans. I'll find something to do, Jim. I'm going to stay inside today, though. You're only about a 5.7, Jim. I, I looked at it at the display again, over. Roger on the 5.7, Leroy. I've got you uh, completely copyable. Uh, probably about a 5.5, five, I'll give you, uh, but 100% on the copy. Anyway, Leroy, whatever you do, have a good day. We'll talk to you Wednesday morning, okay? 
Okay, Jim, I'll try and get up earlier if I can. N1FTN will be clear with KE8, LDB. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Jim, I'll try and get up earlier if I can. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Jim, I'll try and get up earlier if I can. N1FTN will be clear with KE8, LDB. Roger that, Leroy. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. We're going to clear with Leroy. He's West Suffield, Connecticut, 1814 on the E-Cars roster. Let's see. We got him in the vault. Next up, Apex, North Carolina. Rocky, come on in there. Appreciate that, Jim. We good morning from Apex, North Carolina, where we got 40 degrees, cloudy skies, and a bunch of rain over. Roger that. Uh, are you going to get a lot of rain there, uh, uh, Rocky, or uh, is it uh, no uh, precipitation over? No, nah, it's raining right now. I, I can tell i got some puddles outside my front yard, so evidently we had a pretty good uh, rain last night, over. Roger, roger on that. Uh, uh, yeah, I uh, hope uh, you didn't get washed away. How much rain did you get, Rocky? Do you know? Come back. I say, how much rain did you get, over? I haven't checked the weather service yet, but I'd say probably uh, around half an inch right now. Roger, roger on that. Well, I hope you didn't get washed from away, over. Now I'm up here on the ridge. It take a, it would, it would take an event to do that. Roger, that was deeper, high and dry there, and stay on the dry side of the door, Rocky. That's the plan for the day, a little RF therapy and football. So appreciate it, Jim. Have a good day, and uh, we'll talk to you later in 7-3 from Kilo 4 Echo, Zulu Yankee. Roger that, Rocky. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. We're going to clear with Rocky. He's in Apex, North Carolina. We got him in the uh, in the room here, and i got time to get one or two more there. Uh, Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo here at the Clay Mill Southern Ohio. I'm looking for check-ins for e-cars. All are welcome. All down. Check-ins, check-ins, check-ins for the East Coast Amateur Radio Service. The call here, Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo. Jim here to play Mill Southern Ohio, and we're looking for check-ins. All are welcome. Call now. Check-ins, check-ins, check-ins for the East Coast Amateur Radio Service. The call here is Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo. Jim here to Clay Mill in Southern Ohio. We're looking for check-ins. All are welcome. Call now. We've come to the uh, end of my shift here. I'd like to thank everybody that checked in with me. Uh, we had a uh, pretty good nap this morning. Got a visit with some folks. But now it's time to turn this net over to the net controller, and that will be the very capable hands of Don over there in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Whiskey 3, double or nothing. Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo. Don, are you on station? I am, Jim. I am here. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, we're at the home QTH, so uh, anyway. <laughs> And can you hear us out there in Ohio? I've got you at about 5-7 here this morning, Don. You're sounding good. Q5 on the copy. All right. Yeah, you faded off there from uh, when you started there. So I guess the band's going to gonna do what it's going to do today. So anyway, Jim, good to hear you this morning. And, uh, hey, have a great day. Roger that, Don. You have a great day as well. 
give Sharon my best, and I'll talk to you soon down the road. Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar, November. Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo. I will be clear a QRT. All right, Jim, I put you in as the first one there. That way I can count back to that when I get to it. <laughs> all right, Jim, good to hear you. Thanks for all you do for e-cars. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar, November. Don here in Lancaster, PA at the home QTH, where we got a high noise level this morning, so we'll have to see how that works out. But uh, this is uh, uh, W3DON, name is Don. E-Cars number here is 30 triple deuce for life. E-Cars is a directed net. You do not have to be a member of E-Cars to check in. All information is passed through net control. We do work from a list. If you don't make it on the first list, be patient. We'll get to you uh, as soon as we can. Uh, let's see. Any, uh, any, uh, yeah, shoo, <laughs> any schedule. Anybody out there with a schedule to keep here at the top of the hour? Schedule, schedule only. All right, not hearing anybody with a schedule to keep. Let me see what I did with my pen here. Uh, how about mobile, portable, or QRP? Mobile, portable, or QRP? I'm not hearing anything. Anybody hearing anything? I'm not. All right, this is Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November, and we're looking for check-ins for e-cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service. All stations are welcome. November, November 1, two, Golf Oscar November. I got FGN. Who else? November 2, Golf Oscar Tango. Golf Oscar Tango. Got you. Who else? All right. Uh, N1 FGN. Leroy, good morning. Well, good morning, uh, Don. Yes, uh, it's kind of noisy this morning. And I uh, saw 31 degrees up here in his overcast sky. Another uh, gloomy day, uh, uh, Don. Over. Hey, Roger, on that, Leroy. Yeah, we got overcast skies here. They're calling for rain today. So I uh, don't know if it's doing anything yet, but I think we're at 33 degrees right now. Go ahead. Uh, QSL. No, it's not doing anything up here, but uh, it looks like it's going to, though. You have a good day there, Don, and uh, we'll catch you later. Your signal there is a good 5-7 uh, uh, or 5-8. Over. Hey, Roger, Roger, Leroy. Yeah, you're five nine down here. Right, right now, I got like an S six an S seven noise level. Uh, usually, it's a, usually it's a little lower than that, but uh, yeah, this morning it got a little bit of noise in there. Uh, QSL, uh, Don. Yes, it sure is noisy this morning. Okay, take care. N one FCN will be clear with W three D O N. All right, Leroy. Have a good one up there, West Suffield, Connecticut, eighteen fourteen. Digging on the bus. Uh, seven three is my friend. Have a great day. All right, how about uh, I think that's Harold up there, G O T. Hey, good uh, good morning, uh, Howard here. N two G O T. Two zero seven three on the roster. I was actually going to also say hello to um, our friend Jim out there in the Clay Mill, Ohio, if he was still in there. I was uh, trying to take a listen and uh, had a rough time hearing him before. Uh, and I've got a, an okay copy on you, Don, from your home uh, location there. Uh, and that's about it. I think we're supposed to get some rain here. It looks like there's a big system coming in later, uh, I guess, uh, in the late morning, early afternoon. I've got to do some minor work to a 2-meter uh, 440 vertical. I've got to uh, put the coax back in and uh, fix the mount up there. The antenna's been twisting around up there. Uh, that's about it. Just um, some minor work on the vertical. And taking it easy today, uh, relaxing, having my coffee, and uh, got the uh, TV on. And I got on e-cars. That, that's about it, Don. Uh, how copy? Yeah, back to you. Uh, I got a good copy on you, Howard. I was We were hanging out with your buddy the other week up at the club there. I don't know. Don't know if he told you or not, but Tony and I were hanging out up at the club the other Sunday there. Go ahead. Yeah, very good. He did. Uh, Tony did mention that to him. I speak to him uh, quite often. We uh, 
we speak to each other usually on uh, on 75. He was mentioning to me a group of friends of mine uh, back on uh, on 75. I haven't spoken to them yet, and uh, we were just talking about a number of other things. And um, that's about it. Uh, uh, not much else doing, but um, I was a little surprised you didn't go to the club station today. Uh, I know uh, today's a good day to, the, to go to the club station, but I guess you're you're doing the e-cars thing from your uh, uh, home location. But uh, yeah, Tony did mention that to me, and uh, I'm glad you guys met up. Back to you. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what happened, Howard. Uh, about uh, what was it? I think on the ninth. Uh, we were involved in a car accident, and uh, right now I don't have a vehicle. <laughs> I'm waiting for the insurance company to get this all figured out. So uh, anyway, uh, I didn't have uh, rental insurance on the insurance policy, which which will change after this gets straightened out. I will add that to the insurance policy. I didn't know I didn't have it, but uh, anyway, hopefully by next week we'll have this worked out and everything will be back to normal. We'll, we'll see what happens. But, uh, Anyway, that's what happened there. That's why we ain't been to the club the last two weeks or so. Yeah, yeah, I completely understand. Well, you know the, uh, you know how it goes. The most important is, is you and any of your uh, other passengers or just yourself are fine. That's what counts, and uh, that's what the insurance is for. Um, I had a mishap a few years ago. Uh, it was more minor. Um, not, not it was considered uh, a little bit more than a fender bender, uh, but it was out of my vehicle for a number of weeks. But um, I, I did. I also did not have that on my insurance, and uh, um, I, luckily I don't need it uh, from where I'm at uh, because uh, I'm not that far from my work UTH. But uh, if I was and I needed to commute, I, I would probably do that. So completely understand. Uh, bottom line is, as long as everything is a okay with you. Yeah, everything's okay. I had my wife and the grandson with me. I had to take him to a doctor's appointment. Everybody's okay. Car's a little beat up, but uh, uh, that's going to get taken care of. So uh, anyway, <clears throat> I was able to drive it home, but I don't want to drive. There's pieces hanging off. I'm afraid stuff will fall off of it, and I don't want that. So wait for the insurance company here. They, uh, they just got back to me last week, so uh, I guess it's going to... Be getting fixed here in the next week or so, or anyway, that'll, that's what we're looking at. So, uh, anyway, Howard, good to hear you this morning. Thanks for checking in from up there in Brooklyn. Uh, 20738, ticket on the bus, and uh, hey, have a great day up there, Howard. All right, you too. As long as you, the grandson, and the missus are fine, that's what counts. <clears throat> and uh, I know how the driving is uh, where you are. Uh, it's not the way it was when I first uh, started coming to your area uh, back in the early 80s. Uh, a bit different today with the uh, more aggressive driving and assist to the roads are a lot busier where you're at. All right, 73 Don, have a, have a good shift there, and uh, I'll, I'll be listening here. W3DOM, this is NTGO Tate. Hi, Howard, 7-3, N2-G-O-T, W-3-D-O-N. This is E-Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255. And we're looking for check-ins, anybody, anywhere. November Alpha 1 X-Ray. I heard a November Alpha 1. Was that November Alpha 1 X-Ray? Yeah, the man's not very good for me up here. Good morning, Don. If you copy, W3DON, this is November Alpha 1 X-ray. The name is Joe Juliet Oscar Echo, located in Agawam, Massachusetts, with an E-Cars number of 10099. Back to you there, Don. Hey, okay, Joe. Yeah, we got you there. We got you. You're getting above the noise level. Yeah, we got a lot of noise this morning on here, so... Uh, Anyway, I don't think the man's in real good shape this morning, but uh, anyway, you're making it over there, 10099, take it on the bus there. And, uh, yeah, very good. Your buddy uh, Leroy, he checked in there first thing this morning. So, uh, anyway, I heard him okay, and I'm hearing you pretty good there, too. Go ahead. Roger on that. Well, you're about 5x7, five 5x8. By five by you're sounding just fine right now. You have a wonderful day, Don. It's good to hear you this morning. W3DON, this is NA1X. I'll be clear and listening. 7-3, my friend. Hey, okay, Joe. Have a good one. Yeah, you were about 5'9", that last transmission there, so... Uh, 
Uh, you were a little lower on the last one, but that last one there, you were about five nine. So uh, yeah, no trouble at all. One zero zero nine nine ticket on the bus. Hey, have a great day up there in Agawam, Massachusetts, and uh, good to hear you, Joe. Seven three. All right, this is E-Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255. And we're looking for check-ins, anybody, anywhere. November 2, Zulu Golf November. Uh, Zulu Golf November, I got you, who else? Okay, Jerry, good morning. How's things up in New York? Well, things up in New York are cloudy. Southwest breeze around 2 to 4 miles an hour and 29 degrees. Over. <laughs> yeah, we're at 33 and they're calling for rain today. I think we're going up to 40s today. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger. Well, last night we had our uh, induction into the Hall of Fame at the local college of the 1980. Uh, men's ice hockey team and the 2001 men's hockey team uh, that went uh, and took the national uh, Division Three title. And today, the uh, American men are playing the Canadian men in ice hockey at Lake Placid uh, in the Fishu Games. Uh, they're playing for the uh, gold medal. Over. Hey, Roger, Roger, on that. That sounds like a good game. That's uh, that's pretty good there. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger, uh, I won't be there, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, they beat Japan last night 4-3, uh, to three, uh, same as the uh, Russian team of 1980. Uh, so, it's, uh, it, hopefully it'll go our way. Uh, Japan has come a long way in ice hockey uh, at the college level, and that's where all these guys are. They're all... Uh, the U.S. team is all Division Three. So, and one of our local uh, uh, Plattsburgh State guys is uh, playing. So, with that, uh, we'll say seven three. Have a great day. Hey, okay, Jerry. Yeah, have a good one up there. Hope the hockey game goes your way there. And uh, very good on the uh, the introduction or the uh, yeah introduction to the Hall of Fame or whatever it was there. And and uh, yeah, very good. Good to hear you. Uh, 20993, ticket on the bus, 7 threes, my friend. Have a great day up there in Peru, New York. Contact. All right, this is E-Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255. And we're looking for check-ins, anybody, anywhere. Contact. Contact, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to say hi to Jerry up in New York. This is Bruce, N3VET. Good morning, Jerry. How are you good down here? Oh, very good, Bruce. Uh, I got a S9 uh, Plus copy on you this morning, and uh, have a great uh, day down there. Back over to uh, uh, Double or Nothing and to ZGN. Hey, very good, Bruce. You want to check in while you have it there? Is it N2VET? Yeah, I checked in a little bit with Jim there a little bit earlier. I just happened to hear Jerry. I want to say hi to him. I'm from up that country. Okay, do I got the call right, N2VET? Yes, sir. Uh, Bruce and Frederica, Delaware. I think I'm missing something because that ain't what's coming up here on my screen. Yeah, it's November 3, Victor Echo Tango. All right, I had a 2 in there. That's why it didn't come up right. Let me... Uh... Let me uh, <laughs> let me correct that, and we'll get it straightened out here. Uh, let me clear this out, and then we'll go back to uh, we'll go back and put in the right information. All right, Bruce, we got you now. Hey, you sound good coming out of Delaware. There, uh, you're sounding real good up here in Pennsylvania. Go ahead. Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, I got me a SC200 amp here, and I got it up about 200 watts. Uh, I just finally got one, got an amplifier, and I got it up running here. Hey, very good. You're 20 over S9 up here. We're just running 100 watts in a wire, so uh, anyway, but you're uh, 20 over S9 up here in Lancaster, PA. Yeah, you're uh, nine over. You're you're coming in real good too. So very good. Uh, you have a great day there, and uh, I'll be uh, riding along here. Hey, okay, Bruce. Have a good one down there in uh, Frederica, Delaware. 
20093. Take it on the bus. 73 is Bruce. Have a great day. 73, you also. We're clear. Roger, roger. This is Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November. Uh, looking for check ins. Anybody anywhere? Regular November. Oh, I thought I heard somebody out there, but they're really, really light. Uh, Radio November. Uh, All right, Radio November. Uh, that uh, is that my buddy out there on the end of the Route 30 there? Roger, Roger, Roger. Oh, okay. Roger, Roger. That, what is that? King, uh, King George, uh, King George, is it? King George 8 Radio November? Uh, yeah, also known as the Redneck Neighbor there. Uh, <laughs> every time I move that new neighborhood, I get famous uh, for what I'm doing there. Over. All right, let me get this straight now here. KG8. RN. I had a four in there. I don't know why I did that, but uh, okay, Jerry. Hey, we got you I'm coming out of Ohio out there. How are things out there in the western end of the Lincoln Highway? Everything's pretty good right now. We're 30 degrees and expecting some snow break later on. So uh, we wouldn't uh, uh, get a short ride on the bus with you. See if you're still uh, wobbling and up and uh, hot holes and top and swinging from the tree limbs and all that. Down hill out here. <laughs> Uh, we're getting ready here in a few minutes to uh, go uh, fellowship with the brethren in the corn patch uh, over a little uh, metal castle out of town. Uh, it's good country worship. So that's uh, what we're up to next. So uh, we'll have the trails up and around on the only star bus. And uh, uh, we'll talk to you another day. We're actually waiting for the saw and the, the alligators to come out of uh, the night here. So. Uh, seven three, catch you down the road. Uh, happy trail. Okay, hey, 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 okay, Jerry. Yeah, very good. Yeah, we're getting closer to the alligator net starting again. That'll be uh, time change there. For what is that? March. I think they change the clock, so it'll it's getting closer. <laughs> anyway, good to hear you this morning, there, Jerry. Hey, have a good one out there on the western end of the Lincoln Highway there, and it's uh. Always good to hear you, and have a super day. Uh, this is Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November. This is Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November for eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service. Uh, 7255, and we're looking for check-ins. Anybody anywhere? Whiskey Bravo 3, Alpha Victor Zulu. Alpha Victor Zulu, I got you, Frank. Who else? All right, Whiskey Bravo 3, Alpha Victor Zulu. Come on in there, Frank. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I don't know, five on the other side of the river. Me. Yeah, we're here. Standing by. Sounds like the band uh, is as crappy as it was yesterday. So uh, it's going to be a long uh, a long hour, I think, when I take over, God. Yeah, well, I can hear you. Anyway, you're sounding good, so uh, conditions between you and I ain't bad right now. Go ahead. All right, well, then we'll just talk for a while. <laughs> All righty. Very good. I'm just uh, kind of sitting here uh, catching up on uh, Saturday Night Live, which, of course, i got to find the current episode to uh, check what's going on there. So, all right, just uh, riding along. Yeah, okay, very good. <laughs> yeah, you're five nine here. Sometimes a little more, so you're doing a good job coming across the river. Good to hear you, uh, Frank. Uh, Frank's going to be your incoming net controller at the top of the hour, uh, and uh, he will uh, he will be your incoming net controller at the ten ten to eleven spot there. And uh, uh, you guys check in with Frank. <laughs> Give him something to do. Uh, I know uh, I know I'm off to a slow start this morning. Uh, I'm hoping, uh, hoping it's just the uh, conditions, and I'm not uh, not uh, losing a lot of people I ain't hearing out there. So, anyway, <laughs> uh, I know the conditions ain't real well this morning, but yeah, we'll get through it. All right, Frank, seven threes. Have a good one. We'll turn it over to you at the top of the hour. 
Okie doke. We'll be there. I hope. WB3, ABC. All right. This is Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November for e Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, uh, 7255, and we're looking for check ins. 203, Charlie Whiskey Pop Up. Boy, I heard a kilo. I thought it was a kilo three. Yeah, K3CWP. All right, K3CWP, come on in. Yeah, good morning. Uh, East card number 3530. Hey, Carmine, uh, good morning. How are things in State College? Uh, K3CWP, Carmine, you got copy? I think I lost him. Hey, Carmine, we got you in the logbook there. If you're, uh, if you're there, we got you on the bus. So, uh, hey, good to hear you. Uh, don't know what happened, but we lost you there. So, uh... Anyway, have a great day, Carmine. Thanks for checking into eCars this morning. All right, this is Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November for eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service. Uh, 7255, looking for check ins. This is Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November, looking for check-ins for eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255. Right, this is eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255. This is W3DON, name is Don, we're located in Lancaster, PA. And we're looking for check-ins for e-cars. All stations are welcome. Call now. This is e-cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service 7255. Looking for check-ins. Anybody, anywhere. This is eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255. And we're looking for check-ins. Anybody, anywhere, like to check-in, call now. Uh, K3CWP again. Hey, K3CWP. Carmine, go ahead. Something went wrong with my tuner. I'm not sure what, but everything's working now. Yeah, membership number 3530. Uh, just checking in to say hello, and I'm going to listen to the net while I do my office work today. Hey, did you say 3530? Correct, correct. Okay, very good on the 3530 there. <laughs> hey, you sound pretty good down here in Lancaster. Go ahead. Okay, and you're really strong here. I I didn't look at the S meter, but you're a, probably 10 over here. Um, band seems kind of quiet. I have something went wrong here. Some setting got off, but now it's good. Hey, okay, Carmine, good to hear you. I didn't know what happened to you there. I knew I lost you, but uh, anyway, uh, good to hear you down here. You're you're about a 5.8 to 5.9 down here, in, bouncing in between there. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm only running 75 watts. I didn't turn the amp on. Yeah, okay. Well, we're running 100 watts in a wire down here, a uh, uh, dipole, uh, not a dipole, but an N-fed uh, uh, my antenna's end fed up about 20 feet. It's only 63 feet long. Go ahead. Boy, it sounds really good. Your signal is very nice. I have a couple end feds here. I was I was hoping to get out for uh, winter field day and experiment with those. Unfortunately, one of my contemporaries passed away. Got to go to a viewing, and I don't know if that how bad that's going to mess up the weekend. 
Yeah, very good. Yeah, I usually talk to you on the ACS net. I check into that quite often. Uh, can't do it too much from home here because I can't do 80 meters as good as I want to, but because uh, of the short antenna. But usually, if I'm at the club side, I usually check into the ACS net every Sunday morning from up there. But uh, hey, good to hear you, car mine. Thanks for checking into eCars this morning. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for your patience. K3CWP, I'll clear and listen. All right, KC, uh, K, yeah, K3CWP, W3DOS. This is eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service 7255. Hey, we're looking for check-ins. Anybody, anywhere? Two Alpha 2 Delta Zulu Tango. <clears throat> you're not too strong today, Don. Okay, very good. Kilo. Hey, what is it? Kilo Alpha 2 Delta Zulu Tango. Man, I know that I know that call. Fred, how you doing over there in North Brunswick, New Jersey? Well, we're doing all right, Don. I've been listening to you. Your signal's a little up and down. You were about five six on that last uh, over, uh, about five six. So I'm, I'm copying you, okay, but not as strong as uh, I've heard you in the past. So I think we got uh, 37 degrees here uh, this morning. Uh, 37 degrees, and it's I guess a little bit overcast, no rain. So that's what's going on here. Not much else. I'm watching television so, <laughs> and listening to you. So uh, back over to you, Don. Uh, W3DONKA2DZT. Yeah, there, I got the call right. Yeah, pretty sure I do. Anyway, back over to you, Don. Hey, okay, Fred. Yeah, very good. Yeah, you got the call right. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you sound good over here. You're 20 over S9. So, uh, yeah, no trouble at all coming out of uh, New Brun or North Brunswick there. Uh, yeah, very good. Yeah, we got 33 degrees, uh, 34 degrees here, and uh, they're calling for rain today, so we'll see how that works out. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger. Uh, yeah, I think they're calling for some rain in our area here later this afternoon. So uh, <laughs> I'm still trying to I'm still trying to bring in some Christmas decorations that are outside. My daughter won't let me take them down. I don't know. She's a little weird. So. I told her today's the deadline. You know, we have to bring some of that stuff in. Um, she, you know, she's gone home putting it all out all over the house and everywhere, but uh, I'm the only one that puts it away. It takes me a couple of months to put all that stuff away. So, anyhow, yeah, we got overcast uh, skies here. Uh, I didn't see any sun out, but like I said, not much in the way of wind. And, uh, and thir about 37 degrees is what I see. So when it's supposed to rain later, W3DON-KA2DZT. Yeah, okay, Fred. Yeah, we got about the same thing going on here. So uh, overcast, uh, 34 degrees. So uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> yeah, well, maybe she just wants to let them up for next year. Then she don't have to put them out, right? You know, you laugh. Um, I was in the um, antenna business my whole life, so I've been in and out of uh, thousands of houses all around the area, you know, all around New Jersey for that most part. But uh, uh, I, have, I have gone into houses in the middle of July <clears throat> where all of the Christmas decorations are still up. So I've actually seen that, you know. And um, I, I've seen that uh, where all the Christmas decorations are still up and put out, you know. People just leave them up all year long, so not unusual. Anyway, back over to you, Don. <clears throat> yeah, very good, very good. Yeah, my wife used to have a little uh, little tree in the corner of the house, and uh, uh, she used to call it an all-occasion tree. She'd decorate it for whatever occasion it was, uh, uh, you know, Valentine's Day, uh, uh, you know, uh, Easter, uh, uh, you know, uh, Halloween. Uh, she just, uh, it wasn't very big. It just uh, kind of like a straight little uh, uh, green green tree sitting in the corner, and she used to decorate it for whatever the occasion was. Go ahead. Yeah, well, don't give my daughter any ideas. <laughs> She's still sleeping. <laughs> but, no, my daughter would do something like that, you know, um, uh, she would do something like that, but I want to give her any ideas. You know, a Halloween tree and a, a Valentine's Day tree and so on and so forth. 
Yeah, this thing wasn't very big. I mean, it was tall. It was like five feet tall, but it wasn't big and round like a Christmas tree. It was kind of thin and uh, skinny and uh, tall, you know, and she used to decorate it in the corner there. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Anyway, Fred, hey, have a good one. Good to hear you today. And, uh, hey, thanks for checking in with us here on ETARS. Yeah, okay, very good, Don. I heard uh, uh, Jim earlier, but uh, I didn't I didn't come down that early this morning. Uh, it was around 9 o'clock, and before I knew it, I think he was signing off. So, or no, man, it was a little before 9, and uh, he wasn't that strong either. So uh, we'll see how things go for the rest of the day. And the Giants lost. They got creamed by the, by the Eagles. <laughs> so I didn't think they were going to beat the Eagles anyway. I didn't even watch the game last night. I was watching the hockey game for a while, the Flyers game, but uh, yeah, I didn't 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 watch the football game at all. Yeah, well, I, I watched it. I, you could have turned it off in the first quarter. I mean, the Eagles had already scored a couple of touchdowns, and I said this is not going to go good for the Giants. And uh, then they fumbled the ball right on a, a three or four uh, yard line, you know, and uh, they could have scored there, and uh, it was a disaster. Anyhow, so um, all right, Don, I'll let you go. Let's see who else is in there this morning. Uh, W3DON. Uh, K-A-2-D-Z-T, and uh, make sure uh, we don't have any alligators up here. So uh, I'm waiting for the alligator net to start. Hey, okay, uh, yeah, I have to get ahead of that, a hold of that chief alligator there. Uh, haven't talked to him for a couple of weeks, a uh, couple of weeks there since we talked. But I uh, have to get a hold of him one of these days, and uh, uh, I'm sure uh, that's growing closer to starting up again. I'm sure he'll be ready for it, too. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger, I, I hear him on... Um, I hear him on East Cars once in a while. He checks in on East Cars. I say, yeah, I'm pretty sure I hear him. Roger, Roger. Yeah, he checks in on East Cars. Yeah, I uh, haven't talked to him for uh, probably about a week or so. I usually hear him on DMR. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah. I, I, I don't have any of that kind of fancy uh, uh, radios, you know, GMR and all that. Uh, I'm on two meters a lot, too. I have a couple of, couple of things I check into. Um uh, a buddy of mine runs a little net on uh, on um, on one of the repeaters from 10 to 11 in the morning, you know, and then I check into the traffic net at 10 o'clock at night. I never have any traffic, you know, but I, I check in anyway just to say something on two meters. So, all right, Don, I'll continue to listen. 73, uh, W3DON, KA2DZT. All right, KA2DZT. Uh, Fred, have a good one over there, and uh, thanks for checking in this morning. Uh, this is eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service 7255, and uh, we're looking for check-ins. Anybody, anywhere? November Echo Juliet. MEJ, I got you. Who else? Uh, all right, Terry, ain't hearing anybody else. Good morning. Victor Echo 3, November Echo Juliet. Hey, good morning, Don. Terry and Kitchener, VE3 and EJ. 30709 on your list. And we got 30 degrees here. So, good day to stay in where it's warm. Uh, yeah, you're a little light yourself there, to, uh, Don. You're down around an S4, but I, I can hear you over. Hey, Roger, Roger, you're about S7 to S8 there, uh, down here, Terry. Go ahead. Oh, well, sorry, I can't give you the same report here, but we just had a just got a, a little bulletin on my computer here that uh, we've just had a radio or a radio blackout in progress right now. So that'll move. The band will come back to life shortly. Hey, okay, yeah, very good on that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 30709, take it on the bus there. Uh, hey, good to hear you. And, uh, yeah, bad conditions ain't real good this morning. Hey, uh, they've been up and down and in and out. So, uh, anyway, what are you going to do? <laughs> it, it is what it is, and we're only running 100 watts this morning. So, uh, you know, we're only doing what we can do at this point with this radio, right? Uh, I've lost. I think you turned it back to me. I've, I've lost you in the noise there. Seven three, Don. Thanks for picking me up. De three and EJ. All right, Terry. Have a good one up there in Kitchener, man. Seven three up there. Have a good one up there in Canada. Uh, this is Whiskey Three Delta Oscar November, and we're looking for check-ins for eCars East Coast Amateur Radio Service seven two five five. November two, Romeo Mike Victor. 
Romeo, Mike, Victor, I got you. Who else? All right, November 2, Romeo, Mike, Victor, come on in. Well, good morning, Don. It's John. John up in Syracuse, November 2, Romeo, Mike, Victor up in Syracuse, and uh, good signal. Good signal, nine, nine plus up here. And uh, I share both sides of you and uh, the Kitchener, Ontario. So, uh, monkey in the middle here. Hey, thanks for being there. And a uh, uh, little bit of snow on the ground up here. And uh, I heard somebody else in there, but they're way, way in the background. So maybe the band will pick up. Thanks for being there, Don. Hey, okay, John. Yeah, very good. Uh, 20994, take it on the bus. And, uh, yeah, you got a 5-9 signal down here sounding good, John. No trouble at all. And, uh, yeah, good to hear you. And uh, snow on the ground. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm going to jinx myself, but uh, we haven't had any of that stuff on the ground yet down here. Go ahead. Very little here. Very little. Just covering the grass and a couple of three-inch storms, so that's okay for uh, this part of the country. And uh, I don't have the computer up or anything. What? what? You're down a PA there, down over? Yeah, we're down in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, southeastern, south central, whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh, we're down here uh, halfway, well, we're about 70 miles west of Philly and 35 miles east of Harrisburg. So uh, we're down here in the Amish country. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Roger, roger. Been down there before. Uh, just didn't know what, what, what part you were in. But, uh, okay, well, good morning to you. Good morning to you, and thanks for being there. And 2RMV. All right, and 2RMV, W3DON. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I probably just jinxed myself by saying that, but uh, hey, what are you going to do? I, I, I mean, it don't have to do it on my account. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, it can go the rest of the year and not see any, but uh, anyway, uh, so far, so good. <laughs> oh, wood. Anyway, John, good to hear you, and have a great day up there in Syracuse. 7 3. Seven, three. All right, this is Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November for E-Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255. And we're looking for check-ins, anybody, anywhere. This is W3DON for E-Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255. And we're looking for check-ins, anybody, anywhere, I'd like to check in, call now. Uh, this is W3DON, the uh, Whiskey 3 Delta Oscar November. The e cars number here is 30 triple deuce for life, and we're looking for check in for e cars. Anybody, anywhere? <laughs> This is W3DON, Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November, for E-Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255, and we're looking for check-ins. Anybody, anywhere, like to check in, call now. Hello, Hello Charlie One, Mike Romeo. Check it in. Okay, I got Mike Romeo. Who was the other one? Hello, Delta Two, Yankee X-Ray Echo. Kilo Delta 2, and I got that one. Uh, who else? All right, how about Ray? KC1MR. Ray, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Don. How you doing? Uh, I got a little bit of ice on the on the roof, but uh, it, I can barely get out, so I apologize for the poor signal. Go ahead. Um, well, it's not a poor signal as long as I can hear you, right? That's for sure. So how you doing, buddy? Hey, we're doing okay. I got you 5-9 down here into uh, Lancaster. Uh, sounding good. 18-11 uh, on the ticket on the bus there. And, uh, yeah, you say you got some ice up there in Mass, do you? Yeah, a little bit of freezing. Uh, yeah, I, I said the antenna of the road's not too bad. So how you doing, buddy? Well, we're doing okay. I guess you got to put some fire in the wire and melt that ice off the antenna, right? Yeah, I'm putting a whopping 800 watts and hoping for the best. 
<laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta follow that thing out, I guess first. But uh, anyway, Ray, you sound good down here, my friend, uh, coming out of Boston there. Okay, you're five and eight, so you're doing a pretty good job yourself. So anyway, seven threes and enjoy the day. Hey, okay, Ray. Hey, have a good one up there in Beantown, man. Uh, eighteen eleven ticket on the bus. Seven threes, Ray. Have a great day. Good to hear you, my friend. Seven threes. All right, let's see. Who was the uh, Kilo Delta 2 station? Yeah, it's uh, Kilo Delta 2, Yankee X-ray Echo, State, New York. E car number 21175, over. Hey, okay, is that Kilo Delta 2, Yankee X-ray Echo? Did I get that right? Yes, sir, 100%. Uh, you've got better ears than I do a radio, it seems. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Mike, very good. Uh, uh, 21175, ticket on the bus. And how are things in Syracuse this morning? Go ahead. Oh, status quo, uh, no uh, exceptional weather. It's a little chilly. It's in the 30s, low 30s right now. Uh, we're expecting maybe uh, from two to three inches of snow later today. I don't know. They always claim it. I never see it, and I'm glad I don't. Over. <laughs> Yeah, right. Very good on that. Yeah, we got uh, 34 degrees down here, and overcast are calling for rain today. Go ahead. Yeah, well, it's uh, one more day towards spring. One more day. It doesn't look like I'm going to have to do any shoveling this morning, although we have front loaders and snow plows and things of this nature. So when I say use the shovel, it's probably to move it out of my way over. <laughs> yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, that's what I say. One day closer to spring, and... Uh, and so far, we ain't had none of that white stuff down here. So uh, anyway, now I know I know it don't have to do it on my account, uh, even though I don't have to go anywhere anymore. I drove tractor trailer for thirty some years, so uh, I, I spent my share in the in the bad weather. <laughs> now I can, if it does come down, now I can just sit home and watch it. Cool. Well, that's a lot of responsibility, driving one of those big rigs. Uh, you know, summer, winter, weather, or no weather, or whatever it is, it's a lot of responsibility, and uh, I really commend everyone that's, uh, that's taken on that position. In fact, I met a fella, uh, for some reason, he was a tractor-trailer driver all his life, and for some reason, he's uh, very much into CB radios, and I have a collection that's beyond belief with those things, and uh, I was happy to share them with him. Over. Hey Roger, Roger on that. Yeah, we had uh, we had ham radio set up in the big truck era. Had a Yaesu 857D. I could work 440 to 80 meters from the big truck. I had a had an LDG 200 Pro auto tuner, and I had the uh, Hustler 80 meter super coil on the left mirror. And on the right mirror, I had the 24-inch uh, uh, mast with the three-way adapter with the 20, 40, and 10 super coils. And uh, had a 2-meter 440 antenna on the back of the cab. And, uh, yeah, we could uh, we could work uh, 440 to 80 meters from the big truck and had a good time doing it. Go ahead. Yeah, I can see where you would. I mean, it's a wonderful pastime for you guys. I mean, it's driving all those hours and hours and hours. It keeps you alert, keeps you on the ball. I don't know how you do it, quite honestly. I get bored just driving 100 miles. I'm ready, I'm ready for a break or something. I, I've always, I used to love to drive, but I don't know. It's just getting so it's no fun anymore. I mean, and not to be disrespectful, it just seems like everywhere I go, there's another moron on the road. I mean, there's no respect passing on the shoulder doing 50, 60 miles an hour and stuff of this nature. Over. <laughs> yeah, we used to get held up somewhere. We'd sit there and play radio and get paid for it. So, uh, anyway, that was a lot of fun. All right, Mike, hey, have a good one up there in uh, Syracuse, and uh, thanks for checking in the e-cars this morning. And uh, okay, have a super Tom, day, whatever you, you do. do. This I is Whiskey 3, Delta. Day, uh, to you and all your loved ones, I'll get out of the way. The 73s to everyone uh, on the net. 82 YC, over and out. All right, Mike, have a good one, 73s. Uh, this is e-cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service. Uh, 7255, looking for check-ins, anybody, anywhere? Kilo Alpha One Hotel, Alpha Hotel. Kilo Delta One Hotel, good morning. Morning, morning. 
Calling it Kilo Alpha One Hotel Alpha Hotel. All right, let me get that again. Give me that again, Kilo Alpha One. Roger, Kilo Alpha One Hotel, Alpha Hotel. All right, Kilo Alpha One, Alpha Hotel, Alpha. Uh, Hotel Alpha Hotel. Did I get that right? Kilo Alpha One, Alpha Hotel, Alpha. Kilo Alpha One, Hotel Alpha Hotel. All right, let me. <laughs> Kilo Alpha One, uh, Hotel Alpha Hotel. We got it that time, right? Roger, Roger. E cars one zero three four four. Hey, okay, Bob one zero three four four. Uh, and, uh, how, very good. How are things up there in Massachusetts this morning? Good. Out in the shop, working on the uh, working on the tractor and the snowblower. Looking like we're going to get five to seven inches of snow. Yeah, very good on that. Very good. Yeah, they they're calling for rain today, so uh, it, <coughs> it says uh, it says rain snow some sticky north sticking north, but. Uh, I don't think that includes us. I think that's going to be north of Harrisburg and stuff for us. I think ours is going to be all rain from what I gather uh, down here anyway. All right, all right. You you have a good day. Uh, I guess you're lucky to get the rain. I think we're breaking the drought in the northeast now. I think we're making progress on uh, relieving the drought, right? Okay, Bob, seven threes up there. Have a great day up there, Mass. Uh, good to hear you, my friend. Thanks for checking into E Cars. Right, this is W3 DON for E Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255. And we're looking for check ins. Anybody, anywhere? This is W3 DON, Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November. Looking for check ins, check ins, check ins. Anybody anywhere like to check in, call now. This is W3 DON, Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November. Located in Manchester, Pennsylvania for E Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service. And we're looking for check ins. Anybody anywhere like to check in, call now. Recheck, go ahead. Yeah, that would be too easy. Operating uh, remote through the phone. How's it sound, over? Ah, you sound okay, but uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of kind of a little bit of noise there, Frank. But uh, we can copy it. Go ahead. Okay, still play with the levels. <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. What uh, what are you using to run the remote? Uh, right now, that RC for a uh, client, I'm waiting for remote TX. I got the one that I figured I'd, uh, I'd play with this. Um, hang on a second. Uh, I can't. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, you might have to tune it down a little bit. I think you're overdriving it, but uh, yeah. Anyway, all right, man. <laughs> yeah, very good on the remote. I tried that with my ICOM 7300 one time and had the software for it and never could get it to work. And uh, had Dave and Ren, they, they had it on theirs. And uh, I could I could log in and operate their radios from their house, but I couldn't get my own to work. We couldn't get my own to work. And uh, Dave, uh, uh, he's good at that kind of stuff. And he, uh, he thinks it was a router issue, but... Uh, yeah, not sure, so I guess we'll find out. <laughs> anyway, uh, very good, Frank. Uh, at, least you're, uh, at least you got it to work anyway. Now you just got to fine-tune it. But uh, uh, good to hear you again, 7-3. Uh, All right, this is eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255. And we're looking for check-ins. Anybody, anywhere?
This is W3DON, Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November. I'm looking for check ins. Anybody anywhere like to check in, call now. Echo Mike Foxtrot, Electromotive Force, over. Well, I thought I heard somebody out there, but they're down in the weeds there. If somebody uh, try it again. Echo Mike Foxtrot, Electromotive Force, over. All right, give me the rest of the call there. W2, Echo, Mike, Foxtrot, W2, Electromotive Force, over. A W2, EMF, uh, come on in there, Al, how are things out in uh, New Waterford there? Uh, W3, D-O-N, I think it is, this is W2, Electromotive Force, E-car is number 2915, and uh, we're... We've been told to expect snow this afternoon. Not very much, and pretty much wet snow. So that's the good news from uh, the water, but nothing's uh, out your way, over. Hey, Roger, Roger. Yeah, we're uh, we're at uh, 34 degrees and expected some rain today. So uh, that's what's going on over here in Lancaster, PA. And got your ticket on the bus there at 29215. So uh, very good. Good to hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks for picking me up. Uh, I was uh, kind of surprised to hear you this morning because I'm checking in late. And I was looking for the... Uh, uh, the guy that opens the net in the morning, uh, can't think of his call right now, uh, but I got you instead, and that's good because with your vanity call, I know your name without even looking it up on the uh, roster. Over. Hey, okay, very good, very good. Yeah, good to hear you. Uh, yeah, band conditions ain't been real good this morning, but uh, anyway, we're getting through it, and uh, hey, you know how it is. It'll, it'll change. It always does. Uh, anyway, Al, have a good one out there. Thanks for checking into the net this morning, and uh, have a super day. Uh, W2 EMF, W3 DON. Yeah, thanks, uh, Don. I uh, appreciate uh, checking in with you this morning. Uh, and uh, I suppose it will snow, but it will probably be mixed with rain because it's going to get warm by this afternoon. So that's the story from uh, the Waterford, and I'll just say 73 and get out of your way. W3DONW2 Electro Motor Force is uh, saying 73 and pull the plug. So. All right, seven threes. Have a good one. All right, this is Whiskey Three Delta Oscar November. Looking for check-ins for e cars. East Coast Amateur Radio Service uh, seven two five five. Looking for check-ins. This is W three D O N Whiskey Three Delta Oscar November. Uh, looking for check-ins for e cars. East Coast Amateur Radio Service seven two five five. This is e -Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255, and we're looking for check-ins. Anybody anywhere would like to check-in, call now. All stations are welcome. This is e -Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255. This is Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November, and we're looking for check-ins. Anybody, anywhere. Uh, this is E-Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service 7255, and we're looking for check-ins. Anybody, anywhere, would like to check-in, call now. This is e -Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service 7255, and we're looking for check-ins, 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 anybody, anywhere.
This is W3DON, Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar November for E-Cars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service 7255, and we're looking for check-ins, anybody, anywhere. W3UCA. W3UCA, good morning. Yay, good morning. E-Cars number 30860. How are you doing over in Lancaster? We're up here in Reading. Hey, very good on the Reading air, uh, Tim. Uh, we are doing good down here. How are things up in Reading air? Not too far away. Go ahead. I'm doing real good. Let me turn the other radio down here. Hey, everything's doing fine up here. Watching all the geese going over today. <laughs> thousands upon thousands heading south. <laughs> Yeah, Roger on the geese going over. Uh, what did you say your e card number was? 30860. 30860. Okay, very good. Uh, very good on the uh, geese flying over. I ain't heard any geese down here yet, but uh, <laughs> uh, maybe they didn't reach this far south yet. But uh, anyway, uh, they're calling for rain today, so I guess it's a good weather. I guess it's good to be a goose or a, or a duck or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've been going over all morning here uh, pretty heavily. So, uh, yeah, I so thought I'd just turn you out a rig on here. We're over in six meters right now. Six meters is up in the day. The band was open here a little bit into Europe, but then it closed right back up again. Yeah, very good. Um, I'm looking at my DX cluster at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom of my bogging program here, and it, it looks like 10 meters is uh, banging pretty good too. Oh yeah, 10's been re doing real good. I mean, it's been wide open uh, for weeks. I mean, uh, and it's only getting better. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've worked a lot of 10 meter stuff over the last couple of weeks, so. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it is getting better. It's fun to see that band open again. And, uh, yeah, I'll have to go play with six maybe after I'm done here. Yeah, there's a good bit going on. you got the contest this weekend, so that's a good bit of activity in there. So if you're looking for anything there, you may find it. But, uh, yeah, we're waiting to see if it opens back up again here. It was open to South America pretty well, but uh, then it closed right back up. You know how six is. It's one of the magic bands. Roger, Roger. It's a lot of fun when it's open. <laughs> All right, Tim. Hey, have a good one up there in Reading, my friend. Thanks for checking in the e-cars this morning. Good to hear you. Looks like it might have been the first time you checked in with me. Yep, it's the first time with you there. All right, well, 7-3, have yourself a wonderful uh, Sunday over there, and uh, we'll catch you later down the logbook. Hey, W3 UCA, yeah, W3 UCA will be clear. All right, W3 UCA, uh, 30860, take it on the bus, 7-3. This is eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, 7255. They were looking for check-ins, anybody, anywhere. Kilo 3. November 2, Mike and Fred, that's right. All right, hang on. I had two of you right on top of one another. Try it again, guys. Kilo 3, Yankee Uniform, Bravo. And November 2, Mike X-Ray, X-Ray. Okay, Uniform, Bravo, Mike X-Ray, X-Ray. Uh, uniform, Bravo, come on in. Yeah, good morning, Don. W3DON. K3, YUBL over here near Pittsburgh. We're 31 degrees, going up to balmy 38. It's cold out there. Nice and warm in here. <laughs> E-cars number 30268. How you doing, Don? Hey, Al, we're doing good, doing good here. We're at 34 degrees and uh, going to get some rain later today, I guess. And uh, we're going to uh, go up to 40, 40, I guess, 41, 42, somewhere in there. So we'll see how that works out. They're saying some, uh, I guess they're saying some snow north of us, but I don't think we're going to get any down here in Lancaster. We've been, we've been, uh, we've been uh, living a charm life this so far this year. None of that stuff. Uh, we've had a lot of rain, but not snow. But I'm looking on a weather map here, and it's in Ohio heading this way. No doubt it'll come over there to your area. Anyway, you sound great. I'm going to get out of here and free up there to talk to a whole bunch of other people. You take care, Best 7-3.
K3YUB near Pittsburgh. Go ahead. All right, 20 over, Al, by the way, and uh, 30, 30268730. Al, have a good one, and have a great day. Absolutely. All right, how about the, uh, how about the blank X-ray X-ray? Give me the rest of the call. Hey, good morning, Don. Uh, November 2, Mike, X-ray, X-ray, E-Cars 21058. Roger. All right. Yeah, very good. Uh, uh, let's see here. Let me get this in here. Uh, uh, yeah, very good. Uh, come on in there, Dave. How are things over there in New Jersey? All right, Don, thanks for picking me up. Yeah, you're correct. It's Dave in uh, New Jersey, central New Jersey, uh, Monmouth County, right in the center of the uh, of the state. And I just wanted to hop in here and uh, just say hi and, uh, you know, let you know you're 10 over here between 5'9 uh, five, and 5'9 five, plus 10 here into uh, New Jersey. Just looking at my uh, band scope, just turned the radio on not too long ago. It doesn't look like uh, 40 meters has uh, too much activity on, on, on my end over here, <laughs> just from what I could see from my uh, QT. But, uh, yeah, I want to just uh, say hi and uh, let you know from what I've heard. I mean, you're doing a great job with the net. Thanks for taking it this morning. Over. Hey, Roger, Roger. We're here at the same time, same back channel every week. So, uh, uh, David, have a good one over there. i got to turn this over to Frank. He's going to be your incoming net controller. So, hey, 7-3 is over there in New Jersey. Have a super day. Thanks for checking in with us. Uh, 7-3, sir. Have a great day. Until my next time. All right, N2MXX, W3DON. I want to thank everybody who checked in with me. Everybody have a great day. Uh, good week coming up. We'll catch you all next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. I'm going to turn this over to Frank, your incoming net control, WB3ABZ. Frank, it's over to you. All right, Don, real good. Hey, appreciate you being there. Thanks for everything you do for read cars as I'm sitting here adjusting my uh, levels. Well, I might be messing them up. <laughs> Who knows? Ah, uh, well, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, one, two, hello. Test, one, two. A little more, Mike Ain. Hello, hello. Okay, I guess that's good. All right, Don, have a good day. We'll talk to you again. Uh, W3DONWB3AZ. All right, Frank, seven threes. All right, good morning. This is WB3ABZ, Whiskey Bravo 3, Alpha Victor Zulu, net control for eCars. eCars is a directed net, and uh, all communication should go through net control. I will give priority to mobile, portable, and QRP stations. So if you're one of those stations, let me know, and we'll move you to the top of any list that I might be working on. At this time, we'll take a standby, see if we have any mobile, portable, or QRP stations. Mobile, portable, or QRP wishing to check into eCars. Call now, over. All righty, not hearing anything. We will take a standby for general check-ins. I'd appreciate full call signs phonetically if possible. And uh, that way it gives me a little time to type them into my list. Uh, so this is WB3AVZ uh, standing by. Kilo 3, Yankee Uniform, Bravo. Kilo 1, Charlie 1, Mike Romeo. Kilo Charlie, Kilo, Charlie 2, Romeo Golf Whiskey. All right, I heard four, got three. K3YUB, KC1MR, KC2RGW, and there was a fourth station in there. Try it again. Kilo Charlie 3, Fox Trot, Juliet Yankee. Kilo Charlie 3, Fox Trot, Juliet Yankee. All right, that's wrong with those four to start uh, my shift out with. Uh, good morning, Al. How's uh, it's boy you doing? <laughs> Good morning, Frank. That would be 3ABZ, K3 YUB. Pittsburgh is doing just fine, 31 degrees. No wind, a uh, bunch of hawks flying around out there looking for field mice or something. I guess there's a shortage of them. Anyway, it's uh, 30268 for the roster. You sound terrific. Your audio is great. Your life can't be any better. Go ahead, Frank. Okay, real good. Hey, yeah, well, I guess not. It, it could be better if you were a hawk and actually had something to eat. Uh, 
but other than that, uh, well, we've got 35 degrees, supposed to go up uh, maybe to 40 today. So uh, we'll see what happens with the weather you're going to send us. Uh, hopefully it will just be rain and that's it and you get all the snow, I act. No, I think we're going to get a little bit of a mixture of that later on. I'll, uh, I'll make sure it tracks north of you. Let the people up north of you uh, get some of that. We haven't had a whole lot of snow, that's for sure. It's been a lot of rain, though. All my sub pumps have been working. <laughs> hey, Frank, thanks for being there. Appreciate it. You take care. Best 73. Thanks for all you do for e cars and all that sort of stuff. And I heard Bean Ton Ray in there, too. Hello to Bean Ton Ray. WB3ABZ, K3YUB, going that way. All righty, Al. You take care. We will talk to you again. Um, and you have a uh, good rest of your weekend. Good Sunday. Uh, there we go. Uh, clear with K3YUB. Next up, KC1MR. Good morning, Bean Town. How's it going? Oh, Bean Town's going. I'm having antenna problems. So I'm morning pumping out 600 whiskey. Can you copy me okay? Ray, I don't know what happened to you, but you fell into the noise. Try it again. Okay, sorry about that. Well, the noise is the order of the day, so I'll be brief and say seven threes, okay? Yeah, that time it came but right back up, so uh, maybe you didn't push the button hard enough. Hi, hi. Yeah, that could be it. Anyway, uh, Frank, I copy you fine. You're uh, about a seven to an eight, so no problem at all. Anyway, you have a good day. We're supposed to get some more snow today, about four inches. So it's going to be winter time. Sounds like it. Just keep it up there with you. <laughs> you can tell me all about it, and I'll be happy. You take care, buddy. We will talk to you again. Be safe if you go out. Clear with KC1MR. Uh, Beantown Ray up in, in uh, uh, well, uh, if I'd uh, hit the right buttons here, I'd uh, know exactly where you are. Uh, yeah, Reading Mass. Why do I look at Reading P and think Reading PA? Oh, it's going to be one of those shifts. <laughs> you take care, take care, buddy. We'll talk to you again. Uh, clear up KC1MR, WB3ABZ. Next up, uh, KC2RGW. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning, Frank. Get, just getting a uh, late start to the morning here, throwing down a little coffee. A gray, cold day up here in New Hampshire. We're due for a bunch more snow uh, tomorrow, and I think the uh, following day it's going to start piling up. Feels like winter again, and that's a good thing. Uh, so just uh, not a lot of exciting going on, just hanging out here in the shack, and uh, maybe I'll go out and clean up the uh, errant inch or two of snow in the driveway that accumulated after the last time it was plowed. But uh, good to hear you in there, Frank. Uh, have a great day. wb 3 a KC2RGW. All right, real good. Appreciate it. You're uh, hitting about five over on the peak, so good signal uh, coming out of New Hampshire this morning. Uh, clear with KC2RGW. Uh, next up, KC3FJY. Good morning, Ron. Good morning, Frank. Uh, uh, well, I guess you have uh, yeah, 30845 uh, over here in uh, Warnersville. I was going to check in with Don earlier, and 22 and a half miles away, I could barely hear it. And I'm a little rough uh, trying to get through to you. Over. Yeah, okay, well, you're in the noise on my receiver here. Uh, for some reason, I uh, I pulled a good noise level again this morning, so I uh, had to turn up NJ2US's receiver to get you in there. Uh, so you sound pretty good into uh, New Jersey. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger. Well, uh, looks like the sun's starting to come in, come out over here. How's it look over in York? Uh, overcast. I don't think we're going to see much sun today. Uh, it's supposed to rain this afternoon, so uh, waiting for that to start up. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Well, I don't have much else to talk about. <laughs> in the middle of something else here, but I'll just, on that note, I'll just say 73 and I'll get out of here. Maybe clear, let somebody else get in. Over. All right, real good, Ron. Hey, I appreciate you being there, and uh, thanks for the check-in, and uh, as usual, we'll look for you uh, next week. Uh, clear with KC3FJY. This is WB3AVZ. That takes care of that list. We'll start a new one. 
Uh, this is Whiskey Bravo 3, Alpha Victor Zulu, Net Control E Cars. November I will take 1, Hill, Golf Trot, Golf November. November 2, Mike India Romeo. Uh, Whiskey Germany 2, Bravo. November 2, Mike India Romeo. Uh, Whiskey Germany 2, Bravo. As soon as I get my fingers working right here. There we go. Um, anybody else? November Alpha 1 X-ray. Good morning, Joe. Have you? Anyone X? X? Anybody else? All right. Let's start with N2 MIR. Uh, good morning. Go ahead. Uh, good morning, and everybody on the uh, e-cars. Uh, yeah, we're waiting for that snowstorm to come. So far, uh, nothing yet. Uh, skies are broken clouds, and uh, they're telling us uh, one to five inches within today till tomorrow. So uh, we're ready for it. Uh, we need it. We need that recharge for our water supply in the mountains here. So we've uh, been lacking snow. Uh, this is not uh, not good for the wells around here. We need the snow. We need that slow melt in the spring time but uh, hopefully we'll get it yet but that's all I got to say uh, and I'll pass it back to net control this is it to MIR all right real good uh, this looks like the first time I uh, I talk with you so uh, confirm the name is Bill and you're in uh, Middlebury Center PA go ahead that is correct sir Middlebury Center PA All right, good. I am not familiar with Middlebury Center. Um, uh, sounds like from your description, you're either over in Pittsburgh or up in the Poconos, uh, north part of the state. So uh, let me know exactly where you're at while I uh, finish typing your information into the uh, logger here. Go ahead. Okay, well, we are four counties over toward from the east to the west. We're in Tioga County, and we're about 30 miles south of Corning, New York, so we're pretty close to the border of New York here. And we're up here in the uh, all the ridges of the mountains here. The, I guess you could call it the Appalachian uh, Mountain Range. That's where we're at. And uh, we're about 2,300 feet above sea level here, so it's a good uh, amateur radio antenna location, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I get a lot of signals in here. Go ahead. All right. Real good, Bill. Yeah, good signal coming down from that area. I've uh, been here to uh, York this morning, so uh, you're about a 5'7", and uh, sounding real good. So I appreciate you being there. Check it in. Uh, have you checked into e-cars before? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I've checked in a number of you guys. Uh, one particular fellow, uh, DAR, W3DAR. I know him from the Buzz's, Buzz's Net. He was on at 12 o'clock on uh, Thursday. I talked to him. Go ahead. All right. Real good. Uh, like I said, it's the first time I have you in my log here, so it's the first time I've uh, I made contact with you here in eCar. So I just wanted to uh, say howdy and uh, thanks for the contact. And uh, hopefully we'll hear you on here again um, next weekend. I do Saturday morning at 9 and Sunday uh, at 10 and then uh, fill in during the week on emergency basis if needed. So uh, I'm sure we'll talk to you again somewhere down the log. Uh, anything else uh, this morning, Bill? Go ahead. No, not much more to add. Uh, I'll just tell you quick. I'm running uh, 70 watts out of an old Kenwood uh, TS570 Delta uh, into a dipole wire that's 35 feet off the ground. And that's my system here. All right. Sounds good. I'm running a DX10 and uh, about 100 watts. And my dipole's about 30 foot up also. So uh, it, uh, it's right where I need it for good NVIS signals. Uh, so you take care, Bill. We will talk to you again, and uh, thanks for the check-in this morning. Clear with N2MIR, Bill, up in Middlebury Center, PA, northern part of the state, 138 miles out of York, PA. Uh, next up, Whiskey Golf 2, Bravo. Good morning, Dick. How are you? Hey, good morning, friends. Uh, WD3, ABZ, Net Control, WD2D, uh, Rochester, New York, overcast up here, uh, 32 degrees. Kind of an IFR day, good ham radio day, a little crummy outside. Uh, but not too much else going on. I'm going to watch the Bills game today and uh, see how they make out. Looking forward to that. Uh, my kids haven't called. Our kids haven't called us to check in on the old folks, so I'm crabbing about that as usual. 20498 on the roster, uh, Frank, over. 
Yeah, I'm probably the same way with my mom. <laughs> probably don't call her as much as I should. Uh, I, every now and then my brother calls me and tells me about it, so uh, he uh, kind of puts me in my place. Ah, uh, well, such is life. I'll have to give her a call this afternoon, I think. Uh, so uh, thanks for gilding me into it. Aye, aye. <laughs> Anything else we could do for you, Dick? Go ahead. Uh, no, uh, not not in the other uh, business for the net, Frank. Just playing around with the radio a little bit here, having my coffee. Uh, I crab because my kids uh, uh, don't call me enough, and then of course I didn't do the same thing. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, daughter lives in Florida, son lives up here, but they're married and uh, have their own lives. So I go to you know, they could just, I walk around with a phone in my hand. And just, uh, Call me once in a while. Check on the old guy. Anyway, 73 is uh, Happy New Year, and uh, that's all I got going on this morning. Uh, this is well, what's the going? Too bravo. All right, Dick, real good. Well, I appreciate you being there, and uh, you have a good rest of your day, and uh, we'll talk to you next weekend, I hope. Uh, Clarence WG2B, uh, Dick up in Rochester, New York. Uh, next up, Joe in Agawam. Good morning, sir. How are you? Well, good morning, Frank. WB3AVZ, the call is NA1X. I was looking at your uh, um, um, QRZ page. That's a very nice photograph. I like that display on the left side there, which shows the frequency and all that. It's very nice. Anyway, name is Joe, and the uh, call is NA1X, and the e-card's number is 10099. Back to you, Frank. All right, very good. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, that uh, big monitor there works real good, except uh, on here. Uh, 40, uh, this frequency seems to get into the monitor and uh, messes it up a little bit. But uh, other frequencies, it works pretty good. I like having the big display. Uh, there's one uh, one Mars frequency I get on where the, uh, the display and the drive into the display uh, put some... Uh, bad noise on my frequency so I have to turn the monitor off and then I gotta look at the teeny weeny little display and uh, it's not near as much fun <laughs> so uh, the big display is the way to go uh, now if I could just get rid of that noise extra noise that comes in there I'd be happy uh, but such is life I can put up with a little inconvenience uh, anything else I can do for you Joe go ahead no nothing else I hope you have a great day Frank it's always a pleasure talking with you I'll say 7 3 to you and have a great one. NA1X will be clear and listening. All righty, Joe. You take care. Have a good rest of your uh, weekend and a uh, good week coming up. Clear with NA1X. Show up at Agawam, Mass. Uh, and that should take care of this list. We'll take a standby. Uh, for anybody else wishing to check into e-cards, call now. November 1, Foxtrot, Golf November. Ah, good morning, Leroy. Everyone after you end. Uh, good signal this morning. How are you doing? I am doing fine there. And you're a 5x8 there at the moment. Over? Yeah, okay. Very good. Yeah, you're doing 5'7", five, 5'8", five, and then you fade down a little bit. So the uh, band is still up and down. And uh, I'm not seeing a lot of green on Jeff's waterfall. So uh, that's uh, my indication that the band's not as good as it usually is. Go ahead. Oh, QSO there, Frank. Yeah, I just heard my good buddy Joe there in Agawam with a 15 over 9. Roger. Yeah, he always has a pretty good signal. All right, anything else we can do for you, sir? Go ahead. Uh, nothing more, uh, Frank. Just thanks for picking me up. We'll catch you later on down the log. And one FGN will be clear. All right, I appreciate it. Um, and one FGN. Uh, WB3AVZ, oops, turn the program here, hit the wrong one. There we go. Uh, this is Whiskey Bravo 3, Alpha Victor Zulu, Net Control. I am standing by for check ins. I will take anyone I can hear. All stations are welcome. Call now. Over. Golf Hotel Kilo. Yankee, Quebec, America. All right, I got Andy, GHK, and I got a call in in Quebec, America. We'll get the rest of that when we get down to you. Anybody else? November 3, Zulu Charlie Hotel. November 3, ZCH. Good morning. Got you. Anybody else? Kilo Charlie 6, Oscar Echo, India. All right, 
I got an Oscar Echo India, and, and uh, that, your signal came up when you gave me that, but it was uh, kind of low in the first half, so we'll straighten that out when I get down to it. Uh, good morning, Andy. We'll start with you, uh, KC3GHK. How's, uh, how's the other side of the river doing? Oh, it's doing great this morning. It's a cool morning, but not a bad morning for walking. A slight breeze, so it depends on which way you are walking. But uh, with the hoods up and a brisk, a brisk pace, uh, we we did good this morning. So just came down into the basement, turned all the equipment on, and heard your booming voice. You're really sounding good today. Uh, almost 20 over S9 and 30 miles away on the east side of the Susquehanna River, KC3GHK. Back to you. Frank. Okay, real good. Yeah, you're doing good too. You're 10 over. So I guess the uh, the short, short hops working pretty good this morning, but uh, not much of anything else. Well, just like yesterday was. <laughs> Only uh, 25 hours later, I guess. So uh, maybe the day will uh, straighten up as it, uh, as it goes on, but uh, not sure. I think there's a lot of solar activity uh, affecting us right now. So uh, glad you got to walk in and uh, I think uh, I'm get done here. I got another net I got to sit on till noon, and then uh, I'm going to go back and take a snooze because uh, the dogs had me up early again this morning. I think that's just getting to be a normal mode of operation. Oh, Roger, Roger. We've been pretty good. Um, we trained our dog to sleep in a crate at night, and um, generally most you know, unless there's an emergency that she has to get out, she'll bark and let us know. But uh, generally, she's been really, really good, and uh, and we don't have to worry. But, boy, when I let her out in the morning, she's raring to go, I'll tell you. Great to hear you, Frank. Thanks for doing the net and everything you do to help out. WB3AVZ, KC3GHK. All righty, Andy. You take care. Appreciate you being there. Clear with KC3GHK. Andy over in Lancaster, about 27 miles east of me. Uh, call in in QA. I'm going to take a shot and say it's K3YQA. Uh, did I get it right? I should play the lottery tonight there, uh, Frank. <laughs> WB3AVZ, K3YQA. Yeah, name's Bill, 30760 is the number, and uh, just outside of Pittsburgh. Uh, bumping an S9, uh, conditions aren't, uh, is all agreed to, conditions aren't the greatest, but, uh, hey, we're doing okay. Uh, uh, kind of overcast a uh, little bit this morning, but uh, nothing to speak of. So we'll see uh, what the prognosticators talk, talk about here. In a few weeks we'll be able to uh, hold up the road and see what uh, what develops in the rest of the winter. Uh, our calls off and on uh, a little bit of snow. We're almost a foot below normal. I saw the uh, weather funding on TV this morning. The uh, year to date, we are uh, about a foot below, just over a foot below normal precip uh, as far as snow goes. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, we definitely need the groundwater, but uh, we've also had a lot of rain too. So I don't know if that helps. Uh, I'm sure it helps in the overall water table, but. Uh, Snow is snow, and it does a uh, slow melt. I guess that's what the, uh, the big deal is, so we'll see. Frank, always a pleasure. Best to you and the family, and uh, chat with you again. WB3AVZ, K3YQA. All right, real good, Bill. I appreciate you being here. Good signal, 5-7, uh, coming over from uh, Bethel Park this morning. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, with the rain we've had, uh, we should be pretty good, but I haven't heard anything about our deficit or excess, so... Uh, yeah, at least no snow for me is good. I don't have to shovel it, but uh, that's the only downside. <laughs> you take care, sir. We will talk to you hopefully next weekend. Clear with K3YQA, uh, Bill over Bethel Park, PA. Uh, next up, entry Zulu uh, Charlie Hotel. Good morning, Ricky. How are you? Oh, very good. November 3, Zulu Charlie Hotel. For some gosh awful reason here, I have an S9 noise level and. Uh, do me a solid here. Could you give me your name, call sign, and QT one time in that control? This is yeah, e card number 37430. Yeah, okay, Ricky. The call here, Whiskey Bravo 3, Alpha Victor Zulu. Whiskey Bravo 3, Alpha Victor Zulu. The name is Frank, and I am located over in York, PA. Go ahead. 
Ah, you and Sal Frank got you solid there. Yeah, it's weird here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have a series of noise-generating substances out here, so uh, sometimes I get it good, but sometimes I got it bad. So, okay, well, thank you, Frank, for uh, recognizing me, and I'm going to ride along with you for the next few minutes before I uh, leave the shack here. Uh, WB3AVZ, November 3, Zulu, Charlie Hotel. All right, very good. Well, you take care, Ricky. Appreciate you being there. Thanks for the check-in. And uh, thanks for the lifetime membership. Uh, we appreciate that. And uh, we will talk to you again, hopefully next... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Talk to you next weekend. Um, and... Uh, have a good week. I'm doing, trying to do three things at once again, and none of them are working as usual. <laughs> uh, just stop and just go back and do one at a time. All right, you take care. Clear with N3 Zulu uh, Charlie Hotel. That's a tongue twister. My tongue don't want to do that very easily. Uh, over in Pittsburgh, this is WB3ABZ. Last up, I got Oscar Echo India. Complete the call and go ahead. Kilo Charlie 6, Oscar Echo India. All righty. Good morning, Phil. We got gotcha. you. Take it away. Thank you very much. Um, um, Phil here in, uh, in, um, um, southeastern, sorry, southeastern Pennsylvania in um, uh, Montgomery County, West Norriton, and Jeffersonville, Pennsylvania. Um, good morning, and thank you for uh, checking me in. Uh, E-cars number 6042. Uh, this morning I am uh, twiddling with the transmit audio uh, um, settings on the FTDX-10 and uh, recording uh, my own signal and yours. Um, through the uh, K3FEF um, SDR, um, so I can um, hear what my uh, settings sound like. Uh, I almost missed uh, uh, your acknowledgement, because uh, my wife is in a meeting one floor below me and suddenly needed my headphones, so I had to run downstairs. Um, temperature here in... in Montgomery County is uh, something on the order of uh, 37 degrees, I believe. Um, ooh, uh, they they botched the uh, ooh, the guess of weather yesterday, and uh, uh, perhaps they'll botch it again today, calling for um, some uh, um, rain and snow on Wednesday, and we'll have to see. I've done my part to make sure it never snows again by buying a snowblower. Um, um, that's all I have for the net. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, KC6OEI, Phil in West North and back to net control. All righty, Phil, real good. Yeah, I have a DX10 also. And uh, I was trying to set my uh, compression and ALC levels at the start of net. So uh, I think I got the controls backwards, but I think they're at a, at a happy medium at least. Uh, it sounds like it listening to uh, NJ2US's receiver. Uh, you might uh, just uh, drop the bass back a little bit and uh, bring up the mids and the highs. Uh, seems to uh, to work a little better. Uh, that sounded a little uh, little on the bassy side to my ears. Uh, but then again, propagation isn't the best, so uh, it could sound good, but the uh, noise could be uh, could be messing it up. Uh, but uh, good luck with that. It's always uh, fun trying to tweak the DX10 to uh, to get it to sound good. That's for sure. Go ahead. Well, thank you. I'll uh, I'll take your recommendations and do more twiddling. Uh, you're you're five and nine here into uh, um, Montgomery County. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will be listening out. KC6 OEI. All right, real good. Take care, Phil. We'll talk to you again, I'm sure. Uh, Claire, it's uh, KC6OEI, Phil, over in Jeffersonville, PA. This is Whiskey Bravo 3, Alpha Victor Zulu, and that control E car. I am standing by for check ins. Take anywhere I can hear. Call now. November Three, check. Victor Echo Tango Mobile. November 3, Juliet, Oscar, Charlie. 
All right, I have a recheck in November 3, Julia, Oscar, Charlie, and I heard a couple other stations, one's real weak. Um, so uh, let's try it again. Go ahead. Victor Echo Tango, Mobile. Kilo Bravo 3, Julia, Uniform Fox Trot. BET Mobile, Victor Echo Tango. Kilo November 4, Uniform Papa, Papa. Echo Mike Fox Trot, Electro Motor 4, over. All right, I think I got a DET mobile in there, if I heard it correctly. Uh, I had to spin up Jeff's receiver to hear it. Um, again, I got M3JOC, KB3JUF, KN3UPP, and Electromotive Force. Anybody else? Kilo 3, Julia Tango Alpha. All right, I think I heard a Kilo 3, Julia Kilo Alpha, something in that neighborhood. Uh, so let's run with those. Uh, the VET Mobile, I believe. Uh, go ahead. The Mobile Station, go ahead and uh, give me your call again and do it. Anyone have a copy on the mobile can relay him in? November 3, Victor, Echo Tango Mobile. Can you hear me now? Ah, uh, you're right at the noise level, even on just receiver. Um, so uh, let me try one thing here. All right, go ahead and try it one more time. Yeah, you're, uh, this is November 3, Victor, Echo Tango, Bruce, uh, Mobile here in, uh, in uh, Melford, Delaware, in Mobile. Okay, we got you now, Bruce. I uh, turned my volume on my uh, rig here at the house completely off and just relying on Jeff's receiver right now. And uh, you're sounding about 5-6 over into Cape May. Go ahead. Okay, very good. I won't hold it then. Uh, have a hard time hearing me. You guys are booming in here today. You are, and everybody you've been talking to, I'm hearing pretty good. All righty. Well, everybody have a good day there. It's probably about the same weather, 39 degrees here, and it's cloudy. Uh, I think we're supposed to get rain. So, anyways, I'll let you go, and I'll ride along here. All right. Real good, Bruce. Appreciate you being there. And, uh, yeah, the band's not as good as it could be. Um, but uh, from the mobile, you're doing pretty good. You're about a 5.5, five, 5.6 five, coming into uh, Cape May. And uh, totally in the noise coming into my receiver here in York, PA. So uh, you're going up the coast pretty good, but not coming in when high, high. You take care, Bruce. We'll talk to you again. Clear with N3VET in the mobile. Uh, next up, N3JOC. Good morning, Al. Yeah, WB3ABZ, N3JOC. Yep, this is Al in uh, Cranesville, Pennsylvania, about, I don't know, 20 miles southwest of Erie, Pennsylvania, up off of the lake there. Nice signal here this morning. No problem copying you uh, whatsoever. And we're, um, let's see here, East Car's number is 30611, lifetime. Uh, back to net. All right, real good. Good signal, 5758. Uh, coming down in New York this morning, so uh, no problem copying it. Uh, the band's holding up your direction, so that's good. And uh, appreciate you being there and checking in. And uh, have a good rest of your Sunday and uh, the week coming up. Anything else we can do for you? Go ahead. Nope, so, same from here. Have a good uh, rest of the Sunday and the week, and uh, we'll talk to you again. I am 3 JOC clear. All right, take care. Clear with N3JOC. Next up, KB3JUF. Good morning, Charlie. Go ahead. Uh, good morning to you and everybody. This is KB3JUF in the Poconos. It's a drink and blurry day. I never could say that right. Drink and brittle. I'll have to work on that. It's a lousy day and it's too cold for me. I don't know how cold it is. My smartphone is stupid. It's not working. Too much. I can't get a carrier. Uh, I, uh, I'm trying this government funded thingamabob. And uh, I'm not having a lot of success with it. <laughs> but I'm trying a new outfit. Again, this will be the, the third one. That'll give me a free phone.
going in service, but uh, <laughs> I don't. Uh, anyway, you don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, back to net. KB3, JUF. All right, Charlie, real good. Yeah, dealing with phone companies and uh, trying to find a phone or a service that will give you coverage is a pain in the butt, especially up where you're at. Uh, down here, not so much not so much a problem, but uh, up there I'm sure it is because uh, uh, you go from one valley to the next and uh, no coverage. So uh, I feel for you. Well, good luck with that. I uh, hope you can get it straightened out. We'll go ahead and clear with you and move down the list since i got a couple more to hit. And uh, we will talk to you again hopefully next weekend. Clear with KB3JUF. Uh, next up, uh, KN3UPP. I don't think I have it right, so correct me and go ahead. That is correct. And uh, you're coming in well as usual. Uh, you, I got you uh, seven to nine. And uh, JUS, I had two to four. Really had trouble hearing him. The uh, prior to that, uh, JIC, I had seven to nine. But uh, your modulation is just a little better, and I can hear what you're saying a little better. And uh, it's uh, 35 degrees and overcast here in Virginia. And uh, it was good to talk to you this morning. Okay, real good. Give me the call one more time phonetically because it's not uh, coming up in my logger or QRZ. Go ahead. Okay. You did, I think you did have it right. It's Kilo November 4 Uniform Papa Papa. Okay. I got a 3 in there instead of a 4. Uh, that makes a big difference. <laughs> A oh, real big difference. So we got you now, Scott. Go ahead. Okay. That's all I've got. I'm going to take off and go to church. So uh, good to talk to you, and we'll say 73s. Ah, very good. I just kicked the foot switch out of my foot range. I had to go search for it. So I appreciate you being there. Thanks for the check-in, and uh, have a good rest of your Sunday. Uh, Clara K N three U P P Scott um, down in Madison Heights, Virginia. Next up, uh, W two E M F. Good morning, Al. Yes, good morning, Frank. This is W two Electromotive Force, and I think I'm talking to W B three A B Z, but I might have that wrong. Uh, uh, the weather here is, uh, we're expecting uh, snow this afternoon, like uh, a lot of people in this area. So, uh, but they're saying that it's going to warm up to find that it will probably come as rain. I, I like rain better than snow, but uh, I don't like either one of them particularly well. So I'm going to spend most of the day in the house talking on the radio, I think. Spend a lot of money on that thing. I might, uh, I might, I might as well use it for the maximum. Uh, that's about all we have here uh, this morning. Let me turn it back to you and see if I got the call sign right. I have the P three A alphabet. I have your name is Craig. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Over. Yeah, okay, Al. Nope, you got everything correct. Whiskey Bravo 3, Alpha Victor Zulu, and it is Frank up in York, PA. So, uh, if I business, I uh, turn the volume up on my rig, and uh, you're down in the noise, but uh, you're coming through about a 5.7 into uh, Cape May, New Jersey. So, I'm using uh, Jeff's receiver to pick you up and bring you in. So, a uh, good copy there. Anything else we can do for you, God? No, but I think, uh, thank, uh, thank Dave Tuchelet uh, for loading his uh, receiver out to the state that he did. Uh, he, we all know that he's got a magic antenna that we've seen stuff that may not even be there, I think, sometimes. So I'm going to clear out and uh, let you uh, uh, clear out your list and get more things in there. WB3 Alpha and Two Zulu. This is W2 Electro Motor Force. Stand 73. I'm pulling the plug. Out. All right, Al, real good. You take care. Clear with W2 EMF. 
Uh, next up, uh, K3JKA or something in that neck of the woods, correct the call and go ahead. Kilo 3, Julius Tango, Alpha. Ah, Tim, good morning. Hey, good morning. Um, hope you're doing well. Your signal is a lot stronger than it sounds like mine is over uh, to you. But, uh, yeah, so great. I've seen the sun poke out a few times here uh, in the last, uh, say, 15 minutes here in the shack. And I just uh, missed Andy over there, and I think it's Phil um, in uh, Bethel Park. I grew up in Peter's Township. Um, was a uh, the you know two towns right next to each other contiguous and uh, in fact the fella across the street um, the uh, neighbor man across the street was the marketing the director of the Bethel Park High School way back then. All right, 73 Frank. Everyone have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. I hope K3 JTA. All right, Jeb, real good. You have a good one also. Yeah, your uh, short, short hop's not uh, not working too good. The ground wave is, uh, is not uh, not there, it doesn't sound like this morning. So uh, it's going to be uh, a, rest, a good rest of the 20 minutes, that's for sure. It's, uh, land is uh, really screwy this morning. So uh, we uh, copied you over in just receiver for a little bit, and then you came up on mine. So uh, I just switched uh, speakers back and forth, I I. <laughs> Whichever one I can hear best, that's the one I listen to. You take care, Tim. We'll talk to you again, I'm sure. Clarence K3JTA. Uh, Tim over in Helen, about 14 miles east of me here out of York, New Salem. This is Whiskey Bravo 3, off of this for Zulu. WB3AVZ, and they control lead cars. Stand by for check and take anyone I can hear. Call now. Alpha Charlie 3, Hotel Tango. K3 Delta Papa Tango. November 2, Japan, Japan, Victor. All right, I heard two good, and I think one real weak. And I'll take a listen for the weak one on uh, just receiver. Uh, try it again. Over. I guess my ears are playing tricks on me. That's wrong with those two. AC3HT. Good morning, Dave. How are you? Uh, good morning, Frank. Yeah, you took a fade on me there, so uh, you're probably about a 3 by 7 at the moment. This is Alpha Charlie 3, Hotel Tango, Dave in Moscow, Pennsylvania, e is 3620. Boy, 40 meters is not in good condition at all. 10 meters is, though, uh, I was just on 10 meters, made a bunch of contacts, so uh, a lot of DX stations, so... Seem like uh, 10 meters is the band to be, to be at at the moment, but um, I won't keep it. Frank, uh, conditions are not the greatest. All the best, 73. Yourself and E-Cars, Alpha Charlie 3, Hotel Tango. Over. All right, Dave, real good. Yeah, 10 is, has been popping the past couple of days, and 40 obviously not. So you take care. We will talk to you again, and uh, thanks for the check-in. Clear with AC3HT, uh, Moscow, PA, going the opposite direction, K3DPT. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Frank. K3DPT, Tim in Annapolis. 204 on the roster. It's a gray, uh, sh uh, let's see, what was the simoning? Uh, a winter, winter day or something like that. That's what we got down here. It was uh, below freezing last night, cloudy this morning, no precip, dry, and uh, Everything is good. You got a good signal down here. You're five nine plus ten to fifteen over, and I haven't heard you go below that since I've been listening for the last fifteen or twenty minutes. Thanks for running. <clears throat> excuse me. Thanks for running the net. And before my voice just disappears, I'll uh, give it back to you. I might have to check in on CW next time. Well, that's all right. Give me practice. <laughs> I'm uh, taking online. Uh, um, course on Thursday nights for my uh, extra and uh, half an hour before they're doing uh, code work so I've been uh, practicing with the LCWO program online their website trying to get my uh, my code speed built back up and uh, get more confident in that ability uh, even to the point where I went out and bought a $69 uh, um, electron, not electronic keyer, biombic keyer, keyer, uh, a set of paddles. So, uh, 
I got the motivation and a little key sitting here on the desk and uh, get me motivated to get my code up so I can uh, play CW, which I think I enjoyed when I was a novice, and I think I would enjoy it again. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I remember when I took my extra, the code requirement was 22 words a minute. I guess they've dumped that now. And But CW is alive and well. Uh, you'd be able to work a lot of DX on CW that you wouldn't be able to work on the side pan. And uh, it's fun. I, I, I agree. I uh, I like it. I still use it. And, and what can I say? I'm an old guy. K3DPT. <laughs> yep. Well, I... Uh... I like it. Sometimes uh, it's uh, the best way to go. All righty, you take care, Tim. And uh, my code got to be a lot better before I start uh, even trying to uh, decode and decipher foreign codes. It's enough to try to figure out uh, the call signs here in the country, much less foreign call signs. Uh, that's a just uh, configuration of, uh, of uh, letters and numbers that uh, does not excite me as of yet. You take care. We'll talk to you again. Clear with K3GPT, Tim down in Annapolis, Maryland. This is Whiskey Bravo 3, Alpha Victor Zulu, Net Control for eCars. I am standing by for check ins. Speak anyone I can hear, call now. November 2, Japan, Japan, Victor. All right, I hear somebody in there lightly. Go ahead and try it again. See if I can pull you out. November 2, Japan, Japan, Victor. November 2, JJV, we got you off uh, Jeff's receiver. Uh, good morning, go ahead. Okay. Uh, let's see, James, this is not exactly premium today. But anyway, we just thought we'd stop by and say hello and uh, we'll carry on with uh, our project here on the bench for today and to JJV. All right, real good, Ken. Appreciate it. Yeah, you're about a five seven coming down into Cape May this morning, and I just barely heard you on uh, my DX10 here at the at the house. So uh, sometimes I have to rely on Jeff to hear the stations. So uh, especially when 40 is bad, his uh, antenna just seems to make 40 good again. Uh, so anything else we could do for you, God? Not that I'm aware of. Uh... We've got most everything under control this morning. All right, real good. Well, good luck with your project there that you're working on, and I appreciate you taking the time to check in here with uh, with me on the e-cars. Uh, clear with N2JJV, Ken in uh, Cobbleskill, New York, uh, 226 miles north of me out of York, PA. This is Whiskey Bravo 3, Alpha Victor, Zulu, and control e-cars. I am standing by for check-ins. Take anyone I can hear. Call now. Great ball of the fire. All right, I got GBF. Anybody else? All right, nothing heard. GBF, complete it and go ahead. Good morning. This is Kilowatt Charlie 8. Great balls of fire. You're in Princeton, West Virginia. My name is Jerry. It is cold here. I'm here to tell you. And everything else is normal. So. I'm just checking in for the numbers like I always do. It's always good to hear you guys. I just sit and listen, and every now and then I see a break there where there's a few in, and I just jump right in the middle of all that. So we'll see you a little bit later. Kilowatt Charlie 8, great balls of fire. Thank you. West by God, Virginia. Over. Okay, Jerry, real good. Appreciate you being there. 5-7. Five, 5-7 seven. Five, seven coming up into York. Uh, well, actually into Cape May. Uh, I turned my receiver uh, volume down, and I'm just going to rely on Jeff's here for the last 10 minutes. Uh, it seems to be hearing a lot better than mine right now. So I uh, do appreciate you being there, Jerry. You take care. We will talk to you again next weekend. Clear with KCA Great Balls of Fire, Jerry down in Princeton, West Virginia. Uh, I am standing by for check-ins. Uh, for e-cars, WB3AVZ, call now. Philadelphia 2, Yankee Chili Uniform. Eighty-four VA. Good morning, Todd. I'd just like to 
Yeah, hey, morning. Mention I'd hear you guys you know, on the air this morning. It may, but Natalie just, would. Time today to relax. Got a football game bills this afternoon to take care of. See who wins that one. Hunter Nat, I'm going to relax today. All right, I had a double there. Um, KD2YJU, um, you have the other station stand by. Uh, go ahead, Tom, again. Okay, uh, I'm up here in Syracuse, and uh, we're just going to have a relaxing day today and uh, watch the Dolph game this afternoon. All right, there you go. Well, your day's planned out. I'm going to uh, check out the uh, inside of my eye eyelids for holes uh, here in about an hour or so, and then uh, <laughs> check do do my nets in the evening as usual. So uh, uh, that's my day. As long as the dogs uh, keep getting me up early in the morning, I will uh, continue to take a nap in the afternoon. Uh, so have fun uh, with the game and. Uh, I guess good luck to the Bills or uh, whoever else they're playing. I uh, hope it's a good game. Clear with KD2 YJU. Uh, Tom up in Syracuse, WB3 AVZ, and the control for e cars. Uh, taking a standby for check ins. All stations are welcome. Call now. Check-ins. I'm looking for check-ins to the E-Cars, East Coast Sandwich Radio Service, WB3AVZ, and their controls standing by. KC3GHK, QRP. All righty. QRP, how QRPE are you, go ahead. Um, I'm on my 8, 817 at 5 watts on a little battery, and I set it up here on my table next to my big radio, and every once in a while I like to turn it on and, and see how it does and listen. And uh, it's not as nice on the ears as the big radio, that's for sure. And, uh, of course, it doesn't get out as, as well, but uh, as close as we are, uh, hopefully it's getting out over over the river from Lancaster. KC3GHK, back to you, Frank. Yeah, well, you're getting over the river and through the woods, so uh, that's, that's what counts. Yeah, you're peaking uh, S9 on my meter. Uh, I had to uh, find out how QRP you were because it didn't sound any different from previous. Go ahead. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's great. Yeah, it seems to be doing well. It's hooked up to a really big antenna. It's my inverted L, which uh, has a unique uh, shape, but I managed to get 125 feet uh, kind of up, over, across, and up, and over, and over, and over, and drip in the last 20 feet kind of hang down, but it, it, it seems like a great antenna with 9 to 1 and a whole bunch of radials. Someday somebody's going to buy the house and uh, wonder why there's so many radials in the backyard. Back to you, Frank. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, specify it can only be sold to I am, and uh, that way you won't have to worry about it. But, uh, yeah, the 5 watts is sounding real good. No problem. Good. Fantastic. Appreciate it. Have fun. I heard a silence, and I thought I would just jump in. KC3GHK, 73. Info. Yeah, info, go ahead. Uh, that QRP station is the same signal strength as you are, a little over S9 in Annapolis. So I just thought you'd like to know. K3DPT. Thanks, Tim. That's amazing. Uh, it's, a, it's all in the antenna, I think. Oh, it sure is working. Okay, there's my five watts. Okay, so. You're about the same signal strength. <laughs> well, then I'll save my electric bill. I'll just run at five watts the rest of the day. Yeah, I mean, it's actually coming into just receiver pretty good. Ah, maybe I'll just leave it at five watts. I'll finish out the net on the... Uh, on QRP net control. That's funny. All righty. At least I know my antenna is working really good. Mm. 
check-ins. I am looking for check-ins D cars. This is Whiskey Bravo 3, Alpha Victor Zulu, near control, standing by. Here is Whiskey Bravo 2, Juliet, Charlie, Charlie. I think it was Risky Bravo 2, Juliet, Charlie, Charlie. Good morning, go ahead. Uh, uh, good morning. Good morning. I have, uh, this is actually the test run of a uh, remote control setup, and it seems to be working okay. I'm interested in uh, knowing how you're hearing me. I am, uh, my name is Maddie, and I am in uh, Croton on Hudson, New York, about 20 miles uh, north of New York City, and you are uh, you have a very strong signal here today. Even with the five watts, you are still seven oh uh, seven, I should say. So I did see a different uh, QRP and not QRP, and I could hear the other QRP station uh, pretty well, uh, full copy. Anyway, back to you from WB2JC. All right, real good, Matty. Well, your signal sounds good on the remote. Um, it's not overdriven. The audio sounds good. Uh, as opposed to the remote setup I've been working on, <laughs> which is overdriven. So i got to play with that volume level, figure out the magic combination uh, later on today if I get motivated enough. But uh, your remote setup sounds pretty good. Go ahead. All right. Uh, okay, good. That's that's good to know. I notice that there's a little bit of latency. I'm usually on weekends. I'm usually not at my rig. I'm usually up in uh, up in my place up in Maine, uh, where my wife lives. So uh, I haven't been able to get on the air except for FT8. Um, so now I think I got the audio thing figured out. Very good. I do not have an eCars number. In fact, this is my first time checking into the net. Okay, real good. Well, I appreciate you being there. Yeah, I did, that's why I wanted to double check on the call because uh, I did not have you in my logbook and uh, wanted to make sure I had the uh, the call correct. And uh, well, you can find out more about eCars. Um, you can go to us uh, online, eCars7255.com, uh, eCars7255.com, and find out all about the service. We're here seven days a week from 0730 to 1330 during the week and 0800 to 1330 on the weekends. Uh, so uh, feel free to check in at any time uh, during that, that time period. You do not have to be a member to check in. We will, uh, oh, heck, we'll talk to anybody. <laughs> As long as you have the right class of license, we'll talk to you. So uh, feel free to, uh, to check back off and check out the website. And uh, if you're interested in membership, uh, it's $3 a month. Uh, not $3 a month, $3 a year. Uh, one year, three year, or $30 for lifetime. And all that money goes toward uh, scholarships for uh, youth uh, going into electronics or uh, the STEM, uh, uh, yeah, going into the, uh, the STEM, oh, man, my brain is freezing, going into STEM, let me do, let's just stop it there, period, um, so uh, check it out and I uh, hope to hear you on again. Okay, very good. I will uh, definitely check out the website and we'll join. I am a, a big fan of scholarships, especially for the uh, science, technology, uh, education stuff. That's definitely good. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you for the signal report, and I definitely will check in again. Uh, 7-3, Whiskey Bravo 2, Juliet, Charlie, Charlie. All right, Matty, real good. Appreciate you being there. Good luck, and uh, we'll uh, say welcome, and uh, I'll talk to you again. Uh, clear on WB2JCC, Matty up in Cruton on Hudson, New York. Uh, this is WB3AVZ, Net Control. I am standing by for check-ins. I'll take anyone I can hear. Uh, I've got about another minute, so i got one or two stations I can do yet. Call now, over. Juliet Yankee. Hello, Charlie 3, Yankee Golf. All right, that's from those two, AB4, JY. Good morning. How are you?
How are you doing, Glenn? Uh, good morning, Frank. I sneaked in over the wire there. I heard you give a call. Uh, my band is pretty bad down here. Uh, the reception is terrible this morning. and nothing going on. And I think I might have a slight antenna problem. By the way, this is AB4JY for identification. And you're about a 53. Uh, very low noise, but just very low signals. I don't know if that's the band or what I just turned the machine on, so we'll know. Anyway, have a great Sunday there, and uh, I'll get you when the band gets a little bit better sometime. Have a super weekend. Maybe 4JY. Okay, real good, uh, Glenn. Yeah, I can uh, guarantee it's the band. Uh, you're 5859 five, coming up my way, but uh, propagation probably the other way is acting up. Typical 40 meters the past couple of days, so uh, it's uh, it's not you, it's them. Hi, hi. <laughs> You take care. We'll talk to you again. Uh, Claire with AV4JY, going down to Bedford, Virginia. Last up on the list, case C3 Yankee Golf. Uh, good morning, Neil. First time. Go ahead. Uh, good morning, Frank. I, I have a link I've spoken to you or checked in with you. I have a number of times on ACAR. I have the form filled out. It's been sitting on the desk for about three weeks or more. And uh, I looked at life membership, and my wife said, why would you do that? You don't even buy green bananas. Anyhow, Frank are sounding pretty good into uh, Renfrew, Pennsylvania. We're about 35 miles north of Pittsburgh. Go ahead. Don't even buy green bananas. That's pretty good. I like that. Never heard that before. <laughs> uh, well, it all goes towards scholarships. So uh, tell her you're uh, leaving a legacy. Hi, hi. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I did a lifetime. I figured it's 30 bucks. I can't get a membership for anything that cheap. That is for sure. Um, and uh, my release said his PC just crashed. So I guess I'll stumble around here for a couple more minutes till he uh, reboots. But you got a good signal coming over my way, uh, Neil. And uh, we got your information entered and saved in my log. So uh, next time I'll know who you are when uh, when I talk to you. Go ahead. Well, I hope next time I'll have a uh, membership number. Yeah, I will get a lifetime uh, membership. I uh, I joke about it. I'm 81 years old, but you know I still feel sometimes like maybe I'm only uh, 80. Anyhow, Frank, nice talking to you. A good signal into Western Pennsylvania. Wish you the very best. Love you, cars. Go ahead. All right, appreciate it. Yeah, I'm 66, and uh, my motto in life is I may be growing up, or growing old, but I refuse to grow up. So uh, that's how I kind of go. All right, Neil, you take care, buddy. Appreciate you being there. Hopefully I will uh, see uh, a membership number pop up here in red on my logger since uh, this is tied into the database on the uh, eCars website. And uh, usually it won't stay updated. I see it pop up red in the membership number and everything else, so we'll have that. And uh, you can keep checking on the website, too, once you get mailed, uh, get it mailed in and uh, see when they get you get you assigned there and get your number. So uh, welcome aboard. We'll say it early and uh, hope to talk to you again. KC3YG, WB3AVZ. Go ahead. Yeah, 7-3, Frank. All right, this is WB3AVZ, Net Control E-Cars. I uh, have time for one or two more till uh, Dave gets his uh, computer booted back up and uh, call now. WB2 way 10. Whiskey 3, Oscar Foxtrot Tango. All right, we got OHN, we got Whiskey 3, Oscar Foxtrot Tango. Let's go with uh, with Don. Good morning, Don. Go ahead. Uh, good morning. Uh, this is Don, wb 20 north of Albany, where it's uh, barely 30 degrees. Uh, overcast today. Looks like it's going to be about that all day long. Maybe some precipitation tomorrow. Um, you're about a five and six, five and six here this morning, and I think it's Frank on the other end. Go ahead. Yep, real good, Don. You got it correct. Yeah, you're about a five, six, five, seven. Also, uh, band is not in uh, real good shape this morning. Uh, but uh, you are coming in, your Q5, that's all that matters. And uh, we have a solid copy on you, even with the QSB. Uh, so anything else we can do for you, go ahead? No, I guess we're all set. We're just running uh, the Drake TR3 barefoot this morning. Uh, WB2OA10 clear. All right, real good, Don. Appreciate you being there. Drake sounds good. 
Uh, clear with WB2OHN. Next up, W3OFT. Good morning, Fred. How's Langhorn doing? Okay, buddy. Uh, Fred here, W3OFT. East cars number 30804. Uh, Langhorn, Pennsylvania, southeastern part of the state where it's 39 degrees and kind of overcast today. Uh, we're just... Um, Dealing with our Eagles uh, hangover here, we we watched the game last night, and of course they won very handily. So nothing uh, nothing more here to add. Just want to say good morning to everybody. Uh, the band's up and down, uh, but I can copy uh, Q5. So anyway, seven th- and uh, back to net control. This is W3 OFT. All righty, Fred, real good. Good signal coming over to York this morning. Of course, we're only 100 miles apart, um, but uh, good short hop, uh, five by nine for sure. Uh, so, uh, pleasure talking to you, and uh, I think this is the first time I've spoken with you. So, uh, we uh, had the info in the logger already because I uh, usually go wait till the uh, first of the month and then type the new calls into my logging program. So I have them, but uh, last check-in says never. So that's a good indication that uh, this is our first time. So I appreciate the check-in, appreciate you being there, and uh, thanks for the membership. Okay, 7-3 all. Take care. All righty, clear with W3OFT. This is WB3AVZ, Net Control E-Cars. Uh, let's see, uh, Dave, are you ready yet? I guess silence means no. All right, this is WB3AZ. I'll take another check in until Dave uh, pops on the air here. Call now, over. This is Kilo Charlie One, Mike Tangle, Mike with a recheck. Good morning, sir. Go ahead. Uh, my e card number is 10500. I got it, I don't know, a month ago or so. And uh, I checked in early, but I figured I'd touch base with you since you're uh, all. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Well, you didn't check in with me, but uh, so uh, it's the first time in this hour. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate it. And you're number 30, uh, so that's usually my number for my shift. So uh got me up there, even though I had to hang over a couple to, to make it happen. But uh, I got my 30, so uh, my day is complete, high, high. Uh, but you have a good signal. You're 5'9", coming down into York this morning out of uh, Mass. Go ahead. Yeah, we're, what, I don't know, 150, 200 miles as the crow flies. But, yeah, at least the conditions for us are good. The band has been up and down this morning. And uh, it's a little quieter now than it was at, at uh, 8 o'clock over. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, I'm looking at the uh, waterfall here and NJ2US's receiver, and uh, there's not a lot of green on it. It's uh, mostly empty blue. So uh, that, to me, is a good indication that the band is not as uh, as good as it could be. Um, so you have a good signal, and uh, we will talk to you again. I appreciate the uh, lifetime membership, and uh, have a good rest of your weekend, okay? Thanks a lot, and uh, the same to you. I hope your uh, relief gets this computer squared away. Lord knows we hate computer problems. And, uh, yeah, have a great week on yourself, 7-3, and uh, everybody on the net, have a great day. It makes you wonder how you functioned without them in the old days. Hi, hi. WA3GIN, Dave, you there yet? WB3ABZ. Do you need to run? No, just want to see if you're there. NJ to you. I said, no, if Dave has trouble coming back, if you need to go, I can take it. No, I'm not going anywhere. I do have to check into the Mars net uh, before it's over at noon, so I got a little bit of time. Uh, I just trying to figure out how long it takes for a computer to reboot. Uh, you never know with Dave. He's got issues. Computer and otherwise? No, just PCs. He's he's had he's not had good luck with his PCs. He's, they uh, he's been trying really hard. He's gotten bum equipment and things like that. So he was at a disadvantage. NJ2US. 
Ah, okay. I don't know, maybe we need to trip together and send him another squirrel. If anybody can figure it out, he can. Okay. <laughs> All righty. This is WB3 AVZ Deck Control. Thanks, I appreciate it. Um, they can uh, stand by for check-ins. We'll hang in here till uh, till Dave comes back up. Uh, all stations are welcome. Call now. All right, and two easy Y. Ed, you there? All right. It looks like N two E D Y is going to grab it, Jeff. Um, so. Uh, Okay, got to give them two minutes. So let's try one more check-in and uh, see if we can hold over here till uh, till that gets on the air. This is WB3 AVZ. Uh, he didn't know that I was going to take it, so uh, Ed can take it. That's all right. I understand. I won't. My feelings aren't hurt. <laughs> Sound like they are. Hey, the Eagles won. What do I care now? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, did they play? Yeah. I don't follow football. All righty, this is WB3AVZ, Net Control e card standing by. Well, just for the record, they devastated the midgets, devastated them, ripped them up, tore them apart, threw them around the field. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of got that impression when uh, I watched the uh, the uh, Saturday Night Live this morning on the, the snippets and the their cold opening was 31 to whatever the score was, so it uh, sounded like it was a trouncing. All right, N2EDY is ready, so we will shoot it over to Ed. Uh, he will be your incoming net control. I thank everybody for hanging out, and uh, we will uh, talk to everybody next week. Uh, N2EDY, it's all yours if you copy. Go ahead. All right, sir, thank you very much. You got it. We got everything turned on. Rock and rolling here. Welcome, everybody, to the East Coast Amateur Radio Service, and that's 7.255. Call sign is November 2, Echo Delta Yankee, located in the southwestern part of uh, New York State. The name here is that, Echo Delta. All right, is there any priority track at this time? Um, go, go right ahead. Is there any uh, QRP stations, any mobile stations, any portable stations at this time uh, to be part of the call? Nothing hurt. Let's open up for uh, regular check-ins. You do not need to be a member to check-in. E-car is looking for check-ins. Amateur radio service net 7.255 looking for check in. Kilowatt Echo 2 Yankee Kilowatt. We have a Yankee station and a Lima station. Anybody else? Kilo Echo 2 Yankee Kilo. Yankee Kilowatt, we have you. Okay, let's start with that. Yankee Kilowatt, go ahead. Hi, good afternoon. I guess it's afternoon. I haven't looked at the watch. Anyway, uh, good afternoon from New York. Name here is Gary, Golf Alpha Romeo Yankee, about 60 miles east of the Big Apple, and uh, former E-Cars member, but uh, wanted to check in and say hello. Okay, very good. Um, Give me your, your call sign one more time, please, and uh, I'll put it in my logbook. Go ahead. Yeah, no problem. It's Kilowatt Echo 2 Yankee Kilowatt. All right, Gary, we got you in there. Uh, what part of uh, New York State you're from? You said you're 60 miles east, I think you said? Yeah, about that would 60 be, miles uh, east of the Big Apple to work down on Long Island. Island. A long time ago. Is that near, like, Monticello? Uh, no, this is about, uh, I'm out here on Long Island. Yeah. Out here on the east end of Long Island. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I'm only on my third cup of coffee, Gary. Forgive me. All right, Gary, very good. You're about a five six, five seven here into uh, southwestern New York. 
Okay, great, great. That sounds good. Yeah, I'm only running about 75 watts into a wire antenna, so I can't expect more than that, and I appreciate you uh, giving, giving me a signal report. Okay, Gary. Well, very good. I appreciate you checking in. Stay safe, stay warm, play a lot of radio, and uh, hopefully we'll catch down the road there, Gary. 73. Uh, next station ending in uh, uh, Lima, I believe so it is. Lima, the, uh, or, has, or something with a Lima uh, in it. Uh, always enjoy uh, listening on eCar. Uh, I think we doubled the uh, station that has a Lima in it. Go ahead. My tonight is going to come out. East Coast Amateur Radio Service Net looking for check ins. KC3 GHK QRP. KC3 GHK QRP, welcome aboard. Good morning. Uh, I forgot to write down your call sign. It looks like you're filling in for Dave this morning. And I happen to have my little 817, FT817 running here on the desk. And it's hooked up to the outside antenna, which makes it work a lot better. But uh, you're coming in pretty good. I think your name is Ed, and your last three letters are E-D-Y. Do I have that right? Uh, yes, sir. November 2, Echo Delta Yankee. I'll get it memorized eventually, but then I'll forget again. So anyway, great to hear you, Ed. Thanks for filling in, and uh, glad I was able to exercise my little radio again this morning. And uh, glad I'm getting up to you there. N2, EDY, KC3, GHK, Andy in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, 73. Okay, Andy. Uh, good signal. 5758. It's the southwestern New York, New York town of Cuba, Cuba, New York. Sounding very good, Andy. All right, well, take care. Stay safe, stay warm. Play a lot of radio, Andy, and we'll catch you down the road there. QSL. QSL 73, thanks for that. Have fun. N2EDY, KC3, GHK. Take care. I thank you for checking the e-card. East Coast Amateur Radio Service Net. 7.255, looking for check-ins. You do not need to be a member to check-in. Sierra, Delta, Lima, we have you. Anybody else? Delta, Mike, we have you. Anybody else? Okay, Sierra Delta Lima, welcome aboard to e cars. Oh, yeah, I copy you the 5657 here into southwestern New York, near a town called Cuba, Cuba, New York, QSL. Very good. You're 5556 five, here to southwestern New York with that hot water 100. Um, sounding rather pretty good there. The older the radio is, the better it sounds, I think. QSL? Yeah, QSL, QSL, yeah. I'm Thank you. 
Stalk you down a log. One skin lobster. Eight seals fairly Oh, 73s, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I have, uh, as you know, I have a hot water uh, 101 that uh, if it's going to go to a club, I'd give it to a club. It needs a little fixing, but hopefully a new ham will be able to take it. I have no problem sending it over there. So I, I'd like to get uh, in touch with you and email you and see if we could uh, give this uh, 101 to a, a, a new amateur radio operator, QSL. QSL, by the way, if you want to get hold of me, this is what you do. Okay, uh, did you think, I didn't quite catch that call by another name. I had a big staggered, static red. Can you tell me one more time? I got it. Okay, very good. Hopefully, to go to a good uh, home, uh, a new uh, ham operator, it'd be great. Great, great. This is a great net. We're all helping each other out. All right, sir. Very good. Anything else that we can do for you? All right, 73s. East Coast Amateur Radio Service Net 7.255, looking for check in. I think we have a Whiskey Bravo in there. Anybody else? Okay. Whiskey Bravo, welcome aboard. Go ahead. Very good to have you in here. You are five seven, about five six five seven here into southwestern New York. Uh, good signal, QSL. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, very good. Thank you for checking in. Stay safe, stay warm, play a lot of radio. 73s. East Coast Amateur Radio Service Net 7.255. Looking for check in. Hello, Charlie One, Mike Romeo. Okay, Kilo what Charlie One, Mike Radio, Bean Town Ray with a great signal of 5-8. 5-8, Southwestern New York, Ray, go ahead. Okay, very good. Uh, I don't, this isn't Dave, who, uh, who's this, please? Oh, I, I think uh, Dave's working on his computer right now. Um, yep, yeah, he's working on his computer. <laughs> anyway, uh, kind of an overcast day in the uh, low 30s. Hopefully it'll warm up a little bit and my antenna won't be so fussy. But other than that, everything's fine. How you doing, buddy? We're doing good. Speaking of antennas, I'm looking out the window. <clears throat> I got about at least oh, a quarter inch of ice on my uh, wires out here. I'm surprised I'm working, working okay, but the more I talk, the more it'll melt. So uh, I'll keep on yakking. QSL? Oh, uh, sure, so. Yeah, I've got a real bad uh, antenna problem. Uh, the uh, Somewhere in the feed it's got a problem, and I don't know what it is. I went away and this is the first, I've used the antenna for five years, never had this issue. But we had something to it in the summertime last, 
and we've got an issue now, so I, it's going to look like I'm going to have to wait till the spring to find out. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, gotta get in there and start working on my new antenna project. Just uh, the problem is, I, I live on the side of a hill, and uh, it's just like, oh my God, all kinds of water and mud. It's like. Uh, Things that you should think about before you move up into the hills there. And I know the spring is going to be um, really muddy, as usual. I got these muck boots. They literally come up to my knees. And a few times I, I left my muck boots in the mud there, working on the antenna in the woods there, QSL. QSL. Yeah. Well, I, my antenna is bracketed against the house, and underneath it is wall-to-wall pack of Sandra. And if you drop something, you ain't going to find it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, you know what makes uh, ham radio interesting in many, many ways? And I just talking to the people around the situations and issues that we have to adapt and overcome. Or yeah, say overcome sure. it. It depends hey, on where it falls to the parts of the pieces. <laughs> All right, Rach. Well, All right, Rach. Anything else that we can do for you? Normally you'd be over a nine mark, but with the preppy antenna, you're about a seven to an eight. So please accept my apologies. KC1MR, Bean Town Ray. Cheers. Take care, Bean Town Ray. Sounded very good. Great signal here. Either way, you sounded very good. Good signal. Okay. That was Bean Town Ray, ECARS, East Coast Amateur Radio Service Net. Your operators, November 2, Echo Delta Yankee. We're located here in southwestern New York, and we're looking for check-ins. I think there's a mobile station out there. So let me uh, bring you up on uh, on NJ2US's uh, SDR here. Hopefully, we'll be able to bring you in here. Uh, try it one more time, station. I think it's Kilo 2 Whiskey Quebec Mobile. Uh, go ahead. Okay, sir, you're about five, 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 four, five, five. It's the southwestern New York. Um, conditions are pretty bad right now, but you're you're making it through, no problem. QSL. Roger, Roger. I will be listening out. Thank you, W2 Mobile. Thank you, W2 Mobile. All right, very good. To Q Mobile, got you in here, trying to write here. You know, it's like getting pens. You never know what you're going to get, a pen that works or a pen that doesn't work. And I usually get the pens that don't work, but that's all right. We'll get you in there. All right, sir, very good. Thank you for checking in. Just stay safe driving that mobile. Great weekend, November 2. East Coast Amateur Radio Service Net. E-cars looking for check-ins. Amateur Radio Service Net 55 looking for check in.
East Coast Amateur Radio Service Vet. 7.255 looking for check in. You can find e cars on the web. E cars 7255.com. We are operating every day from 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Snow, rain, ice, we're always open for business. <laughs> East Coast Amateur Radio Service Net 7.255, looking for check in. Hello. N2EDY, WA3GIN. EDY, November 1, Fox Spot, Golf, November. Okay, Dave. Uh, welcome aboard. Hey, yeah. Exciting morning here. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, well, your your PC didn't work, but my pens are not working, so I don't know what's going on. It must be a next, uh, must be a full moon somewhere. <laughs> yeah, over. Yeah, really. Uh, hey, you can finish the hour if you'd like, or if you want to get out of here and get on with your day, that's good too. I think I'm solid now. All right, I'll I'll uh, give me. Uh, well, I don't know. Either way, it's good for you. it don't matter, Dave. Uh, whatever you want to do. Now, this is my backup operation, so it's a good exercise for it. Uh, let's see. Uh, how, are we cop how are you copying this, by the way? Uh, you sound very good. Um, you're about a 58859. Five, Great audio. All right, then. Oh, uh I'll, I'll go ahead and pick it up and appreciate you uh, stepping in here. And <laughs> but, <laughs> the, the PC was flaky and it ran perfectly since Tuesday. And then about uh, two minutes before 11, it just died hard. Well, I hear you, man. Okay, all right, Dave. All right, then we'll be on the side here. Go ahead, sir. Enjoy your day there. And uh, I'm going to grab another cup of coffee and look out the window at the, at the icy snowscape. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, Dave. November 2, Echo Delta Yankee Clerk. All righty, very fine. Thank you very much. And uh, stand by just in case <laughs> number two decides to die. East Cars Radio on 55. It's 1133. Uh, WA3GIN operator Dave here and uh, transmitting from King George, Virginia, where it's 38 degrees and overcast. And uh, at half past the hour, let's stand by for any QRP stations. Any QRP. Okay, nothing heard. Any mobile stations, any mobiles. All right, then. We'll take a fixed station list and please space them out. Hello, Charlie 3, Romeo, Foxtrot, Oscar. All right, that's a pretty good space there, KC2RFO. Good morning. Come on in. This is West Kilo Charlie 3, Romeo, Foxtrot, Oscar. Okay, Wes, what's going on? Oh, not much at the moment. Uh, well, naturally, the band is kind of noisy. <laughs> uh, the weather is kind of strange. We're waiting for some rain to turn into snow. Other than that, having a peaceful day. Back to you. Okay, very fine. Very fine, Wes. Where are you, where are you exactly up in RFO land? We're in southwestern Pennsylvania. <laughs> All right, very fine. Well, you have a good signal coming in uh, to the northern neck of Virginia. Any plans for today? Well, I thought about going down to my daughter. She lives in town about 20 miles away at the foot of the mountain. 
Oh, very good. Well, like me, you know, what? if you time it right, you might get a free meal. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> very good. Well, enjoy the family. And thanks for checking in these cars. Uh, any other check-ins? Four, November Sugar Papa. Alrighty, KI four N S P come on in. Roger Roger. Uh, let me get your call sign real quick. Uh, w A three G I N. W A three G I N. This is Kilo India four, November Sugar Papa, Tom in Arapaho, North Carolina, which is on the coast. And you're a quality five nine. Five nine. Good contact. Okay, very fine. Thank you uh, very much for the check-in, Tom. Everything good down there in Arapaho? Roger, Roger. We have um, a light rain. It's supposed to rain 100% all day today, and that's a good thing because we are in a drought situation. And for the record, my number is 4832, 4832 for all those who are interested. Okie dokie, very fine. Got you, 4832. Appreciate it. Have a great day, Tom, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing that signal again. Roger, Roger. Yeah, All righty, very good. And uh, for those of you who don't know it, Buzz Aldrin, a uh, 93-year-old, uh, just got married uh, to his girlfriend of four years, a 63-year-old, uh, Dr. Anka Fowler. <laughs> so there you go. The lovebirds are, uh, I guess, they're somewhere off in California, Los Angeles, somewhere enjoying their honeymoon. <laughs> Rocket Man got married. There's a mobile in there. Radio on 55, WA3GIN listening. There was a mobile in there, Dave, NJ2US. Mobile station, come in. Uh, go ahead. I think that's Dick. Go ahead. Yes, Dave, how are you copying? KB2 QBX Mobile over here on uh, Long Island. There, uh, Dave. Uh, uh, go ahead. Yeah, I really like copy. KB2 QBX, I think it is. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, Dave. Uh, yeah, I'm getting uh, in and out here. Of Long Island to a function uh, meeting up with 20 other hams there, there Dave. Uh, but thanks for picking me up, Dave. Oh, the band is the band is very quiet. But you are like, have you checked to see if the antenna is still on the back? Be strong here. Yeah, maybe he's too close. Did he say where he is? Hey, he's out on Long Island. Probably skipping over here. Huh. All right. Well, enjoy your gathering there with the other radio operators. NJ2 USID. <laughs> he starts radio on 55. Recheck. All right, recheck. Come on in. This is Kilo India 4, November Sugar Papa. I did not get your call sign properly. My error, my bad. Now get your call sign one more time. Yeah, sure. Get a pencil and write it down on your wall. W-A-3-G-I-N. I wrote down a T. Gotcha, gotcha. Have a Good phonetics there, bro. <laughs> okay. Anything else, Tom? Negative further. Thanks for your help. <laughs> East Cars Radio on 55. Wow, the band looks pretty flat down here. Anybody for East Cars, WA3GIN listening. Hello, Charlie 2, Romeo, Golf, Whiskey. 
All right, KC2RGW. Come on in, Chris. Hey, good morning, Dave. Yeah, I heard you uh, calling out there. Yeah, the band does not look uh, particularly good. I don't know if we have uh, flare activity or uh, if it's just uh, not a lot of people on, but not a lot of signals, and they don't look very strong. Just uh, kicking around, looking out the window, waiting for the snow to come later this afternoon into the evening, and uh, nothing exciting to report. Uh, here, you no problem. About S9 or so, not super strong, but uh, no problem here and you up here. WA3GIN, KC2RGW. All right, very fine. Thank you for that. Yeah, the signals are rolling up at around minus 100 is about as high as they get, which is really light. Yeah, and that last over, you're only about an S8 or so. So, yep, probably uh, flares or something, I would imagine, driving the uh, absorption up would be my guess. Oh, man, I'll tell you, it's something. Well, enjoy your snowfall. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll probably get out on the tractor and do a little bit of cleaning up before the uh, next round comes in. But, uh, yep, just a, uh, a boring Sunday in the shack, the way I like it. Have a good one, Dave. WA3GIN, KC2RGW73. <laughs> oh, okay. It just looks like a sort of boring weather day here, overcast and uh, chilly. East cars on 55, WA3GIN listening. East cars, East cars radio. Whiskey, Victor, One Mexico. All right, Whiskey, Victor, One Mexico, go ahead. Well, good morning. Uh, the name here is Dick, Delta India, Charlie Kilo. And the QTH of the transmitter is Torrington, Connecticut. I am operating remotely this morning from Surfside Beach, South Carolina, just south of Myrtle Beach. And uh, using the uh, Ham Radio Deluxe interface into my FTDX 101 MP, uh, it located in Torrington, Connecticut, into a uh, Alpha Delta sloper antenna. So that's the story on this end. Uh, E-cars number two zero eight one zero. And uh, glad to hear you in there this morning. Sorry it's so slow, but uh, your signal report to Torrington, Connecticut, would be about an F9. Uh, the meters don't work on this uh, this computer interface uh, for remote, but um, I'd say from the loudness of your signal and the great audio, you're about an F9 into Torrington, Connecticut this morning. Uh, this is WV1M. Okay, dokie. Well, thank you for that report. Appreciate it, Dick. Uh, how long are you going to be down there? Uh, we're down here for another week. Um, we've been here since the first. Um, my wife has uh, recently retired, 32 years teaching, and uh, this is our first uh, extended uh, getaway. I won't even call it a vacation because I came down here and I'm still working from working remotely. Um, I have a manufacturing company in Terryville, Connecticut, and so I'm working remotely and uh, visiting a few customers that I have in this area, and um, you know we're eating out a lot. I could tell you that. <laughs> Getting used to all the restaurants in the area. Uh, definitely going to have to diet uh, a bit when I get back home. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, we're here till uh, we're leaving uh, next Saturday morning and driving home. Um, we should be home uh, late you know, Saturday, uh, early Saturday evening, late late afternoon, something like that. It's about a 12-hour drive. So, but we I plan to do it in one day. But if uh, if I get tired, we'll just check in somewhere for the night and finish the finish the ride uh, that next Sunday morning. So, anyway, that's the story on this end. Go ahead. Oh, okay, very fine. Well, that's cool. So, is this going to be a regular routine, or are you just down there uh, tipping, uh, tipping, you know, putting your toe in the water? 
funny you put it like that. That's exactly what I've been saying all along is we're dipping our toe in the water. But um, right now the plan for next year is uh, a month, maybe maybe a couple extra weeks. We're not sure yet. But uh, definitely a month seems long enough, it's long enough to shorten our winter. And uh, I don't mind, you know, we don't mind winter so badly at home anyway. Um, living in Connecticut, you know, we get our hair and snow from time to time, but for the most part, Connecticut winters are, uh, uh, I'd say, just a, a nudge to the milder side nowadays, so uh, not so bad. Um, however, um, we will be here next year for January as well. We, we've already booked it, and uh, we are, like, right on the beach. We are on, on uh, Ocean uh, South Ocean Avenue, and basically we're looking at South Ocean Boulevard, and I'm looking out the, the front uh, slider uh, right at the ocean. Um, we're, we're one one set of houses off uh, from the beach. Go ahead. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> as long as there's no storms, that sounds great. Well, congratulations to uh, the XYL there and yourself. You got any uh, similar plans? Uh, yeah, I've actually, I, I've been in business 40 years. Uh, actually, we're going to mark our uh, my company's 40th anniversary uh, started when I was 23 years old, and we're marking the 40th anniversary in June with a big party, um, and a big celebration. But um, I, like I said, I can get away from the office now. I answer emails, um, do a little bit of engineering, but I hired an engineer this year, and it, you know, uh, I hired a real engineer this year. Let's put it that way, uh, to do a lot of the things that that I have had to do over the years. So um, now I can get away, and uh, I'm I'm not going to call even call it semi-retired, but I'm probably going to be uh, averaging three days a week uh, over the next you know over the next year, uh, depending how bored I get at home. But um, I like it here. You know, it's just. Uh, we're, we're basically learning the area. It's a very nice area, and we have had great weather this month. Um, just about the, most of the days were in the 70s, high 60s, 70s, bright sunshine. Uh, I've been able to go to the golf driving range a little bit. Uh, we've been walking the beach in, in our T-shirt and shorts. So uh, today is, is all rain. Today is going to be 100% rain throughout the day, and uh, the surf looks mighty uh, angry out there right now. So WV1. All righty. Well, very good. Well, listen, nice to nice to hear you and catch up a little bit with you and uh, have a safe drive back and continued success there with the company. Sounds like you got it figured out. Uh, till the next time, take care and uh, don't be a stranger here on 55. No, thank you. Uh, I'm always welcome, and, and I like to check in and say hello to you guys. A lot of times the net's so big, the list is so long, I have to move on to something else because uh, I'm always kind of working a little bit as well. But um, you guys uh, do a really nice job, your net controllers, and and as I uh, get more and more time on my hands, I'll probably uh, train myself and, and get into the net control category for at least a couple times a month maybe. So, with that, I will send it back to you. Thank you for all the well wishing, and uh, we're looking forward to getting home as well. You know, a, a month is is good, but we'll also be glad to be home, see the grandchildren. That's the hardest part, being away from the family and the grandchildren. But um, we're in constant contact with them, and and it's good. So, uh, nice to hear you guys in there. One thing, if you could make a comment, I'll close and say 73 to the net. But if you could make a comment to uh, uh, to my audio and signal, I'd really appreciate it. Again, I'm using a, a microphone into the computer that, uh, you know, it's not a great – I'd like to be able to interface one of my, um, uh, you know, communication quality microphones. A regular computer microphone, and uh, seems to do a good job. I get a, I get okay reports on it. Uh, I'm sure it's not wide wide frequency audio, but um, I'd like to hear what your comments are on it. So back to you, WV1M73. 
Okay, okay, Dick, very good. Well, it's crystal clear, and that's a good thing on ham radio. So no distortion, uh, no breath sounds. You're right, it is not a wideband microphone. So it, uh, it's giving you good representation in the mid-high frequencies and, uh, and, the, and the higher frequencies, which is fine. Uh, so I can always hear you with that. It's, it's, I have no complaints. I would never, uh, I wouldn't have said anything unless you asked. So there, I think it's working for you. All right. Thank you very much for that report. And that's that's all I would expect. Um, there, obviously, there's compromises. I have to uh, click the MOX button to um, uh, to transmit um, on the HRD. I, I haven't figured out if there's a keystroke I could hit, uh, like a, a PTT on the keyboard or anything. All these years I've been operating this way, and I've never figured that out. So I have to actually click the MOX button. So if there's ever a delay when I come back, that's what causes that. And uh, but the uh, we've got inter good internet on both sides, uh, uh, so that that helps with uh, operating remotely. Sorry I took up so much time, but uh, very nice to hear you in there. You do a very nice job on the net. Seven three all along, and uh, we'll uh, check in again before we check out of uh, Surfside Beach uh, later in the week. WV1M. Yeah. All right. Really good. I never would have known that you were remote. 73 to you. And a lot of these programs, they use the space bar as a duplicate, so you might try that. 73, let me pick up a few more folks here, if there are any. This is East Cars, WA3TIN, listening. Lame the Delta. 52, Bravo Uniform Delta. Julia. November 3, Alpha, Quebec. All right, LDB, BUD, uh, N3AQ, and WB8, VH, excuse me, VNH. Anybody else? All right, LDB, good morning. Good morning, Dave, and everyone else. Are you calling, cool, bud? The call is Kilo Echo Lake, Lee the Delta Bravo. Jim, here at the Clay Mill in Southern Ohio this morning, where we've got 34 degrees. Falling at 29.05, 88% humidity. Didn't sleep here a little bit. It's pretty much stopped now, but uh, uh, the skies are brightening from the west, so maybe our uh, rain's over there, Dave. And just uh, 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 for uh, uh, completeness sake, Dave, Victor uh, Echo Street, I remember Echo Juliet was trying to check in as well. You might try to put him on the bottom of your list there. Anyway, Dave, you sound good. Back to you, Mark. All righty, very good. Thank you much for that. I'll certainly put uh, Terry on the list. We'll see what happens. Thank you. Take care, Jim. Have a good one. BUD, you're next. Come in, bud. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm sorry I, I interrupted there by accident. Uh, located here in Enfield, Connecticut, as you know, and the temperature temperature right now is 35. going to go up to a whopping 40 degrees. And uh, just an overcast day today. And I'll take 40 degrees in January any time. So I just wanted to add a number to your count and uh, say best of 73 and be a next to go. Uh, thank you. Okay, bud, real fine. You have a lot of RF on your audio this morning. Something changed there? A lot of RF? Oh, huh. I'll have to check it out. Somebody said that before. I, I thank you for telling me. I'll, I'll see if I can fix it. Yeah, definitely. Something's loose there. All righty. Take care. N3 AQ, good morning. Welcome to East Cars. Ah, good morning, WA3 GIN N3 AQ. Beautiful morning here today. Cool. Uh, we're expecting snow this afternoon, up to four inches. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if that's going to happen. And not too much else going on. We've uh, uh, got the Drake Sea Lion warmed up here, and uh, band is pretty poor. At least uh, you're usually uh, 30, 40 over S9, and today you're just popping S9. And I'm hurting to hear some of the people, but that's just, I guess, the band this morning. So uh, that's all we have. We'll be here for a bit, and I appreciate it. WA3GIN and 3AQ. All right, bud. Really good. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it, and you're sounding good, too. 5'8 here to 5'9, no problem.
Next on the list is WB8VA in VNH. Good afternoon. This is Whiskey Baker, a Central Center Hotel coming from Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, okay, six inches of snow. Well, great. I guess you're going to be inside today. <laughs> Not us. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thanks for jumping in. All right. Good enough. Last three letters. Golf, India, November. Gin, like the liquor. All right. Let's go up north and see if we can hear this guy. VE3NEJ. Come in, Terry. Good morning, Dave. I can just... <clears throat> Well, I can hear you above the noise, but you're not very strong. You've got an S5 today, over. Yeah, yeah, you're not doing too well today either. Uh, I, but, like, I can hear you, but there's no one else on the same, uh, talking at the same time. I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't have any traffic. We're about 31 degrees up here. It's supposed to start snowing shortly, but I haven't seen any yet. Uh, yeah, I was just looking at the D-layer absorption, and it's, uh, yeah, we're right in the middle of it. And I've got a couple of notices here that uh, around about this time we had a, had a uh, radio blackout. So the sun's not being nice to us today. Over. Yeah, I get uh, Definitely got a lot of challenges today. All righty. Well, I hope you're doing well. Your nurse coming today? I'll say again? I say, is your nurse coming today? I know she was here yesterday. I had one that I haven't seen for over a year. Cute little curvy girl. She's about 45 or something like that. Nice girl. She was here. We had a little visit even. And then she, then she left. She wants to come back. So she's going to keep an eye out for me when uh, my regular is off, and she's going to jump right in there and grab me. So <laughs> nice to be popular with the nurses, I guess. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> very good, very good. Hey, Terry, I don't know if, we, if you remember or not, we had somebody in here uh, earlier in the week, I think it was uh, very concerned about the number of uh, fires in, in electric vehicles. Right? So I, I thought that was curious. And I took a look and uh, found a statistic that was staggering. Uh, in the 2022, last year, there were 173,000 fires in combustion engine vehicles uh, last year. So <laughs> uh, uh, that's interesting. You, you hear about the electric, maybe because they make such a spectacular f fires. I don't know. But there's a lot of fires and vehicles regardless you know that was for me dave i missed 90 percent of it over yeah it's a it's a suck day here on 55 <laughs> i can see why the radio didn't want to work all right catch you later roger that seven three dave g-a-n w-2-b-u-d all right, very good. Uh, uh, BUD, please don't step in on people. They're still talking. I do that enough myself. You want to come in and get a radio check? Yes, please. All right, let's hear it. Okay, I switched one, one entire wire over to the other, and I apologize. Uh, is it you still got that all right? Uh, it's less, but it's still in there. So you have a general RF in your operating position there. You're going to have to settle your antennas down, get some ferrite on there, get get some chokes on there, and keep the RF from getting into your operating position. Sounds like it's coming in on the feed line. Thank you so much for your help. I apologize. Yeah, that's okay. Anybody else for East Cars on 55? East Cars Radio on 55. November 2, Romeo, Mike Victor. All right, 
and to RMV. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Dave. Uh, John and Syracuse, and uh, good to hear you in there this morning. Got the headset on. Listen around a little VHF stuff here. Hey, there's one guy in Syracuse calling PQ contests so for the contest. Uh, it ain't what it used to be. Over. <laughs> There is a contest. What is it, the uh, International Single Sideband Contest or something like that? I think it's the, it's the A double R L V H F V H F fifty megahertz and above. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. I know they're doing something with W1AW, multiple stations across the country operating for multiple days uh, from multiple uh, uh, calls to areas. So uh, I guess they're just trying to keep it going. All right. Listen, thanks for checking in. QSL and 73. All the best. Okay. Take care. That's it for me. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm like the band, done. So we'll catch you all later. Have a great Sunday, what's left of it, and we'll look forward to hearing you in better conditions soon. This is WA3GIN. Over to whoever. Who is it today? NJ2US? Hey, yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Well, have fun. If anybody can pull them out, you can. It's a tough band for sure, and, and there's no question about that. All right, Dave. Uh, I thought it was quite strange that uh, Terry couldn't hear you. <laughs> I actually got a chuckle out of that. Yeah. Isn't that, well, you know, I, I'm not using anything special today, just the bat wing. So that's not the best antenna for him, especially on poor conditions. And how much power? Uh, the legal limit. Uh, there you go. That'll melt wire. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. All right, buddy. Later. WA3GIN, November Julia 2 Uniform Sierra. And this, I'm sorry. Nope, that's it. That was just a sigh. Because <laughs> I hit the box button now. All right. <laughs> This is the East Coast Amateur Radio Service, top of the hour. Name is Jeff, Juliet Echo Fox Fox. If you're hearing my signal, it's coming from Cape May County in southern New Jersey. It's the legal limit. The transmit antenna is a 600-foot horizontal loop. Set with balanced feed line, it sits about 65 feet above the ground over top of a cedar swamp. Here in the Pine Barrens of South Jersey. If you're having trouble hearing me, it ain't me. I'm doing everything the law allows me to do here. Any mobiles? Mobiles at the top of the hour. Any mobiles? Let me listen real quickly for these QRP stations. Little radios, fellas, just the little ones. You know, the 705s, the Zygus, the 815s, the little Elecrafts. Uh, none of the big radios. Don't dare turn that power knob down. There's just no point in doing that. So I'm listening for little radios only. Battery power, you're out in the field. Or you're in the shack testing a battery-powered radio. Uh, low power is the key here. 10 watts or less QRP. NJ2 US free cars. Any relays? All right, probably a lot of Philadelphia fans out there with hangovers from uh, yesterday. It was a great game. Eagles defeated the uh, New York Midgets. 38 to whatever. It was just a wipeout. And uh, everybody had doubts, including me. I don't know if they could pull this off, but everybody's healthy. And uh, we're, we're on our way. We're on our way to the Super Bowl. Anybody anywhere, free cars, uh, check-ins are welcome. I only ask that you give me your call sign just one time and do it phonetically. That's a big help for me. November Julia 2, Uncle Sam E-Cars. Kilowatt Charlie 1, Mike Romeo. Wow, that's just you, Ray. KC1MR, 5-9. Thank you very much. I'm, I have serious uh, internet problems. I'm running around 500 watts, so... Uh, Thank you very much for picking me up. And how are you doing this morning, Jeff? Oh, I'm doing absolutely marvelous, Ray. Thank you for asking. And uh, the signal still Q5 and 5 to 10 dB over S9, no problem at all, on a very crappy band, Ray. Hope you have a great day. Yeah, thank you very much. Enjoy the day. Casey, you want to mark there? 
any other check-ins for the East Coast Amateur Radio Service, November Julia 2, uniforms here. United X-Ray Golf. Bravo Julia Golf. All right, uh, there's a Victor Echo 3 in there. Then I have a Uniform X-Ray Golf, uh, Lima Delta Mike, and Bravo Juliet Golf. Thank you, fellas. Let's take them in this order. Who's the Victor Echo 3? Yeah, good morning, Jeff. It's Tango Juliet Delta. Uh, the name is Ed Tango Echo Delta Delta. And uh, located uh, about 60 miles southwest of Toronto. Yeah, the fact that normally you're 20 over when I hear you. And uh, you're, 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 you're struggling to get up to a 5x7, so, yeah, the band's not in great shape. Just always check in and uh, see how you're doing, Jeff. Yeah, very similar to yesterday, Ted, uh, but your Q5 here on the uh, low noise antenna is uh, really having trouble hearing you on the transmit antenna, that big loop. Don't don't uh, don't be fooled by big antennas up high. They do not necessarily receive very well. They transmit well, but they do not necessarily receive well. I barely hear you on a 600 foot horizontal loop at 65 feet. You are Q5 on a shared apex loop that sits four feet off the ground. So go figure, Ted. Have a great day. Yeah, you too, Jeff. Yeah, I find out that the uh, the loops, the lower they are, the uh, higher the angle of radiation for for local chatter. So yeah, no, it's a, it's a lot of sense. Anyway, Jeff, have a great weekend, and uh, we'll chat to you. Thanks, Ted73 from Ontario. Next up, Uniform X-Ray Golf. Good morning, Jess. Kittle Bravo 2, United X-Ray Golf. It's many in Orange County. Drop by to say hello, and you said a crappy band. You're down to just bed over nine. Your signal is 20 over. Not today. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Manny. Your Q5, um, peaking about S7, S8, depending on which S meter. When I give an S meter reading, I'm giving you the one that reads the highest because I'm looking at looking at three uh, three meter readings here for depending on uh, receive two receivers and three antennas. Manny, thank you. Uh, have a great day. KB2UXG from Newburgh, New York, NJ2US. Uh, next up, W8 Lima Delta Mike. Okay, Mike. Yeah, Q4 copy. Probably the lightest I've ever heard you in the history of working you um, over a couple of years, of course. Uh, but uh, ironically, the, the noise floor is relatively low, so I heard everything. I heard everything. So just very, very light signal. Mike, thank you for being there. 847-700 watts to the mini dipole. It's getting through to New Jersey. 73 to you, Mike. Clear with W8LDM. Next up, uh, Bravo, Juliet, Goff. Yes, good morning, Jeff. A Kilo Charlie 1 Bravo Juliet Golf, E cars 10405. Signals are kind of light today. Hopefully, you're hearing me all right. Congratulations on the victory last night, Roger. Joe, thanks a lot for that. I got to say, you know, the Giants had really pumped themselves up. I mean, they have been performing so well, and quite frankly, they played that game well. Um, and I think it can be honestly said, without uh, all the rivalry set aside, I think the um – I, mean, I just think the Eagles are firing on all five or six of those cylinders because that game was won by about four or five players, right, on Philadelphia. So Lane Johnson, quarterback, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, geez, I can't, I'm, I'm so excited. I can't even remember, you know, uh, um, A.J. Brown, um, uh, all, the, all those uh, wide receivers. Uh, man, they just were, uh, you know, there was doubt whether they could pull it all together in time to, uh, you know, get hooked back up. But I got to tell you, you know, very few mistakes made on made on either side, right? The Giants uh, did very well. You know, it wasn't it wasn't a penalty riddled game. Uh, the officials got to, had to fall asleep almost, Joe. Uh, you certainly did uh, put the Giants to rest. That's for sure. Um, maybe we'll see you again next year. Hopefully, uh, Jeff, you have a good rest of your day. Uh, a little bit more.
of football to watch today. And uh, we'll catch you during the week sometime. 7-3. KC1, BJ, G, New Hampshire. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. I hope we, uh, I hope we get to meet the Cowboys. Uh, I really do. I hope we get to meet the Cowboys. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, great time for football. Uh, no surprise this time every year. This is what it's like, and I always look forward to it. Joe, thank you so much. Appreciate the football chatter. We'll take care, and we will see you guys uh, next year for sure. One zero four zero five. Uh, Joe's up in New Hampshire with a good signal. He's five eight today. KC one BJG. November Julia two uniforms here. Pausing for mobiles. Any mobiles for you cars? Whiskey Alpha 1, Yankee, Yankee, Quebec. Hey, Dan, a little late today, but I do have you Q5, WA1YYQ, and J2US. That's good morning. Yeah, the band is really not so good, so I just wanted to come in and say hello. I'm getting more local noise than I am hearing your uh, the fellow ham operators that are checking in with you, but you sound really good. I got you about uh, S5. Anyway, good morning. Just wanted to say hello. I'm mobile this morning uh, this morning or this afternoon now, and I uh, hope everything's good. 73, have a good day. Uh, WA1YYQ Mobile. Thanks, Dan. Solid copy. Yeah, but very, very light compared to... Uh other days, yeah, Dan's very, very depressed, but it is a, it's a great hearing you. Uh, Dan's a member, of Lifetime 1687. Have a great day, Dan, and a mobile, and safe travels to you. Thank you, Jeff. 73, be well. Any other mobiles for e-cars? Oh, we'll take check-ins from anybody anywhere. No membership required. November, Julia, two uniforms here. Whiskey 8, Romeo, November, Echo. K1, T with honey. Kilo, Bravo 8, Mike, Quebec, Romeo. Kilo, Bravo 3, Mike, Bravo, Papa. All right, Whiskey 8, Romeo, November, Echo, Kilo 1, Tango, Whiskey Hotel, Kilo Bravo 8, Mike, Quebec, Romeo, and Kilo Bravo 3, Mike, Bravo, Papa. Anybody else? Uh, w8 Romeo November Echo. Hello, Rick. NJ2 US W8 RNE. Uh, good uh, morning or good afternoon, Jeff. Uh, boy, I'll tell you what. Sounds like you're running QRP. <laughs> sounds like you're running QRP here. Uh, you uh, got you about five five, and you almost made it out on me a couple times. It's kind of uh, weird. Uh, must be having a solar situation. Yeah, I think we are, and you're only about an S6, <laughs> not quite the benchmark. Well, actually, you're still a benchmark, right, because I can judge I can judge the band based on what I hear from you. And when you're only S7, you know what that means, Rick. We are hurting you. Hey, Roger, Roger. All right, so I just want to jump in there, say uh, good afternoon, have a great Sunday, Jeff, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you again soon. Uh, NJ2US, W8RNE, 8320 on the roster. Yeah, and I just took a peek at the um I just took a peek at the um um the D D region absorption map and it is thick and we just experienced an M class flare uh recently here an M class and, and because the sun is directly overhead uh it's impacting us dramatically because of the sun's you know where we are in relation to the face of the sun and that M class flare fired off and if you look at that D region absorption map, and fellas, if those of you don't know about it, just Google D region absorption. There's a live map there put out by the Space Weather Prediction Center, uh, and it, it updates every 15 to 20 seconds. It's absolutely cool to watch, and it'll show you with a color heat map of where impact from solar radiation is impacting HF global communications. So very, very cool. Rick, have a great day. All right, Jeff, you do the same, my friend. We'll talk to you later. Next up, Kilo One Tango Whiskey Hotel. Yeah, good morning, Jeff. Glad to get in here. I've eaten in and out. I've got an S9 Plus from a neighbor's house this morning. Sounds like fried eggs coming on and off. Probably one of those, uh, um, <clears throat> maybe it's an electric dryer, maybe a new electric dryer with the, uh, no filters on the uh, control SDRs. So, uh, very good morning, and I'm not hearing too much. I'm hearing you just barely, and then up and down. But uh, put 1556 in the log, and I'll mark it as a check-in. Uh, NJ2 US, with the noise, K1P with honey. Oh, yeah, Tom, we met the minimum required for a good QSO. You're 5 and 8 here, 58. 
And thank you for being a lifetime member. 1556 from Middleborough, Massachusetts. Not a great band today. Not a great band. You take care, Tom. But Q5, I heard you uh, entirely. No issues whatsoever. K1, TWH, NJ2, US. Break with Tom. Next up, Kilo Bravo 8, Mike Quebec, Romeo. Yeah, just Google a D region absorption. So that's the letter D, delta, a region absorption map, a D region absorption. And it's a, you're going to get a web page. It's not an easy web page to write out because it's one of them long, long strings. Uh, but it's, it's from the NOAA.gov. Just Google up D region absorption and you'll see a very cool map there. It's called current space weather conditions. It's very cool. to that map on the uh, on the New Jersey to United States streaming page NJ2US live at youtube.com where you can watch my studio be streaming eCars live and in the uh, text message uh, chat section there I put a link to the uh, D region map so if anybody wants to get to it that way that's another cool way to doing it right now there's only one person watching uh, that stream um, check it out we'll see more people log in and watch the live stream of eCars that's there every single day we've been streaming eCars live for over two and a half years now youtube.com type in nj2us live and look for the live broadcast all right thank you brent 73 signals are way down your q5 but about an s5 uh, kb8 mqr next up uh, kilo bravo 3 mike bravo papa this is Kilo Bravo 3, Mike Bravo Papa. Name is Zach, Zulu Alpha Charlie Hotel. 30496 for life on the roster. And uh, I'm happy to report I am that one guy watching the uh, YouTube video right now. I always watch that. I enjoy it and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so I, I'm number one, I guess. But, uh, anyway, thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. Uh, 34 degrees and cloudy. I guess we got winter weather coming here in northeast Pennsylvania. I got the wood stove blasting. I'm um, hanging out with the dog and trying to figure out what I'm going to make for dinner. Other than that, not much going on. Uh, thanks for picking me up. Uh, KB3, MVP, back to net. Hey, very good, Zach. Well, thank you for being my one watcher. <laughs> That's very cool. I see uh, one one user is uh, watching the page. And uh, did that link come into your chat window for that page for the D region absorption map? I don't know. Um, I watch it on my uh, YouTube on my phone. I don't know if mine really does that. Um, I'm just watching the video as normal. I don't see anything um, that I normally wouldn't see. So I don't know if that answers your question. I'm not real savvy with all that. But uh, anyway, I am watching. Okay, very good, Zach. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, there is a chat section on there. Maybe you have to scroll up or down due to the limited screen real estate on the smartphones. But very good. Thank you so much for tuning in, and a uh, good 5-7 uh, signal here despite the poor van conditions. Take care. 73 to Zach in Honesdale, Pennsylvania, 30496. He's a lifetime member of KB3 MBP. Any other check-ins for these Coast Amateur Radio Service, please call November Julia 2, Uniform Sierra. Whiskey 2, Bravo, Uniform Delta. November 3 Alpha, Quebec. All right, W2 Bravo Uniform Delta, November 3 Alpha, Quebec. Anybody else? November 3 Lima Alpha Delta. November 3 Lima Alpha Delta, let's hold it right there. First up is Buddy W2 Bravo Uniform Delta. I was speaking with, I believe it was uh, uh, days before, I'm, I'm not sure, but I said I had RF in my audio. I just switched to a different radio and a different uh, whole setup. Do I still have RF in my audio, if you can help me? Uh, buddy, no RF detected here on your signal, and I did hear you earlier talking to Dave, and there was a hint, just a hint of RF. I didn't think it was dramatic. And I doubt very few people would have called it out to you, but you do sound clear at the moment. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll 
Okay, thank you. I can't thank you guys enough for helping me. And it's, uh, taking around you bet, buddy. No problem. It's poor bank conditions today, so I can't I can't really um, critically analyze your your field. Uh, for, for somehow a reason, buddy, I double with you, and I don't know if it's because you faded out and it sounded like you turned it over to me, or uh, we just had a timing issue there. In any event, buddy, thanks for checking in. Your signal's fine. Thank you so much. Seventy three. All right, take care, buddy. Uh, Buddy's 20809, lifetime member, W2 Bravo Uniform Delta. Next up, November 3, Alpha, Quebec. Hello, hello. Good morning. I'm uh, running barefoot today. I'm, I've got my uh, other linear turned on here, and uh, I only have so much current in this shack, so uh, uh, nothing on. I'm just uh, running uh, oh, 160 watts here. So I uh, sounding good here. The band stinks today, so uh, I would just enjoy what you can of it. NJ2 USN for you. I think that's great advice, Ray, because it really is very poor conditions. And uh, I can tell you that the uh, D region absorption map is showing is showing that the impact of the M class solar flare is contracting, and uh, conditions should improve here uh, in just a few moments as the uh, as the heat map clearly shows the center of. Uh, target area of where the sun is impacting the ionosphere the most over the equator uh, is shrinking. Uh, so it, in uh, the northern uh, latitudes here, it should start to improve. Ray, uh, 30825, a lifetime member of ECARS. Have a great day. Comment. Uh, who's the comment? Hey, Jeff, it's just Rick, W8RNE. Uh, your link is on there. I just want to let you know that. Okay, it, it did come in there. Very good. I just didn't know whether YouTube would filter out links or whatever. So thank you. For, thanks for that, Rick. Appreciate it. Um, w 8 R N E N J T U. Sorry, next up, November 3, Lima, Alpha Delta. Yeah, hi, Jeff. November 3, Lima, Alpha Delta. Chuck near Northern Cambria, Cambria County. Uh, 34 degrees here, Jeff. Uh, I'm just uh, playing around in the shack, actually uh, studying for my extra class license today. And wanted to hop on and say hello. You have a very nice signal, 20 over S9 here at the home QTH. And uh, we won't hold it, Jeff. We'll turn it back to you. Thanks for picking me up today. NJ2US and 3LAD. Also, ECAR's membership number, 30723. Chuck, very good. Thank you so much for checking in. I appreciate it. 30723, lifetime member. Good 5-8 signal from Pennsylvania this afternoon. Uh, I've heard you stronger, but despite the poor bank conditions, you're propagating to the Jersey Shore very nicely. 73, Chuck. All right, 73, Jeff. Have a good day. All right, and uh, yeah, seven people are now looking at that live link. Thanks for that. It's always fun to watch that. We turn that on every day. Uh, I close it at the end of the day because uh, YouTube would allow one big file, but that would just be cumbersome to try to find a previous QSO. So I do break it up by day. YouTube.com. Search for my call, NJ2US. Look for the live broadcast. You'll see one there for each day, each day of the week, uh, going back two and a half years. Kind of fun. Let's go back and play your QSO back and see what you sound like on that. Flex 6400, it's got really nice audio response. I have the receive bandpass filter. Pulled out to around 3.4 kilohertz or so. I remember maybe 3.3, which gives everybody a good opportunity to hear what you sound like. In, uh, other than some of the pinched environments some of the SDRs do unless you make adjustments. Anybody anywhere for e-cars, call NJ2US. November Alpha 1 X-Ray. November 2, November two Alpha Romeo Alpha Romeo X-Ray. All right, I got November Alpha 1 X-Ray, November Echo Juliet. I have a Zulu Yankee. I heard uh, Papa Hotel X-Ray, and I heard Romeo Victor. Who else? Peter Bravo 3 Hotel Echo Mike. All right, Kilo Bravo 3 Hotel Echo Mike to the top of the list. Joe, how are you? 5-9, NA1X. Well, good afternoon to you, Jeff. It's nice to hear you this uh, afternoon. Call is NA1X. The name is Joe. I'm located in Agawam, Massachusetts, with an eCars number of 10099. Back to you, sir. Thanks, Joe. Uh, one of the stronger signals I'm hearing on the band, good propagation between you and I, but that just tells you that when the band's great, you're always up there 2015 
uh, 15, 20, 25 DB over S9. Joe, 10099 from Agawam, and thanks a lot for checking in. Have a good day. You too, 73. All right, Victor Echo 3, November Echo Juliet, November Juliet 2 uniform, Sierra. How are you hearing me today? Uh, not too bad, Jeff. Uh, about a flood effect. Carrie here in Kitchener, Victor Echo 3, November Echo Juliet, just at 31 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, th- uh, 41 here, 41 down at the Jersey Shore. And uh, uh, your Q5, a uh, little better than when I heard you talking to Dave. It was really bad then, but that was when that M class flare fired off. And now. Anybody watching the uh, D region absorption map, you can see about every 20, 30 seconds, it'll update. And the heat map where the bomb dropped there on the equator uh, in the path of the sun, it's uh, the flare is subsiding and the conditions are returning to normal. Uh, at least here in the United States, they're still having some issues down there in South America when you look at that map. All right. Uh, thanks so much, Terry. Anything else? No, that's it, Jeff. Uh, my noise level is way down today, but so is your place. You're about an after four, but uh, 100% copy. So three, brother. Thanks for picking me up. BB3 NEJ. Thank you, Terry. Have a great day. Uh, Zulu Yankee. Hi, Jeff. Kilo 4 Echo Zulu Yankee. Rocky down here. Where it's an all blink day down in Apex, the peak of semi good living. We got around, if I say, 44 degrees and cloudy skies and a bunch of rain over. Yeah, kind of dreary here as well. It's uh, overcast, no precipitation, winds are light and variable, temperature 41 degrees Fahrenheit. And- it's winter time, so we'll take the 41, you know, because it could be worse here in the uh, towards the end of January. Rocky, we're going to get some, uh, we're going to get a cold spell uh, beginning of the week. It's going to get really cold here for a lot of folks, and that's going to stretch uh, quite some time. We're going into the cold time, so hope you've been saving propane, natural gas, wood, or oil, however you're heating your home, because you're going to need it. We're going to get that cold, but I got two racks of firewood, and I'll probably use a few sticks a day over. Yeah, I would imagine you guys are going to get some blasts, too. You're going to get a blast down there, and uh, I mean, you're not going to see. Uh you're not going to see single digits, but it's going to get chilly for what you're used to. Rocky, take care. Good signal, 40173. Have a great day. Appreciate it, Jeff. I'm certainly prepared to bring it on. K4, easy, wise, clear. You bet. Good attitude. Take care, Rocky. Next up, Papa Hotel X-Ray. November 2, Papa Hotel X-Ray. This is John in uh, Tom's River. John, welcome aboard. Thanks for checking in. Last chatted with you back in December. You are you got a five seven signal today down in Cape May. Any traffic, sir? No traffic. Just checking out. Just checking things out. Good job, John. Uh, mission accomplished. Seventy three. Have a great day. We'll get you on the next one. W two PHX November Julia two uniforms here. Next up, Romeo Victor. Hey, good afternoon, and to Romeo Mike Victor, John up in Syracuse. Hi, Jeff. Uh, thanks for the. Uh, I heard that comment from Dave earlier. I checked in with him. I don't know why the other guy didn't hear it. Uh, but uh, interesting, interesting. Uh, touche for both sides of the uh, of the uh, car uh, electric versus uh, uh, combustion. But anyways, good morning. Yeah, John, very good. Well, I did some quick research, too, just to come up to date on a little bit. It's not fair to cite statistics like that without really putting it in perspective. And, of course, you can't really – you can't count total number of fires because of the uh, – you know, there are millions and millions of combustion engines out there and relatively few, comparatively speaking, electric uh, electric vehicles. And so uh, – Electric vehicles grab the headlines, so there's a perception that there's more fires in electric cars. Right now, you have to kind of do the statistics based on the number of vehicles, right? So we do the same thing in aviation with regard to accidents. You know, how many fatalities per every 100,000 hours of flying time, right? So that's that's the way you have to do this. And by far, uh, even even the uh, internal combustion engines that burn uh, that burn fossil fuel. Uh, do seem to have, uh, you know, three to 5,000 fires per 100,000 vehicles sold. 
Uh, electric vehicles are much lower again, but you can only, you know, you don't know who to trust, what to read. Everybody has an agenda. I mean, everybody has an agenda. There is no such thing as a neutral source of information. It does not exist. And one is being quite naive if you're reading something online and taking that to be some kind of truth. Because the reality is everybody has a motive, right? It's usually the dollar, right? On this side of the planet, it's the dollar. So everything anybody says is prefaced on what it'll mean to them in terms of a profit. So, John, it's all BS. It's all BS. All I can tell you is that I know firefighters who tried to put fires out on lithium batteries, and it's not easy, John. It's not easy to put out a lithium battery fire. I didn't record. Well, we've got that recorded. You've got it recorded. That was beautiful. I love it. And I'll give you a statistic. I don't care what you say about airplanes. The Mooney is still the safest, according to my nephew. Over. <laughs> I tend to agree. Uh, it is a ruggedly built aircraft. It's one of the few airplanes, and here's the reason, John. It's got a carry-through spar on the wing. It's the only airplane out there in the general aviation fleet that when you have to take it apart... You don't disconnect the wings. You physically have to lift the fuselage off of a single spar wing. That is the source of the strength in a Mooney. Oh, Roger. And how about that? I think it's got like a NASCAR roll cage tubing. Oh, on and on. Jeff, you're, that was awesome, man. Uh, appreciate it. Copy uh, QSL on the Bravo Sierra stat statisticians. St statisticians. Statistics. I'm a plumber. Got to go. And two. <laughs> John, John, very well said. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the kind comments. And, yes, the Mooney also has an integrated uh, um, a roll cage. Uh, and all those things were safety trade-offs. You know, of course, what we have to give up for that is a little bit of extra weight than that airplane could have probably used, but it does contribute to overall passenger safety. The single spar carry-through wing route. And the roll cage construction of the cabin. Very good, John. 73, thank you. 20994, lifetime member. Beautiful signal from Syracuse, New York. Clear with N2, Romeo Mike Victor. Next stop, Kilo Bravo 3, Hotel Echo Mike. This is Kilo Bravo 3, Hotel Echo Mike Bob in Butler, Pennsylvania. we got about 31 degrees here, cloudy skies. So it's chilly, not too bad for this time of year. But uh, I'll send it back to you, over. Hey, Bob, very good. Q5 copy from Butler, Pennsylvania. Appreciate you being there. Appreciate you being a regular check-in. We last chatted as recently as the 21st of January. Hope you have a great day. Roger, you do the same. Anybody else for the East Coast Damage Radio Service? Check-ins welcome. Call November Julia 2, Uncle Sam. Uh, Jeff, please check in November 4, Papa Lima Charlie. Papa Lima Charlie, stand by. Who are the others? Any other check-ins, free cars? I only got one out of that. There was about three or four of you. I heard N4 PLC. Who are the others? Try again. November 3, that's Echo Tango. Uh, Victor Echo Tango. Anybody else? Is there any relays? N4 Papa Lima Charlie. Go ahead, Phil. Hey, uh, Jeff, and it's very, very rainy here today. The visibility is way down, and uh, it uh, looks like it's going to be rainy uh, for some time. Anyway, it's nice to be here. First time I've, I've been back with you on this frequency for a few days, a few weeks, and it certainly is. I, I'm glad to have you. I certainly enjoy having you here. Anyway, I'll see you later, number 4859. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, thanks, Phil. Great to hear you, too. We last chatted, if you can believe this, it was December 4th in uh, last year. So 4859, a lifetime member, and um, it's a good day to go out there and shoot some approaches. <laughs> 4859, a lifetime member. 73, Phil. Yeah, okay. All right, next up, November 3, Victor Echo Tango. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is November 3, Victor Echo Tango. Bruce in Frederica, Delaware. E cars two zero zero nine three. I just thought I would uh, jump in here. I've been listening to you on the monitor here uh, and watching your the signals and everything. Hey Bruce, great! I just looked at the map. Thirty seven miles away. You uh, you live right along the bay? Yeah, not too far, Frederica. I'm just south of Dover Air Force Base. Yes, around Route One. Oh, OK. 
Okay, so uh, so on the way to kind of like Rehoboth and whatnot, uh, do you, do you see any presidential traffic pass by your neighborhood occasionally? Oh, once in a while we do. Uh, like I said, I'm just I'm not quite to Rehoboth. I'm before Milford. Um, it's between Dover and Milford, actually, just south of the Air Force Base. All right, Bruce. Very good. 73 to you. And, uh, yeah, I never really, I, you know, of course, I always had a clue where Frederick was, but uh, I'm looking at it in terms of distance from my QTH at 37 miles. That's a pretty short contact right across the bay. Uh, Bruce, have a great day. Thank you. 73. Nice to uh, carry you in there today. Thanks for being that control there. We're clear. Oh, my pleasure, sir. Thank you. This is November Julia 2 Uniform Sierra, the East Coast Amateur Radio Service. Look us up on the Internet. We have a membership program, and we really like members. Uh, some great news. Uh, after a, um, uh, a total study of what we did last year, uh, the East Coast Amateur Radio Service contributed over $9,000 to various grants and scholarship programs that we analyzed throughout the year. And I can also tell you that 99.9% .9 of membership uh, fees go directly towards those programs. We have very, very few and very, very little overhead costs. Of course, everybody that runs eCars is a volunteer. And all of that goes towards our grants and scholarships. And we participate with many organizations, including the AWRL, to award uh, these grants and scholarships. Uh, the, the scholarship re recipients are all licensed radio amateurs pursuing advanced degrees. And they apply for the uh, and compete and compete, and, they're, and it's a competitive process where we award scholarships and we also pick notable uh, uh, technology-based organizations that have a goal of licensing radio amateurs, and we award grants. So it's a it's a big deal for eCars, and we want to thank everybody for allowing us to do what we did last year. Over nine thousand dollars contributed to uh, furthering the mission of uh, amateur radio operators everywhere. Join us if you can. Go to eCars, eCars7255.com, and uh, we have memberships available. That's where all the numbers come from. But numbers never required to check in. Anybody anywhere for eCars, please call November Julia 2 uniforms here. Whiskey America 2, Foxtrot, November, Quebec. All right, a big pile up. We really started up with that one. Uh, it was a big one, but I, I did hear a mobile. But I, let me tell you who I did get. We'll go out and take another sweep. Kill three uniform Bravos in there. I heard WA2, Fox, November, Quebec. Who's the mobile? Kilo 4, Lima, Frank, Charlie, Mobile. All right, Lima, Frank, Charlie, Mobile. Stand by. Are there any other mobiles? All right, eCars always gives priority to mobiles. It's part of our charter going back to our start in 1968. It started as a mobile service. Uh, first up, the mobile, K4 Lima Fox Charlie. much overhead and drizzly and just an overall pretty uh, nasty day for some. Anyway, back over to you, Jeff, see how you copy. NJ2 US, Kilo 4, Lima, Frank, Charlie, Mobile. All right, in North Carolina, K4, Lima, Fox, Charlie, and uh, what name do you go by? Yeah, I go by Leo, Lima, Echo, Oscar, Leo, QSO. Roger that, Leo. Thanks a lot for checking in from the mobile. It's a good signal, Q5. I didn't miss a word. Signals are very depressed today. We had an M-Class flare just a short time ago, and it really put a dent in propagation here on the HF the bands. Uh, however, that flare is uh, contracting, and uh, each moment the band gets a little bit better. Leo, do you have anything we can do for you? Any traffic or anything to report? No, not really. Just was uh, copying the mail here for a while, and I figured I'd jump in there and see if you all are copying me. I, uh... Jeff, I just picked up uh, about 11 acres of property. I'm trying to decide what type of antenna system to put up there, and I believe you said you had some sort of loop. I was wondering if on your QRZ page you elaborate a little bit more on the antenna system that you have there. QSL? 
Oh, yeah. I elaborate uh, ver verbatim on my QRZ page over the receive antenna systems here, which include a, uh, a shared apex loop all pushed out in the forest about 600 feet and beyond. And beyond that, uh, also listening on uh, uh, four 600-foot uh, beverages, beverage antennas, which perform absolutely fantastic all the way up to 20 and 15 meters, even, believe it or not, always outperform the receive capability of my transmit loop, which is the 600 foot horizontal loop up about 65 feet. So, Leo, check out the QRZ page. Everything you need to know is on there. All right, Leo, thanks for checking in. Signal holding up quite nicely from the mobile. All right, next up, uh, let's take the short list here real quick. We'll go back and get some more. But let's hear for, uh, from K3 Uniform Bravo. Is there a Kilo 3 uniform? A Kilo 2 uniform. Uh, full call? A Kilo 2 uniform, Papa India. I'm sorry, that full call sign phonetically again? A kilo 2 uniform, Papa India. Name and QTH? Name is Ken, Kilo Echo November, Bridgeport, New York, 20047. Hello, Ken. Great to uh, get you logged in here. Uh, K2 Uniform Papa India. Ken's in Bridgeport, New York. Lifetime member confirmed 20047, sir. Anything to report? Oh, good morning, Jim. I'm just listening to you and my friend John RMV discussing the attributes of, a, uh, of the Moonies. And I'm a Southern Beechcraft fan myself. I used to haul the mail on a Beach 1840 years ago. Oh, my goodness, Ken. That's uh, the bad old days. <laughs> well, thanks for your service, and I'm sure you enjoy, enjoy flying like the rest of us. And uh, that Mooney, for me, I owned it for 24 years, three engines, and then I finally decided, well, I got to get my money out of it. So I sold it mid-time because I just did not want to put the fourth engine in there, Ken, because that would have been – each time I put an engine in there, it was getting more and more expensive. Absolutely, copy that, not to mention the maintenance and everything on it. I used to like to do the uh, annuals a little bit ahead of time because it saved a lot of money as far as replacing parts. Anyhow, uh, yeah, those, those airplanes become good down payments for the sh shanty that we have here and uh, the place is paid for, and I'm not going anywhere, Jeff. Go ahead. You bet, Ken. Well, all the best to you and enjoy it. And um, it was the same thing for me. I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed flying. I still keep my hand in it. I'm very, I'm very current. My medical's current. My uh, instrument ticket is current. Um, and uh, but I'm flying other people's airplanes. So Ken, uh, 73. And I'll tell you what, an amateur radio makes up another good portion of my spare time, which I thoroughly enjoy. And I feel a lot safer sitting in the shack than I ever did at 5,000 feet in the middle of a storm in the Mooney. But it was still got me from A to B pretty safe. Ken, take care. Okay, Jeff, very good. Uh, yeah, we've got the tailwheel floats and uh, ski endorsements here, too. So a lot of fun years ago. We'll see you later, Jeff. K2UPI73. You bet, Ken, and I'm sure when you dream, every now and again you're uh, you're, you're you're in the uh, flight deck. I'm sure it happens to me all the time when I dream. I don't have nightmares. I have dreams of flying airplanes. Take care, Ken. K2 UPI NJ2 US. Uh, next up, WA2 Fox November Quebec. Hi, Jeff. This is WA2 FNQ. My name is Terry. I'm in North Port, Long Island. E car is number two one one four seven. And I uh, just want to thank you for putting the recordings of the live stream up on uh, YouTube, man. They're very handy for troubleshooting. Go ahead. I'm glad you enjoy it, Jerry. It's fun putting it up there. Um, the rig, uh, the rig is basically used by me for most of my remote operations. I thoroughly enjoy logging into that Flex 6400 with my iPhone and my iPad wherever I am. It's always on, and and during the day, I just dedicated to uh, streaming eCars. And because it's a Flex, I can actually log in in another slice and still use the radio for other things while it's streaming um, while it's streaming eCars on YouTube. So very, very cool. And uh, I enjoy doing it, and I'm glad you get some use out of it, Jerry. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. It's uh, really good, and thanks for everything. Have a good day, 7-3. This is WHSNQ. Thanks, Jerry. Good 5-8 signal, 21147. He's a lifetime member from Northport, New York, WA2FNQ, November Juliet 2 uniforms here. Any other check-in? Kilo 1, Romeo, Charlie. Whiskey 3, Sierra Mike, Kilo. 
get to on that sweep. W3 Sierra Mike Kilo, Steve, stand by. Let me go to the number one on the list, uh, John Kilo One Romeo. Charlie, welcome to E-Cars. Yeah, good morning. Oh, good afternoon. My name is John Jagosha and Henry Nancy. We're located in Drake at Mass, about 30 miles northwest of Boston, right on the New Hampshire border. No traffic, just thought I'd check in, put another point on the uh, on the list, and uh, I'll be listening for a while, so anything coming my way, I'll uh, see if I can handle it and uh, help somebody out. Go ahead. Thank you, John. Appreciate that. That's what it's all about. A good 5-9 signal down here into Cape May, New Jersey. Last time we chatted was some time ago, believe it or not, December 28th of 2019, John. Heck, the whole pandemic went by last since the last time I talked to you. Yeah, I know. Well, uh, a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of water's gone under the bridge. But uh, uh, I, I just want a, a quick audio report. I'm using one of these little uh, QRP radios into a companion amplifier running about 90 watts here. Uh, and uh, uh, this is about the first uh, sideband contact I've made with a gun. Yeah, well, actually, you know, John, considering what it is, the audio quality is all, I'm going to put it in the communication quality category. Nothing objectionable about it all. There's a bit of hollowness to it, but it's not dramatic. In fact, here's a little snippet. See what you make of this. It's a companion amplifier running about 90 watts here. Uh, so hopefully that will give you a little perspective of what you sound like here at NJ2US. It sounds good. <laughs> I didn't think my voice sounded that good on the air. All right, I'll let you get back to business, and uh, I'll be listening here for a while, and uh, anything coming my way, just give me a yell. K1RC. Thank you, John. Glad you came back. Come back. Don't be a stranger. Appreciate it. And good luck with that little uh, that little SDR radio. K1RC, NJ2US. Next up, W3, Sugar Mike Kilo. Yeah, w, uh, NJ2US, W3SMK. Good afternoon, Jeff, and everybody on eCars. Uh, uh, band's kind of quiet here today, but it, uh, your signal's coming in through real good. <laughs> As always, Jeff. Uh, name here is Steve, uh, Ellicott City, Maryland, 30751 for life here. Uh, kind of a dreary, cold day here. In fact, it was uh, had a little bit of sleety mixture in there when I was uh, just out a little bit ago. So uh, kind of a cold day, good day to be inside. So uh, good to hear you, Jeff, and hope everybody's having a good weekend. Uh, back to you, W3SMK. It's great to hear you too, Steve. And yep, our weather very similar to yours here at the Jersey Shore. Just damp, a little dreary, no precipitation falling at the moment. The temperature is actually not that bad, 42 degrees. It could be a lot worse. And uh, the winds are light and variable, so it's not biting out there. But you're right, it's a great day to be inside. Uh, no, not too many people make outdoor plans at this time of January. Uh, 73, Steve, and thank you for being a lifetime member. Take care. All right, 73, Jeff. Take care. W3SMK. This is East Coast Amateur Radio Service, your net control. November, Julia 2 uniform, Sierra. My name is Jeff. I'm in Cape May County, southern New Jersey. My card number is 2055. Any mobiles? Mobiles only? Any relays? I will listen for any station anywhere. Full call signs phonetically. November, Julia 2, uniforms here. Whiskey Alpha 2, Delta Victor United. Kilo, Kilo Charlie 2, Zanzibar, America. A little bit of a pile up there. I only grabbed two out of it. There was at least four or five in there, fellas. Don't put the microphones down yet. WA2DVU, I heard you. Uh, Kilo uh, Charlie 2, Zulu Alpha, I have you. Who are the other check ins? Kilowatt Alpha 1, Kilowatt Tango Tango. Kilo 4, Uniform Victor x -ray. Uh, Kilo Tango Tango, Uniform Victor X-Ray. There's a couple more. Try it again. All right, maybe not. Uh, WA2DVU, hello, Bill. Hey, good morning. Or, good morning. Good afternoon. Sounded good, Jeff. Uh, right before you asked for more, I thought I heard a very weak W4 in there. You might try that. Uh, the sal is working great. Have a good afternoon, my friend. We'll talk to you soon. WA2DVU. Yeah, yeah, very good. Okay, I may have missed it. So um, just up on the list is uh, Kilo Charlie 2 Zulu Alpha, uh, Kilo Alpha 1 Kilo Tango Tango, Kilo 4 Uniform Victor X-Ray. I'll pause again. Was there another station out there was trying to get in? They're off for a mic call in November 3, Mike Austin, November. 
All right, I got M3, Mike Oscar, November. Anybody else? Anything, Bill? Nope. Okay, thanks, Bill. Great to hear you. Hope uh, hope you're enjoying your day. You staying inside? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just getting ready to eat lunch or, I guess, dinner. Really looks dreary outside. Talk to you soon. Yeah, thick overcast, and uh, it's 42 up here. It's probably about the same where you are. Bill's uh, in Cape May Courthouse, Potato Island. He's 12 miles south of me. Good buddy. And uh, fellow net controller as well. Same radio, too. 20077, lifetime member, clear with WA2DVU. Next up, Kilo Charlie 2, Zulu Alpha. Hi, good afternoon, Jeff. My name is Rick, Romeo India Charlie Kilo, located in uh, uh, Walnutport, Pennsylvania, about 15 miles north of Allentown, Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, same kind of weather you got, kind of dreary, kind of blah, but yeah, it's January. You, you, you take what you get. But I was going to say, if you're in Cape May County, I, I love Cape May. Uh, I've been there a couple of times, one time on a sailboat, one of the best experiences of my life. Beautiful place to live. Uh, but just want to let you know, you have a beautiful signal. Uh, you're five nine out here into the Lehigh Valley. Uh, back to you, sir. Thanks, Rick. First time in my logbook. Beautiful five nine plus signal from Walnutport, Pennsylvania. Thanks for coming down to Cape May County and enjoying it down here. I grew up in Atlanta County, just to the north, and always enjoyed Cape May County. And after I retired, I moved down here to be closer to the airport and uh, to my XYL's place of business. She uh, works right here in town at the state medical examiner's office. So. The timing was right to come down here, and uh, we found some property here in the middle of the Pine Barrens on a lot of empty land and can put out any antenna I choose. That's fun. Rick, uh, glad you enjoyed a lot to offer in Cape May County, uh, the beaches, tourism, the restaurants, uh, the quiet areas inside the Pine Barrens, just a little bit of everything. Rick, thanks for checking in. Have a great day. You too, sir. Yeah, it's a beautiful area. Actually, as a kid, I grew up in Hunterdon County, up near Clinton, a wee bit north of where you're at. But uh, again, a beautiful area. Anyhow, seven three, Jeff. Thank you for getting me, and uh, have a great day. KC twos today. Back to you. The only thing that would make it perfect, Rick, is if we could separate it from our state's taxing system. That would be, <laughs> that would be wonderful. But we uh, pay through the nose to keep the government running. Mm -mm -mm. Rick, take care. KC2, Zulu Alpha, NJ2US. Next up, Kilo Alpha 1, Kilo Tango Tango. Uh, good afternoon, Kilo Alpha 1, Kilo Tango Tango, KA1KTT, Dave up here in North Adams. Northwestern Mass, Northern Berkshire County. Uh, looking out the window, it's uh, cloudy, overcast skies here. Temperature last I knew was about 28 degrees, or that was this morning. I don't think it's there moved uh, too much, maybe about 30 out there. But uh, anyways, uh, uh, winter storm warning in effect for this area. Snow likely uh, anytime, I guess, uh, around 7 p.m. here tonight. It's supposed to last uh, about 24 hours, I guess. So 7 uh, Monday. So anybody headed up towards the north uh, western part of Massachusetts here, prepare for that uh, wintry uh, snowstorm slant possible uh, little mix in there. 5 to 8 inches uh, plus, I guess they're saying there. And a uh, good day to actually to stay off the road <laughs> here Monday. Uh, 200 watts here with a Mark 5. Decided to fire this up there today, of course, with a large tar heel. Uh, you're 5 and 9 here. I've been listening to you for a little while. There, uh, I was out there in the uh, the couch out there. Uh, back to you, K1KTT, and uh, how copy? Uh, Dave, Q5 copy. Uh, quite nice signal from Massachusetts this morning. Five eight into Cape May County, New Jersey. Appreciate you being there. And okay, uh, so thanks for the heads up on the storm conditions. Didn't know that. Still no forecasted snow for Cape May. Take care, Dave. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I'm taking Monday off. <laughs> but we haven't got anything pressing going on Monday. It's good to stay right off the roads, let the plows do their thing. And I got a robo call there uh, to uh, City of North Adams, I guess, uh, clearing snow emergency. And, of course, uh, that doesn't really apply up here. We're at our uh, community up here at the uh, at the, uh, the mobile home park up here in the uh, plateau. But, uh, yeah, I got him in the driveway there as well. I got to go up, hurry gas up the snowblower out there. I used it twice. We overhauled the snow so she's running good. 1990 Bowens. They don't build them like that anymore. <laughs> Take care, K1KTT. 
Yeah, Dave, one of the best ways to uh, prevent a big snowstorm is to put your snowblower in perfect working condition, guaranteed to hold the storm off every time. 73, KA1, KTT, NJ2 US. Next up, Kilo 4, Uniform Victor X ray. What happened, Dave? You were pretty light when you checked in. Band's in poor shape. Let's listen again. K4 UVX, November Julia 2 uniforms here. Is anybody hearing them? Yep, I got you, Dave. You're back Q4 to 5. It's a very, very light. Band conditions are very poor. Go ahead. So why don't you try calling? It's Dave down in uh, North Carolina. Maybe he hears you. Oh, maybe Bill's not there. Dave, K4UVX, NJ2US, over. I, I couldn't hear him. Okay. Yeah, I only heard him on the beverage. That's all. He's usually S9 and plus series. The uh, band's really poor. Dave, one more try. Any copy on NJ2US? You are four and five, forty five, four or five, Dave. How copy? Okay, Dave, 73, and uh, you're probably not hearing me very well at all. I got you back Q4. I mean, it's almost Q5. I didn't miss a word, but I didn't want to. Uh, the Q5 would have probably been overkill. Thank you, Dave. 41097, Lake Lore, North Carolina. Clear with K4UVX. Next up, November 3, Mike Oscar, November. Yep, good afternoon. This is N3MLN. They hit the head Echo Delta. Located in Pennsylvania, little town here right in the middle of the state of Pennsylvania called Tyrone, between Altoona and the State College, PA. Roger. Yeah, Ed, your Q5 copy from Tyrone, Pennsylvania. Last time we spoke was back in 2019. It was the month of December, so thanks for coming back. Last time we uh, talked, uh, we didn't even know what a pandemic was. Over. Oh, yeah, Roger on that. Yeah, it's been a while, I guess. Huh? I listen a lot. I uh, check in once in a while. I check into a few nets on occasion. We got one here in the morning on two meters locally here. I check into that one. So I can't. Well, I get out of bed early enough. That's the problem. Go to bed late, get up late. So what can I say? Hey, I got weather here. I got 34 degrees and a little rain thing showing it's supposed to rain. So I don't know what's going to happen. It's clodding up out there. So it looks like we're going to get some here. Back to you. Yeah, it might be. Ed. It's all on the eastern seaboard. There's uh, layers of precipitation, low pressure systems, and uh, it could be a lot worse. It could be blizzard conditions. So we'll take what we got. Ed 73, N3 MON, NJ2 US. Um, anybody else? Free cars. Kilo Echo 2. Kilo Yankee 2, Kilo. Lima, Lima, Charlie. Kilo 8 Echo Zulu, Bravo. All right, a little bit of a pile up there. I'll tell you what I did get out of that. There was a Kilo Echo 2 who was then quickly covered up by Lehman, Lima Charlie. And then I heard Zet Uniform got you in there. And then also, Rick, you're in there. Kilo 8 Echo Zulu Bravo. Anybody else want to squeeze into this list? Kilo Charlie 1, Quebec, Papa, Papa. I think I heard Kilo Charlie 1, Quebec, Papa, Papa, possibly. Anybody else? All right, let's start with the Kilo Echo 2. Your full call. Yes, full call is Kilo Echo 2 Yankee Kilo. Name is Gary, Golf Alpharoma Yankee, located on Long Island, and just did a little bit of antenna work, and I was wondering if you could give me a signal report. Gary, it's not a good day to compare antennas. Trust me, the band is broken. Conditions are very poor. We're still suffering from a solar flare. So the signal report is going to be quite meaningless to you. Your Q5 is about the best I'll say. Do not try to compare signal reports using S units today. It's not going to work for you, Gary. So if you made antenna changes, average it out over the next day or so. Roger. Roger, Roger. Okay, well, very good. Thank you, and I appreciate that. Just real quick, the weather here is 40 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, overcast, and I'm about 60 miles east of the Big Apple on Long Island. Back to you. 
All right, Gary, out on Long Island. Sure, been there many times. Love the traffic jams. Carry 73, 2973, eCars member. It's been some time since you and I chatted. Our last QSO goes all the way back to August of 2016. Hope everything's all right. Wow, wow, wow. How about that? At least you have a log of it. Very good. Thank you very much. Everything is good on this end. Uh, just got back on the air after a few months of uh, some modifications here. Thanks again, 73, to everyone, and uh, have a great afternoon. 73, Gary. Thanks a lot for checking. Great to hear you again. Don't be a stranger and keep working on that antenna. Just try not to make any conclusions about it based on what you see, hear, or work today. It's just not going to be fair to, to the work you did. Uh, a lot of times we do antenna work. We go on the band and we seem disappointed. Then you find out later it was a very poor band day. And that's what today is. Very poor conditions. Very poor. Signal's very depressed today on 40 meters. 73, Gary. Next up, Lima, Lima, Charlie. Hey, Jeff. Good afternoon. Kilo 2, Lima, Lima, Charlie. Just got home from church. You, your signal is good down here, although I understand the band's pretty good. Pretty bad, my guess. So, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for doing this, and I uh, look forward to catching it again. NJ2 US, K2 Austin, 73 in Blisco. Thanks, Lynn. We appreciate that. Well, I'm using sheer brute force, legal limit, sideband up to the 600-foot loop antenna over the Cedar Swamp. If I can't get a signal out, I might as well just take the day off. Uh, but uh, And still, I've gotten a few poor signal reports today. Can't expect perfection every day. Really poor. We had a solar flare earlier. We're still getting the lingering results of that, Libwood. 20991, lifetime member. It's always a pleasure to get you in my logbook, sir. Have a good day. And you the same. Always a pleasure to chat. Catch you later. All righty, canines at you. Uh, Zulu uniform. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, November 2, U, uh, US VZ, <laughs> NJ2 US V3RZU in Hawkesbury, Ontario. Uh, you, you're just only 5 dB above S9, not your usual signal. I always copy you like 20 dB, but today is a special day. I am hardly here and anybody except you. You have a good signal into Hawkesbury, where we have a zero degree overcast, and it's supposed to have a bit of rain later on, but not much at all. So that's the way it goes here this afternoon. NJ2 US, to be sure of you. Oh, hi, Rudy. Sorry, correcting your call. I uh, typed in the wrong call sign. I have uh, Victor Echo 3 Romeo Zulu uniform now for you in Ontario. Thanks a lot for the report. Yes, confirming very poor band conditions today, but it's great to get you logged in, Rudy. Any other traffic? No, everything is all, all okay. I'm using um, a homemade amplifier using a single tree dash 400 and um, a four dash 400 rather, driving it with um, an old um, um, TS 940s, about uh, about four five hundred watts into the antenna. That's what we have. The antenna is still the ground plane, it's, uh, seven feet off the ground. There. Uh, go ahead. Well, it's doing a great job for you, Rudy. Thanks for checking in, and have a great day. VE3RZU, NJ2US. Kilo 8, Echo, Zulu, Bravo. Good afternoon, Jeff, from K8EZB, ECARS 8403 in Amherst, New Hampshire. You're seeing here today, I saw a 5.8 to 5.9 with loud audio. Not your usual 20 over, but uh, very, very good considering band conditions. We're spending some time today prepping for our second blast of winter in about as many days. The forecasts are calling for rain, 6 to 10 inches of heavy wet snow and ice. So we're getting the snow blowers fueled and at the ready and uh, looking forward forward to uh, dealing with us when it comes tonight. Nothing further for the net. 73. Take care, John. Yeah, Rick, how about that? So, um, yeah, you're, you're, you have a neighbor that uh, I chat with quite frequently uh, on 160 meters. Uh, he's a... He's a good friend that's been uh, been riding along on our uh, rag-chew net on 1855 every evening. Do you know Paul, uh, Whiskey One, Papa Echo Foxtrot? I, I know of Paul. I have worked him on the air once or twice, but uh, we've never met in person. Okay, yeah, he's over there on Chandler Lane, I guess, and I uh, don't know where you are. I can't imagine that Amherst is uh, that large, but very cool. Thanks a lot, Rick. Good to hear you. Good 5-9 signal, but yes, the band is depressed. Thanks for being a lifetime member, 8403. Have a good day, sir. 73, Jeff. And good luck with that weather. Holy smokes. Yeah, Paul was telling me about the snowfall that he just got the other day, and he's been trying to put a beverage antenna out there, and the weather's been fighting him. So well, good luck to him, and thank you, Rick, for checking in. Uh, last up is Kilo Charlie 1, Quebec Papa Papa. 
Kilo Terry wants to get Papa Papa. He tells number 10474. Just stopping in to say hello to everybody. We want to see Club, Massachusetts, checking out in the ocean. Today, uh, looking for a lot of rain. We're not looking at a lot of snow. And we usually stop for Cape Cod Canal. So, uh, you know, we should be all set to stay in some firewood. I will go put the trans chains on the uh, John Deere snowblower so that uh, just in case. I'll be ready. With that, I'll just say 73, we've got the next control, 31, two back, pop, pop, pop. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate the check-in from Cape Cod. Signal a little bit depressed, but I did have you Q5. I did not miss a syllable of that. Very nice indeed. 10474, you're good on the eCars roster, and uh, good luck to you, and uh, stay warm up there. Alan, anything else? Negative, just best wishes to all. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. 73 to KC1 QPP, November Julia 2 uniform share. We're going to be wrapping up eCars Leroy today. I got a lot of errands to run today. Uh, we normally would be going to 130, but I'm going to start just calling for what I like to refer to as last calls. So that way, uh, maybe we'll be out of here in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Anybody else for eCars? NJ2 US. Whiskey Bravo 3 at the league with back, Julia. All right, I got three out of the four. Uh, I heard November 1, X-Ray Yankee, WB3, India, Quebec, Juliet, W2, Goff, Papa Radio. Who are the others? Norway 1, X-Ray Yankee. All right. All right, fellas. Um all right, uh, M1XY, I had no problem hearing you, uh, Roger. I thought I read your call back, but maybe not. M1XY, WB3, IQJ, W2, Goth Papa Radio, uh, 2, Juliet Whiskey Whiskey, and uh, Lima, Lima Alpha. Who's the mobile, the mobile? Kilo 3, Lima Victor Charlie Mobile, over. Let me grab Clive, Kilo 3, Lima Victor Charlie, and the mobile. A little light today, Clive, but still Q5 copy. How many? Roger, Roger. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a whole lot late this morning. Um, uh, my wife's not feeling well, so I had to take care of her before I leave for work. So um, on my way out, on, to, on my way to work now, over. Okay, Clive. Well, safe travels. Thanks for getting in there and being the regular that you are. And uh, don't worry about your signal strength. It's a very bad band today. Very depressed. We had a solar flare, and it's really pushing the signal strength down. But I still have a good copy, Clive. Have a great day. Roger, Roger. All right, Jeff, no problem, man. Talk to you maybe tomorrow. Uh, Roger, and all the best to the YL. Hope she's feeling better, and I'm glad you were there for her, Clive. 73 to you. K3 LVC Mobile near Hagerstown, Maryland. A little running, a little late for work. NJ2US. Up to the top of the list, Roger. N1XY, you're 5'9". Uh, good afternoon, Jeff. Good afternoon, everybody on East Cars. N1XY, Roger here in southern New Hampshire, right on the southern border in the town of Nashua. 36 degrees. We got about a half a foot of snow on Friday. Uh, we got more coming over the night, uh, tonight uh, into tomorrow. So uh, they're predicting another half a foot uh, coming at us. Over? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> That's New England in the wintertime, and uh great place to visit, Roger. So far, we haven't had a snowfall yet down here at the Jersey Shore, but I think our turn is coming up. We'll probably see something in first or second week of February. Everybody's feeling it in their bones for sure. Roger, good luck. I hope it's just nothing but a nuisance. Yeah, me too. I hope so. Anyway, good to hear you. Good, strong signal as always, Jeff. Just wanted to run by, say good afternoon. Have a good day. N1XY. Bye-bye. Thank you, Roger. Have a great day, sir. Appreciate you being here. M1XY. NJ2US. All right, next up, WB3, India, Quebec, Juliet. Yeah, good afternoon, Jeff. Here's WB3, IQJ. Nice signal into uh, Central Pennsylvania this afternoon. You're still pushing about 10 over here. Not a whole lot going on. Just got home from church, grabbed a quick sandwich, and figured I'd come up here in the shack and check in. So, going to keep it short. I know you want to get out of here. The N3, yeah, N3, N2. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Excuse me, N2, or NJ2 US. I'll get it. WB3, IQJ. All yours, Jeff. Well, I admire your perseverance, Don, and you pulled it off. 30637, lifetime member. Always a pleasure, sir, and a good 5-9 signal from you today from the Commonwealth. Have a great day. WB3IQJ, November Julia 2 uniforms here. Continuing down our list, we got W2 Goth Papa Romeo. Good afternoon, Jeff. This is Whiskey 2 Golf Papa Romeo. Jamie here in New York. I'll 
playing some Pota today, and I am a member. I do have a number, but it's written on my desk, and I don't have it with me. Uh, just tuning around and making some video. We've got a uh, amateur radio military group, the Flag and Torch Society, and I wanted to get a little video and uh, to be your booming voice with a great signal here in the center of New York. So I uh, just wanted to check in, give you one of the numbers, and uh, moving along here, playing a little parts on the air and throwing the ball for my dog. This is Whiskey 2, Golf Pop Romeo. Thanks for doing all you do for our awesome time. Hey, very good, Jamie. Well, good luck with po uh, parts on the air and uh, your number. If you want to scribble it on your arm there, take the Sharpie, write down 21108. You won't need it anymore today, probably. But thank you for being a lifetime member, and uh, you be careful out there. Safe travels. Thanks so much. 21107373. Bye-bye. All righty. Let's see here. Next up, uh, two Juliet Whiskey Whiskey. Yeah, a little say the call again. Oh, John in Montreal. Okay, really light today, John. Q4. Occasionally the signal fades, but it's not you. It is the band. It's been very depressed all day. Thanks for checking in, John. Okay, very good. Heard that. VA2JWW, NJ2US. Lima, Lima Alpha. This is Whiskey Delta E, Lima, Lima Alpha. Name's Neo, Nancy Echo, and Neo Lima. How, how, how you read me? Neil, your Q5, uh, depressed band conditions today. Can't really say a lot about signal strength. Signals are way down, 50% uh, off they, what, what they should be. Uh, but other than that, I got a good copy, Neil. Any other traffic? No, I just, uh, you're a good 10 over here, and this is the quietest the band's been. I'm located in a small community of Brewster, Ohio. It's about seven miles west of Canton. And we, we've got snow. It's been snowing here. I went to a nursing home to visit a friend, and when I come out, there's like three inches of snow. Ah, so, uh, back to net control. Thanks for running the net and all you guys do for mid cars and that. Okay, Neil, thanks a lot for checking in. And, yeah, that is frustrating. You go somewhere, you're not really expecting it. You come out, you got to drive home, and you got to clean the snow off your car, and you don't have your snow scraper with you. And you know, then, you know, that, that half-hour trip turns into an hour and 45 minutes because everybody slips sliding around. What a mess. Neil, good luck to you. Safe travels. Take your time, and uh, we'll take we'll take you. Uh, we'll take your check in the next time you show up here. Seventy, seventy three to Brewster, Ohio. And by the way, this is me. Uh, this is E cars. Almost had me say mid cars. E cars. East Coast Amateur Radio Service. Seven two five five seventy three. Neil clear with WD eight L L A N J two U S. Last call for E cars. N J two U S. Hello, Charlie two Romeo Golf Whiskey. Hey, Chris R G W. Stand by. Who are the other ones? One Echo Sierra Lima. K1 Echo Sierra Lima. Was there somebody else? Any relays? All right, we're going to wrap it up with these two. KC2 RGW. Hello, Chris. Hey, Jeff. Good afternoon. Just popping in to say hello, checking in. Uh, great day up here. We got more snow coming and uh, nothing super exciting going on. Just a relaxing Sunday. But uh, you're only S9 to maybe five over, so shame on you today. The uh, band has been miserable all day sitting here listening. But uh, good to hear you, Jeff. NJ2US, KC2RGW. Yeah, there I go, taking it on the chin for Mother Nature. Uh, Chris, uh, doing everything I can, too. Um, the antenna is up there. It's solid. The amplifier watt meter says about 1,400 watts peak envelope power. I just don't know what else I can do, brother. Yeah, it's been bad all day. I've been listening along and, and keeping an eye on the band. We must have a lot of uh, delay or absorption as best I can figure. And it wasn't great yesterday either, to truth be told. Very, very strange conditions, probably uh, atmospheric. But uh, good to hear you, and uh, always always glad to hear you here on eCars, KC2RGW. 
You bet, Chris. Same here. It's always a pleasure. Thanks for stopping by to say hello on a Sunday. Thanks for being a lifetime member, and I hear you up and down the band. Sound always good, brother. Sound good. 21077 in Deering, New Hampshire. He's getting ready for some more snow. Clear it, Chris. KC2RGW. Next on my list, Kilo One Echo Sierra Lima. Hello, David. And J2 USK1 ESL. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, we're about the same as uh, Chris up there. Uh, expecting more snow here. It's about 30, so we're warmer than Nashua. And uh, uh, it's not gonna, doesn't look like it's going to be a huge one, but followed by uh, one other one on Wednesday, I think, and, uh, and one after that. So, yeah, winter finally got here. So maybe it'll show up for you guys, too. Anyway, thanks for picking me up. I'll let you go so you can get out of there. Uh, and J2 USK1 ESL. Have a great day. You bet, Dave. Uh, the only comment, and it's a question, I, I think what's going to complicate this one, I, I believe uh, you, like me, and most of the Northeast here, we're headed for a deep freeze following your storm. So that's going to make things miserable and frozen. Yeah, I don't really care for that. That's what I'm, I'm religious about the driveway. So <laughs> some of these people probably wonder, what the hell is he doing out there clearing that driveway already? Well, I like to get as much of it off as rapidly as possible so I don't get that mucky stuff to freeze up. So far, so good. But we'll, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's going to be a messy mix again. K1ESL. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, Dave. Uh, good plan. 10439 Lifetime Member. Take care. K1ESL. Good signal. NJ2 USC cars. Uh, one last call. November 2, Papa Oscar X ray. November 2, Papa Oscar X ray. Go ahead. It came in from outside, turned the radio on, and I heard you, and I heard the last call, and I'm checking in. Thanks, Rich. Good to hear you, too. 5-9 signal, and I uh, appreciate you being there, and, and uh, take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, thanks. 7-3. NJ2 USL.
Pedro, to you, Russ. You still around, Jeff? 